jewelry maker. Yeah. Debbie Kershaw. She's amazing. <laughs> <laughs> With a slightly dodgy knee. <laughs> That's all right, though. Yeah. I got to kind of 50, and I'd never broken anything, and then I broke my finger on my toe, and now my knee's dodgy. But your finger? I remember when you broke your finger. You I had, had a very enormous a big thing on it. it. <laughs> I'm okay. I just I damaged a ligament, so I've got my leg out. I'm good. Nothing's going to oh. stop me making jewellery, Carol. <laughs> Good morning. How are you today? We've got Kinga. There she is. She's putting away all the hobby maker stuff. Good morning, gorgeous Kinga. Yay, we love her. We've got Michael. He's back from his European tour. Hello. Woo! Michael, come on. Come on. You know you want to. You know you want to just do it. Here we go. Yeah. 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 <laughs> but you didn't do any of that when you were abroad. Hey? Hmm? Hey? Hey? We've got Ollie. He's our production manager. There he is. Hey, behind you, Ollie. It's behind you. The camera's behind you. <laughs> no, other way. Oh, God, love him. Bye. And we've got. <laughs> oh, no, is it really? Day six or seven for Ollie. He is hardcore. Ooh. He literally just. Oh, he's just been here. Uh, we've got to, um, back. Back from the Kansas City Chiefs win. Fresh. It's Tom Neary. <laughs> <laughs> right, there we go. Right, that's the introduction's done. I'm Carol, this is Debbie. Uh, right. It's an oh, oh, thanks. It's an am Great. It's an amazing show we've got for you today. Um, we've got all of this. We'll talk about all of this in a bit. Um, before we do that, though, we're going to go to the Wall of Fame and we're going to draw the Wall of Fame. We're going to read out your incredible entries. Let's go there. <laughs> So let's start off with lovely Lorraine Smith, your number 201. Oh, that's Ooh, nice. That's beautiful. Uh, oh, it's Ruby Service Light on Rose Gold Plated Chain. Wishing everyone um, well. Spring is on the way. Do you know what, Lorraine? It is. Yesterday it was very it was very kind of misty, and then by the afternoon it was absolutely glorious. So, yeah, it does feel with that bit of sunshine. And crocus, and you can yes. see the daffodils popping their heads. Yes! It's gorgeous, isn't it? It really does feel like spring is just around the corner. Janet Ray, your number 202. Hi, Team JM. Here's my Wall of Fame offering. Um, easy make, so cheating, really. Oh, I don't think that's gorgeous. Wow. Uh, from Mark Smith's spring collection. I bought it last year on the day after my best friend's birthday. It's been uh, safe in the wardrobe until this year's birthday. Ah, oh, I hung it on one of your sterling silver station necklaces. Um, thank you for all the goodies and most of all for the fun and friendship I get from the JM family. So happy. Well, um, stay, stay happy uh, and stay safe. Hugs from Janet in Eastbourne. That's really sweet of you. Thank you, darling. How lovely. She kept that for a year for her friend's birthday. That's gorgeous. Gail Birch, number 203. Oh, lovely selection of bracelets there. Please find a touch this week's entry to the Wall of Fame. Ruby, Emerald and Lapis Lazuli bracelets. Good luck to all who enter the Wall of Fame. Um, that's absolutely gorgeous. And they, they, they look nice together, actually, those colours. Lovely. Gail. Uh, no. Angela. You're number 204. Oh, no. Hello. Number two. Ah. Oh. Where's Angela? There she is. Ooh. Oh, very Valentine. Love is in the air. Hi, everyone. This week's entry uh, to the Wall of Fame is a Valentine's choker using fire polished crystals, size 8 C beads for the heart pendants. All components are from JM. That's gorgeous, Angela. Thank you so much, lovely. Here's your first one from Debbie. I've got 205 <coughs> from Molly Rogers. Molly. And it says, this delightful oh no nope. yes yeah. Ooh. oh that's beautiful this is shambles this, this morning, delightful really. little jade donut teams beautifully with my most recent jm purchase white jade hearts i use 925 for all findings and the chain everything's from jm of course the quality of this jade is superb jm never fails to impress best wishes to you all that's so beautiful molly you're 205 good luck with that i love that tassel on the end I've got 206, Deb Davis. I've, all these names I'm, I'm recognising this morning. Oh, oh that's gosh, beautiful. Oh, what stone's that? Here with this week's offering is aquamarine and oh, silver. Oh, you're kidding. The yep. an amazing aquamarine. From JM. Been learning silversmithing for a few months. Good luck, Waffers. Deb, that's absolutely gorgeous. Few months? I can't... Wow. You're a natural. 
Good luck. 206 is your number. I've got 207, which is Sue Got. Sue Got what? And she says, hi. Hi. Oh, oh. Oh, Sue, that's That's lovely. my kind of bracelet. This is my entry for the Wall of Fame. Beautiful pearls are <laughs> always from Excuse JM. Me. Bless you. Sorry. So 207. That is beautiful. I made something very similar for a friend on her <coughs> wedding Sorry. day. Sorry, and again. Uh, with the hanging pearls. I love that. It's absolutely beautiful. Good luck, Sue. It's stunning. Um, 208 is the next one, and this is Lynn Burstyn. Oh, look at that photo. Oh, look at that. Moody photo. <laughs> Hi, everyone. Please find attached my entry to the Wall of Fame. I've attempted a cubic right angle weave bracelet embellished with shell pearls and mixed colour beryl. Thanks to all <coughs> ooh, the wonderful JM team for all you do. Best wishes and good luck to all. Attempted. That is stunning. Yeah, Lynn. that's gorgeous, Lynn. I love it when um, you add. A plan in, comes together. Yeah, a plan, <laughs> I love it when a plan comes together. When you add in like gemstones and ooh, pearls yeah. into seed beads. <laughs> Look at that. Stunning running. Good mm. luck. This chair goes back a long way. 209, it's Sue Lamb. Oh, pretty. Oh, I like those colours. Uh, hi, JM. Please find attached my entry to the Wall of Fame. These are some quick makes with everything from JM. Adventuring flowers, stone just. Adventuring flowers. Never heard. Oh, oh, I see. As in flower shapes. Um, stone jasper. I can't remember what the other two on the right uh, are, possibly Jasper, but I think it suits the antique bronze one. Um, that's gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. They're really beautiful, clever. Sue. You've done some lovely wire work there. Last but not least, it's Christine Sulcum. You're number 210. Gosh, that's a pink background. Um, hi, JMT. My entry for the Wall of Fame is a bracelet design of carnelian and seed beads. Uh, from Jewelry Maker, which I've had for a while and didn't know what to use them for until I saw Mark's demo. I've made two more since doing this one. Good luck to all in the draw. That's gorgeous. Giving you inspiration, Christine. Beautiful. That's gorgeous. Let's draw the Wall of Fame, shall we? Let's do it. It's going to release the prize winning balls. Here we go. Right. OK. Debbie, pick that winner. Pick the that winner of the Wall of Fame winning £100 credited to their Jewelry Maker account this week is number... Two, two, one. Julia Tinsley. Jude, oh yes. Oh, sorry. Julia Tinsley, well done to you, my darling. You have won £100 credited to your jewellery maker account. Oh, Julia's a regular viewer of jewellery maker. This Very good, well done, Julie. And this week's runner up of the Wall of Fame winning £50 credited to their jewellery maker account is number 217. Sarah Beswick, well done to you. £50 credited to your jewellery maker account. And thank you, Kinga. <laughs> <laughs> Love her. Love her. OK, yes. Go to our, go to our website, jewellerymaker.com. <laughs> go to our website, jewellerymaker.com. <laughs> Click on Watch Live, scroll down, and look at all the incredible items we've got scheduled in this hour. Um, uh, it, uh, there, there is a lot. There is a lot of loveless stuff. There you are. Um, <clears throat> it's all available to... Oh, that spinel's lovely. 20 quid. Paul Island Canadian Labradorite. 15 pounds. Freshwater pearls, 10 pounds. 29 pounds for jade. Grand Dilly Ride for 20 quid. Sterling silver flower shaped beads for, te uh, for, uh, for a 10 pound note. <gasps> cats! Cats! Cats for a tenner. Oh, doesn't have a cat. Loads of these items, by the way, have never been to air. Or well, they've been to air once. That's it. So get them. They're only available till 9am. Cats. Cats. That's good. My daughter would like that. Is she a cat person? Yeah. We've got dogs and cats, but the cats are That's hers. unusual to have dogs and cats. They all love each other. Oh, gosh, do they really? So I've got four dogs, two cats. Four dogs? Yeah. I love dogs. I love dogs too, but I'm not sure I could have four of them. That's quite amazing, isn't it? And how many cats? Two. Just, oh. So, 10 minutes, Carnelian Mini Make Kit. I can't wait Ooh. to bring you that. Very excited. Uh, Carnelian Mini Make Kit. Carnelian Parve Heart, 925. I, I've never seen that in my life. The fact it comes with a little bag is just epic. So, that's coming up in about 10 minutes' time. All of a sudden, I'm sneezing and I've got a runny nose. Dust. I think it must be dust. Right, let's go. Oh. Oh, gosh. Oh, gosh. Oh, I'm not doing that yet. Sleeping belief, sleeping. I can't talk today. That doesn't bode very well at all. Sleeping blue I called it. <laughs> sleeping, I know. I prefer that. Oh, gosh. 
Sleeping Beauty. Dyed Sleeping Beauty coloured Magnesite Puffy Pears. Whew. Right, I got all that out. There we go. That's good. That's a relief. Gosh, I'm going to need to get a tissue in a minute. I've got a runny nose. Uh, here we go, everyone. <clears throat> 200 carats in total. Gorgeous, gorgeous. Go, goes with my nails. It's lovely. A colour pop. Natalie, Joan, well done to you. Two pounds and 99 pence. What? Yeah. Oh, that's really good, especially if you're starting out and you want to build up a stash. This is great. I bought myself yesterday. I was in the supermarket and I, I, I went in for a couple of bits <clears throat> and I walked past the sandwich bit and I thought, I am quite hungry. I'm, yeah. I'm, I, I might get something for my lunch. There's a bit of a treat. So I bought myself a bowel bun that you put in the, you put it in the microwave and you heat it up. It's like a steamed bun. Oh, right. And then you eat it and it's delicious. Um, my bowel bun costs more than that. This is £2.99. <laughs> Emma's got two. Sarah, Natalie, Linda, Jane, Joan. Well done to you. Go, 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 go. Well done, everybody. Go, go, go. What an incredible deal to start off with on Jewelry Maker today. Three different ways you can get involved, either by calling us on our free phone number or by getting involved on our website, jewelrymaker.com. Or you can download our app and watch us on the go. <clears throat> this, by the way, is your deal of the day. <gasps> what, the stand? Oh, that's amazing. We've got this in this gorgeous kind of hessian finish. We've also got it, I believe, in black velvet as well. This is amazing. Look, look, look. Hang on. And a grey, oh, hello. And a grey velvet as well. Absolutely amazing. How cool is that? That's amazing. So easy to take the bracelets on and off yes. as well. And the end comes off as well. You can put them back on. That's fine. Don't worry about it. <laughs> How cool is that though? I really love this kind of lovely natural neutral finish that you get here. This is so cool. Awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. So they're coming up at 10 o'clock. Love this. So cool. Uh, we've got loads coming up. We've also got Zhuzhang pearls coming up today, the last in stock of the Zhuzhang. Also, what do you reckon this gemstone is here? Mexican lavender fluorite. Yes. That's going to be coming your way in the 11 o'clock hour today. Got these gorgeous um, display boxes coming up as well. Um, there's absolutely loads. It's going to be a brilliant, brilliant show. Lots of variety. Got gorgeous nine o'clock kits, haven't you, um, um, uh, Debbie? Yeah, yeah. we're going to be um, channel, channel setting. setting. And I've also added a little personalisation on it, so we'll be talking about that. Oh. Oh. Oh, that's cute. Yes. And then the other one, I've, I've put a heart and a C for my granddaughter. Oh. So you know that if you're going to do maybe thinking Mother's Day or, or presents <laughs> or someone's graduating and do exams, anything, you can stamp or engrave into those. Oh, how gorgeous. So they're coming up at nine o'clock. At 12 o'clock, we've got the most amazing jade kit with a jade elephant. Oh, he's look so at cute. Him. Look at he him. He is beautiful. Oh. That's a gorgeous, look at his lovely trunk. Yeah, it's, it's lovely, isn't it? I love the detailing. It's beautiful, isn't it? So that's all going to be coming up um, uh, in the 12. Do you mean the multicolour spinel? Yeah. <clears throat> this strand is obscene. I love this range of colour. Gosh, that's so, this is like the sunrises and sunsets we've been having over the last week or so, isn't oh, it? Oh, it's been beautiful. The skies have been gorgeous. What I've, an unusual strand. I mean, I I've not, don't think I've seen those tones. It's like completely beautiful and in rounds as well yeah. so so lovely to see um 18 carats of your multicolor spinel a faceted three millimeter round such a wonderful array of color that you're going to be getting here gorgeous gorgeous tones beautiful i love that size three mil in size 12 pounds 99 wow that's good nice 12 pounds 99 can you believe that? That's absolutely amazing. 0800 655 or get involved on our website, jewelrymaker.com. That's amazing for totally, utterly natural spinel. That's beautiful. Linda's got two in her basket. Well done to you. Gorgeous, gorgeous quality. Well done to you. 9.99 for that today. Do you know what I love about this? I love all the warmer tones in there, but I also love all the silvery greys yeah. in there as well. It's such a lovely palette to have. And although it's multicolored, it's very sophisticated. It's quite a grown up palette, isn't it? Just beautiful. Well done. This is all, oh my gosh, this is from Burma. Is it? I just assumed because of the price point that was going to be um, maybe Tanzanian spinel, totally natural Burmese spinel. Linda, well done to you. Una, Sarah, Tracy, well done to you. Oh, loads of you there. If you want to check out more than one, speak to our call center team or just check the, um, uh, 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 check out your baskets, just, just put as many in your basket as you like and check those out. 
Joe in Hampshire, hi ladies, Valentine's Day sales were healthy. Oh, good. Were healthy, everything with hearts, but uh, fastest profit was topaz and white pearl pendant on a chain. Mm. Gorgeous. How lovely, isn't that interesting to get that kind of direct feedback? That's so cool, Joe. Well done to you. Gabrielle, well done to you as well. Lots and lots of people getting involved today. Go, go, go. Um, if I bought food the same way I bought gemstones, I'd weigh about the same as a bus. I'm so <laughs> glad that my stash isn't fattening, says Liz. <laughs> Do you know, that's incredible, isn't it? Do you know, I think there's lots of people who would agree with you out there. Um, Jill in Greater Manchester, morning ladies, can't wait to see the elephant. It's so cute. I have this spinel. It's stunning. Actually, do you know what? The elephant with the spinel would oh, be nice. Oh, yes. Wouldn't it? Look at that. That would be stunning Isn't with that. that oh, yeah. Good call, <clears throat> Genuine Burmese spinel. Yeah, with your Burmese jade. That's a good point, actually. Susan, well done to you as well. Gorgeous. At 9 99 Off you go, mate. <laughs> you go. Lovely. Yep, yeah, well, the big long strand, this enormous strand, this incredible strand. Yes, look at the size of this. Huge, huge strand of genuine natural jade. I'm going to get the spinel back out. Come on, there you go. There you go, 99.99. Now, doesn't that look good? So complimenting. It's perfect for your longer line necklaces, isn't it? Or yeah. If you want to make full suites of jewelry. And do you know what? You put those in between the jades, they're gonna look like little knots, aren't they? Oh, it's, it's gonna, gonna give be you that wonderful- Absolutely beautiful. Kind of impression, isn't it? Just beautiful. 99.99, individual split payments, by the way, of 49.99. This is a meter long strand. Well done to everyone. A metre long strand for you today. Well done for under £100. Go, go, go. Well done. Gorgeous. Huge 10 mil rounds, those were. Beautiful. Yes, I've got them here. Beautiful rice beads. Ricey, ricey. Here you go. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put them like this first of all, and you can see the size of the drill holes. Oh, that's Huge. good. Huge. You'll be able to get multiple strands well, through there, or cord, oh. or... Oh, yes. Gemstones. Well, yeah, Cute. that's a slightly annoying. It's got the tassel on the end there, but you could definitely put your uh, spinel through there, couldn't you? That would be nice. That would be nice. Got a lovely shape. Isn't a rice bead shape nice? It's just so uh, elegant and kind of elegant and what am I? Um, it's minimal. Slender. Yeah, it's quite unisex as well, isn't it? Because you yeah. can put that on a piece of leather or... Um, and they just have it sort of round your neck. And I think anyone could wear that. More so than around, isn't it? Definitely. It's much more, much more unisex, isn't it? 1999 uh, for your big whole Burmese jade rice beads. We don't beat around the bush. We just say it like it is. Big old. Um, <laughs> big old Burmese jade rice. There you go. I mean, there you go. You, you, know, we, we, you know, we just literally, yeah. There you go, everyone. Well done. They're about to sell out. Neary, did I just see loads of items have already sold out in this hour? Okay, so go to our, look, if you go to Jewelry Maker, the white jade it's already sold out. We haven't even bought that to air yet. Oh, hang on. Items seven, eight, and nine have already sold out. They've just disappeared though. Sleeping Beauty have gone. 12 and 13 have sold out. They've literally just disappeared. <laughs> Who knows? Who knows the ways of the internet? I don't know. Cats. Meow. Do you know, I feel like I haven't left myself enough time today to think of enough cat puns, but <laughs> don't worry, I'm sure, I'm sure we will. What a ca catastrophe. <laughs> <laughs> right, okay, should we, um, start by it, start by. So glad you can't hear what these guys are talking about. <laughs> it's too much, isn't it? <laughs> too much. I mean, I'm not a prude, but it, it's just too much. <laughs> no, all right, that's just... There we go. Right, <laughs> here we go. You are going to be fil fil flying... Oh, look flying... Flying... That's just bad, isn't it? I'm sorry. We're going to start off with the black agate. Come on. Goldstone and oh, that looks yeah, like my little Simba. Oh, have you got a cat called Simba? But he's got no tail. He's a Manx cat. Oh, 
So we never had a tail? No. Oh gosh, is it gone? Sold out, sorry, Bison cat sold. I <laughs> said, Blue Goldstone. Bow. This looks like a, a kind of like a lucky cat or a, or a magical cat. Oh, look. Bow. Oh, he's lovely. Do they have drill holes? I don't think, I'm not sure they do actually. Let's have a quick look. Oh no, they do, it goes through here. There's your drill hole going from there, kind of through the shoulders. Gorgeous. Look at that, isn't that beautiful? Look at that, look at that gorgeous sparkle you're getting there. Blue Goldstone Cat. There you go, everyone. Maker in Hertfordshire, Sue in Oxfordshire, you're all there. Well done to you. Loads of people coming through. 9 99 for your gorgeous Blue Goldstone Cat. Look at the whiskies there. Isn't that gorgeous? So beautiful. I learned lots of interesting facts about dogs this morning. As, um, sorry, not this morning, last night. Oh, um, really? Apparently when dogs lean against you, it's a way of them it hugging is, you. Yeah, trust. Oh, I they, love that. they trust you if they... Yeah, so don't walk off if they're leaning against you. <laughs> Sue, <laughs> Ali, well done to you. <laughs> Gorgeous. Well done, everyone. Have, have him. Oh, sorry, have him. As in, I have him. He's beautiful. Not oh. have him. As in, like, the end of Karate Kid. Finish him! Uh, <laughs> Have him. He's beautiful. Let's do the Labradorite one. Here we go. Oh, that's, that's the tense end to Karate Kid, isn't it? <laughs> there we go. Here's your Labradorite. Oh, look. Oh, I love that one. Oh, now, this reminds me of a cat I used to have called Muppet. That's a good one. Uh, who, was a, who was a grey tabby. And she was absolutely gorgeous. But she was, she was very bad tempered towards the end of her life. Uh, Samantha Maker, Wen Sue Maker, well done to you. $9.99. Um, gorgeus for $9.99. Isn't that beautiful? And like I said, the drill hole. There you go. So from there to there, there's your drill hole. Gorgeous. Well done. 0800 655. Sally, well done to you as well. Margaret, well done to you as well. Gorgeous, oh, a beautiful bit of detail in there. Isn't that lovely? Elaine, well done to you as well. Maybe for someone who loves cats or maybe he's recently lost a cat maybe, oh, or, yeah. you know, just, just uh, yeah. Someone who loves cats but can't have them in their, you know, if they live in rented accommodation. Or they they're allergic. So or they're allergic. Mm -hmm. So sad, isn't it? People who desperately want to have kind of pets and things like that, but they can't. It's such, oh, such a shame. Margaret, well done to you. Uh, and you don't have to feed these ones, which is a huge <laughs> bonus. <laughs> Gorgeous, well done. The boxes are coming up, they're already going. Oh, I love these. Did you get lots of Valentine's cards yesterday? I um Millions. I'm not sure the post was, I think there was a postal strike yesterday. <laughs> I got one, I got one from my husband. I made my daughters a little card each. I always do that for the kids, even I now. They absolutely loved it. And Pippa's taken hers to school to put in her desk. Oh. I think that's absolutely adorable. These are, these are, yeah, they're going already. They're going already. Grand Diddy, all right. Here we go. Love a bit of Grand Diddy, right? Look at this. Beautiful Grand Diddy, right? These are stunning. Oh, I Look love at these. the colour. They are big pieces. Gosh, they are like jelly beans, aren't they? They're yep. beautiful clarity you're getting with these. Absolutely gorgeous. These are going to go. And is, is there a reason why we haven't got graphics on? Are we doing the thing to the graphics? Clock to graphics. This apparently is going to be a really moody price, which I think means it's going to be far too low and highly illegal. But do you know what? Just go for it. The snap set connectors have sold out. We haven't even bought those to air. They've sold out. Loads of things selling out. Lots of things on the website, by the way, that, is, that have either not been to air before or have only been to air a couple of times. So just get, get all of them. 20 quid. Oh my gosh, for genuine Grandidia right. I would say the only other thing on today's show which is anyway near the same rarity is probably the Zarite that we've got coming up. Should I have said that? I probably shouldn't have said that. <laughs> got Zarite on today's show, I'm really excited. 1999, Allison in County Tyrone. Well done to you, my lovely. Loads of people coming through. Absolutely brilliant. Go, go, go. Oh, 800, 644, 655. Well done to you. 
Go, go, go. Well done. Beautiful clarity. Gorgeous quality. If I've got my tweezers here, I'll get the... Uh, I'll pick it up, actually, because that'd be nice to see it, wouldn't it? Here we go. Collector in London. Messaging through. Morning, team. May I see number 24, please? Yes, of course you can. Look at that. Isn't that gorgeous? There it is. Absolutely beautiful. Good morning, all. Carol, your photos of you and your hubby on Facebook were prices yeah. yesterday. Oh. oh, so funny. That one you put on Instagram, it really made me laugh out loud. <laughs> Quite often he does look at me like that, like, who are you? <laughs> what have I done? What have I done? But he's exactly the same. I do look at him sometimes and think, what have I done? <laughs> right. Okay. <laughs> Bless you. Rondell's. Oh, yes. Here we go. Oh, they're lovely. <laughs> Here we go. Red Jade Rondells. Here we go. London's through already. Six. What are you doing, Neary? Don't don't start messing with the graphics. They'll have you. They'll have you. Isn't that great? Twenty nine ninety nine for your gorgeous um, rondelles of your type A red jade. That's just gorgeous. <laughs> oh eight hundred. <laughs> Six triple four, six double five. Well done, everyone. Beautiful tones in here. So gorgeous and warm. Do you like your Olmec? I do. Yes, I this do. This with the Olmec, I think, always looks absolutely beautiful, doesn't it? With that gorgeous kind of... Kind I of, thought you I said, do you like your neck? It took me a minute. I was like, <laughs> no, not really. <laughs> I was like, do I like my neck? No. Olmec. Yeah, of course. It's much better than my neck. Let's put it that way. <laughs> better than anyone's neck. Okay, red jade rounds. Oh, dear me. It's happening to oh, us I all. Oh, I love that. Do you know, I love this colour. I've Isn't not that just worked stunning? with it before, but I had it. I was really lucky to have it in a kit the other day. And it, you had this in a kit? Yeah. This colour? And it was just what? stunning. Really lovely. But that must be one of the only kits we have ever done with red jade in. That's absolutely amazing. This is such a rare quality you're going to be getting here. This is the skin of the boulder of the outside of the jade boulder, which oxidizes over, over many, many millions of years. And it gets this beautiful orangey red tone. Um, you're looking here at Taipei quality, totally natural, 100% beautiful and um, almost impossible to get hold of anymore now. 99.99, there you go, that's your deal today. Did you have a nice Valentine's Day? Did you get any Valentine's cards from people who you don't know? Did you get any like, genuine Valentine's cards? Like, not from the dog. Uh, but did you get any kind of mystery Valentine's cards? Let us no. know, any secret admirers? I did once, once, I got a Valentine's card and I thought it was from my friends who I lived with, um, and it wasn't, it was from this, it was from this guy. Ooh. Oh, no, not good. No, he was, oh. he was a lot older than me. It was really, it was really weird. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> it was just like, oh. No. 99.99, well done. Chris, Mary, Warren, we've got one chance left. And I've got loads in baskets. Check out everyone. Go, go, go. Superb deals for you today. Well done. Beautiful tones and colours in there. We've got to move on. We've got so much to bring you. Let's do, oh, this sounds good. Never seen this before. Let's do a star by. This has been to wear, is it once, Neary? Once. Let's do it. <laughs> Couldn't get the whole of the story in there. Tell me, I need to now wait till the next break. <laughs> For the next exciting yes, installment. Instrument. Right, OK. I haven't looked in this bag. I don't know what's in it. But it's a lovely jewellery maker bag. So that's reason enough to be paying yeah. attention. Gorgeous, OK. Should we see what's in the bag together? Come on, let's go. Oh, oh! Oh, look! Is that ready, mate? Oh, that's so... Oh, my gosh, that's so gorgeous. That look. Oh, yeah, that's beautiful. Beautiful little heart. Little dish. Wow. Oh my gosh, loads of chain. Loads and loads and loads of chain. Sterling silver, I'm assuming. I mean, don't assume anything, but... Oh, look. Beautiful little pendant bail. Isn't that gorgeous? Okay. <laughs> Stunning little connector. Look at that, with a little loop either side. 
Beautiful. There's your heart connector. And then your gorgeous carnelian. Oh my gosh, that's so lovely. Oh, that really is. That's really good carnelian, isn't it? That is absolutely gorgeous. So you've easily got, what, a necklace here. You've easily got a necklace with a little charm you could put on the end, haven't you? I love this carnelian. This is so beautiful. What a great way to practice um, bezel setting. Yes. You've not quite got all the silver smithing tools to actually make the bezel, or you're not confident enough yet. You can still practice actually setting your gemstone into yes. the bezel with a kit like this. So I think that's really good. It's absolutely incredible, isn't it? So a great as a practice, as, as Debbie quite rightly says. Do you know what, though? You don't actually have to put your carnelian in there if you don't want to. You could put your resin in there. Mm -hmm. We had an amazing resin show the other week with uh, Gemma Crow. If you wanted to put your resin in there, your polymer clay in there, you absolutely could do, couldn't you? Absolutely. So many different ways in which you can use this. I love this. We're at 49.99. That carnelian is so beautiful. Known as a firestone, you know, a gemstone with kind of ancient um, uh, kind of uh, providence, a gemstone which has been found in kind of ancient burial sites as well. Um, absolutely gorgeous. This length of chain you're getting as well, this is all sterling silver that you're going to be getting here. Really great that you've got that precious metal. Five grams of the precious metal. I love that little connector, that little charmy kind of heart-shaped connector. It's so cute, isn't it? And there's your little pendant bale as well. How gorgeous. Here we go, everyone. 29 pounds, 99 pence. Amazing. Not your deal. Angela, maker, you've got too many basket. M, well done to you. This has been to air once before. Just for the sterling silver, this is amazing. But then, of course, you've got the incredible carnelian in there as well. Well done. Let's go lower than the launch price. Yes, because we can. Come on. Come on. This is like a clearance. And plus, you get the little bag as well, which is utterly adorable. But I agree with Debbie. You know, a great way to kind of practice, to kind of get that confidence uh, kind of building. Yeah, absolutely. And you've still made it. I mean, all you need to do is push that silver over the top and, and have a burnisher and a pusher, which are really reasonably priced here at JM. So Definitely. Yeah. 19 99 for you today. Well done, everyone. Absolutely amazing. Well done to everyone coming through and checking their baskets out today. That's just gorgeous, isn't it? That's well done. Lovely. I love little mini make kits like this. They're so lovely. I'd be adding in maybe that lovely Sleeping Beauty coloured magnesite like we had earlier on, something kind of like a turquoisey colour, maybe. Um, red jade. Red. See, red jade would be so complimenting, wouldn't it? Look at that with it. Doesn't that look gorgeous? Well done, everyone. £19.99. £19. Well done to Muriel in Greater London as well. These are that, That's basically a clearance deal for this today. That's absolutely incredible. Go, 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 go. Jan, well done to you as well. Uh, Angela, there's absolutely loads of you coming through. Well done, everyone. More makers there. Maker in London as well. Oxfordshire, West Yorkshire. <clears throat> What a treat for you today. This has been to air once before. Well done. £19.99. pence. Well done. Go, go, go. Loving all these today. Um, so go to our website, jewelrymaker.com. Click on Watch Live. Look at everything we've put in this hour. A lot of things have already sold out. Lots of things we haven't even bought to air yet, actually, uh, have actually sold out. Um, so please do get these items ahead of time. Or if there's anything in particular you'd really like to see, uh, then just send us the, the number of it, say number 30 or number, I don't know, number 26 or whatever it might be. I don't know, whatever, whatever, whatever. Red Jade sold out. Oh, wow, lovely. Okay, here we go. So gorgeous earrings, here we go. Beautiful sterling silver earrings with your white topaz on the bottom. Oh, they're pretty. Aren't they just? There's your white topaz with a little pin on the bottom as well. So if you've got any half drilled pearls or they don't need to be half drilled do they but they you know they could be no and if you watch my show on saturday i showed you how to drill into um jade and, and agate rings so oh, wow. and, and, and claire also has shown how to dr drill into <clears throat> pearls so even if you've got things that aren't drilled it's not difficult how so go back and have that? a look at that show if you missed it because i show you how to do it that's, that sounds so lovely. Well, I think people are afraid of it and it's not different. Totally, you know, terrified of doing something like that. So it's lovely that you went through that. That's brilliant. So an easy and kind of, you know, easy to be guided through that. So make sure you go back to YouTube and watch the show on, um, uh, the, the, uh, Debbie was with us on Saturday. 19.99 for your sterling silver drop earrings with white topaz. This isn't Cabixiconia, by the way, that's featured on here. So this pretty. is all white topaz. They are absolutely beautiful. Really like those, big fan of those. 
$19.99 is brilliant. They're all precious metal. You're getting your white topaz and your peg on the bottom as well. Not your deal. Not your deal today. Go, go, go. $14.99 for you today. Absolutely brilliant. Well done. Even at $14.99 though, everyone, we are still not done. We have got one more price for you. Um, get involved as soon as you can. You've got your 30 second clock. 30 second clock. Put these in your baskets. There's so much you can use these with. Um, things that maybe you've already got, things that you're going to be getting today. These are always great things to have and they're going to be so quick to make earrings out of, aren't they? Yeah, I always think that Topaz has this kind of diamond feel. Oh, oh without a shadow of a doubt. Can you imagine yeah. how much a diamond that big would be? But most people wouldn't know that, would they? But, I mean, that's like the size of an engagement ring, isn't it? Those, <laughs> you know, each one of those diamonds, that's, that's you know... Yeah. 30 points. You get the look the of the diamond earrings, but yes. not the price. Well, that's it. it. Yeah. 11.99 for Whoa. you today. Oh my gosh, that's amazing. <laughs> that's you really good. You've just got two loads of these. Well, then that's ever so good. In Derbyshire. Wow. That is absolutely brilliant. And do you know what? You, because you've got a lovely bit of design quality in here as well, this could be your collection. So put whatever gemstone mm. you like on the bottom, and they're all going to look kind of you know, there's going to be that consistency of design going all the way through them. Whether you use, I don't know, rounds of aquamarine or your beautiful half drill pearls. If you go for the same findings throughout each one of the designs, um, it's going to have that consistency of your kind of collection, if you like, going all the way through it. Uh, Veronica Maker, uh, Jan in Oxfordshire, well done to you. Thank you so much for joining us today. It's always lovely to see you. Let us know, were you inundated with Valentine's cards yesterday? Did you have a lovely special dinner? Did you go out for dinner? I don't think I've ever been out for dinner on Valentine's Day. No. I'm just not organised enough. And also, I don't know whether I want to go. No. I babysat. <laughs> did you? Yeah, so my son could go. Oh, that's nice. <laughs> I, I liked that. I yes, I bet you did. Is your granddaughter called again? Clementine. <sighs> she was walking. Is she, is she Clementine or is she, or is she, or is she Clemmy? She's Clemmy mostly, but... I bet when she's in trouble and she's older, she'll be Clementine. Clementine? Look at that with that. Doesn't that just look... It, that looks oh, so yes. incredibly expensive, Imagine doesn't it? Imagine those. Isn't that beautiful? There's your Olmec. Those are made. Do you know what? They're just the right size, aren't they? Mm. Seven mils work with that. So it'd be any bigger, and I think it would be... I think you'd lose that white topaz a little bit, but they're just the right size. That is some pair of earrings, isn't it? We were saying the other day... And I don't know how a colour can do this, but we were saying the other day, and I think I maybe have taken it a little bit far, but the colour of Olmec, it looks like it's educated. It looks like you went <laughs> yeah. to university. What a good... Read lots of leather-bound books, hasn't it? It's a William Morris background, yes. But, it, you know, it looks like it, it's been to Oxbridge or, you know, one of the Ivy Leagues in, um, in the States. It, it, it just, it's just amazing. It's just, it just looks so, so opulent. There's nothing like it, is there? No! Yeah, uh, like a farrow and ball paint. Yes, like a chalk based paint. Yes, absolutely like a farrow and ball paint. Who get most of their kind of colours from the earth, don't they? Um, although terrible finish on them. Anyway, £149 <laughs> for you today. Well done. Mary, Linda, Gillian, well done to you. Uh, two chances remaining. Well done. Six in baskets. Two chances remaining with six in baskets. I can't believe that's the price. £149 is absolutely amazing. With the red, look, I've got a red donut here. <laughs> yeah. Just a little bit. Oh, look at the two together. Very strong together, but they don't fight, do they? No. As it goes with the bright pink of my nail polish, doesn't it? That's crazy. <clears throat> Isn't I that love lovely? That together. So beautiful. I suppose they're opposites on the colour wheel, aren't they? Yeah. The orange and the uh, the orange and the green. But they just work. They're not battling, are they? They're sitting beautifully side by side. And you could put gold or silver, white gold or yellow gold oh with that. Oh, my gosh. I think it goes, doesn't it? Yeah. Both. Yeah. Or even rose gold. Yeah. You know, I think, I think, I think you've, got, you've got so many options there. Um, we've got, I think we've got one left, actually. Uh, right, we're taking the details away. That's, that's it. That is it. Such an exquisite gemstone. Right, Okay. Jewelry box is coming up. We've got the big, beautiful red jade donut. Oh, feel that. Feel how smooth tax 
tartar There's is. something about the feel of jade, isn't there? It, it, do you know what? It's, it's, it's a funny thing, isn't it? How, how different textures, different things can really calm you. You know, the whole kind of ASMR thing, and yeah, it can it, really calm it. you. That feel just... It it's just so calms. smooth and it's like mindful jewelry. You know, like people have fidget jewelry to calm them down. It's exactly that, isn't it? Oh, it's abs oh look at that. Oh, Goodness my gosh. Me. Look at it with the kit at 12 o'clock. Yeah, so, with the, yeah, I know you're <laughs> absolutely right. With the kit at 12 o'clock, with this beautiful elephant. He is so detailed. He's beautiful. It's the most detailed elephant we've done. These beautiful wrinkly trunks. Look at his these ears. Tusks, his gorgeous ears with the little flaps in. It's, it's so, and, and oh, little kind of wrinkles on his legs. So I know we shouldn't be focusing on the elephant, but the two of them together are absolutely idyllic, aren't they? They are gorgeous, aren't they, the two of those together? 199 for your Taipei Red Jade donut there. Um, Susan in Essex. I know we are so lucky to have that, aren't we? And that's just on a piece of cord. This is, this is what's so lovely about gemstones like jade. Um, and other gemstones, which are really beautiful, is that you don't need to do too much. No, I mean, don't. even this aquamarine here, you don't need to do too much to it. Literally, just pop it on a piece of cord. It doesn't need anything over the top. doesn't need anything. There you go. It just, you know, it looks great. Isn't that? Yeah, that's exactly it, actually. We've got this beautiful collection of um, lavender-coloured oh, um, Mexican fluorite this, um, uh, coming up this morning. And that's exactly what I was thinking, Ollie. This is Easter. Yeah. This is Easter right here. This is your spring um, uh, weddings. It's all. This is coming up in the 11. Gorgeous. So that's very exciting. That's all coming up. Um, we've got, coming up now, Paul Island Labradorite. Now, you might not know what Paul Island Labradorite is. It's, fr it's, it's Labradorite from the original location where it was first discovered. Or where it's believed it was first discovered in Newfoundland. Um, it is unlike anything else that we've ever done. It is, it's interesting to think that you've got Paul Island Labradorite, you've got Spectralite, which is from uh, Norway. They're not completely on the same kind of latitude, but they're in a similar kind of part of the hemisphere, aren't they? I don't know whether it's the same seam, I don't know, but it looks a lot like Spectralite. I, it is just gorgeous. It's unlike any other Labradorite that you will get. It's got much more of a veil rather than bright kind of flashes. We've got the first one we're going to be doing is uh, these gorgeous ovals. They are glossy, velvety almost. That's the only way I can describe it. It's like having a velvet quality, you know, like a flock. When you brush it one way, it's one color. When you brush it the other way, it's kind of darker or lighter, depending on which way the kind of flock is going. But it's got the most wonderful tone to it. And this deep, rich, kind of very, very graphite gray, almost black kind of base note to it, which makes that blue even more impressive. It really tends to be only blue that you get from your Paul Island. Um, it's just gorgeous. And this is the Labradorite that over on Gempora, they just can't get hold of. They, 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 they can't, it's not something that they can get. Um, I think maybe they want to get bigger carrot weights than us. I don't know, but you know, we are just, we are, we just love buying our gemstones. And it's something which Wayne, our head, our head buyer is, is extraordinarily good at. Very, very proud to have this. Very privileged to have this. 14 pounds, 99 pence. That just goes against everything I've just told you, doesn't it? <laughs> you know, original location, pretty amazing. They can't get it over on Gems TV and today it's 15 quid. Maker. I can see it flashing at me from over there. I mean, it's just like winking at me, all the flashes coming out of it. And it's different to any other type or, or kind of source of Labradorite, isn't it? It's totally different. Yeah. Yeah, it's got the most wonderful kind of licorice tone. New, uh, new customer coming through. Sharon, well done to you. Check out $14.99. It's beautiful. Denise, well done to you as well. Yeah, just look at these. I mean, whether it's whether it's going to be whether it's going to be you know the middle the middle couple which are slightly larger, or whether it's going to be these ones further down the strand which are just so beautiful. It, they're, they're just so beautiful. I love. Yeah, every single one's going to give it to you, but just in a different way to other labradorites. It's it, it's it's so unusual. It's almost like the difference between a nephrite and a and a and a and a jade like the. It's like a tighter grain almost. It's like a truer colour. One final strand of your Paul Island. Then we're going to do the boxes. These are so cool. I love these. This is so lovely. Absolutely gorgeous. Oh, oh. I love the shape. 
Nice shape, isn't Flowers it? Flowers and petals. Oh, wow. All those wonderful things you could make with this. Do you know, talking to Mark the other day, and we were saying about um, black orchids which aren't black they're like a very dark blue mm. and also you get those pansies which are almost black yeah you do a flower would be beautiful very classic put it with pearls or something very yes sort of vintage effect yeah definitely that would that would work so well wouldn't it and a different take you know it's not a floral color is it it's not an obviously no. floral color but just you know it's got that wonderful elegant isn't it yeah very elegant my gosh yeah definitely denise maker samantha sharon jane well done to you. you've got two of those well done all these items are only available until 9 a.m or until stocks last just to let you know got the most amazing kits coming up today gorgeous demo channel setting which i haven't seen for ages which is going to be really exciting uh, coming up in the next hour. For now, though, let's go to our early bird special. We've got these two really gorgeous, very different um, uh, jewellery boxes. Uh, you're going to love them both. Beautiful. Do you know something? I'm a total sucker for yeah. packaging and things like that, oh. aren't you? I mean, you put something in there. I mean, oh, if, I if you ask someone to marry you and you put your, the ring in a box like this. They're going to say yes. It adds to the celebration of the event, doesn't, doesn't it? Doesn't it? It makes it an event. Well, we quite, we, we had in, oh gosh, it was pre-COVID, I think, um, lovely lady from, um, oh, what was the name of that packaging company in Birmingham in the, in the jewellery quarter? I can't remember. Uh, Talbot's. Oh, yeah. And um, she came in and she was absolutely right. She was talking about um, the drama, the theatre of opening yeah. a present. And anything that comes in a box like this, it's going to be a piece of jewellery, isn't it? So it's going to be something which either somebody has bought for you or somebody has made for you. It's going to be, it's going to be special, isn't it? It's not going to be a book token, is it? <laughs> you um, hope not. It's going to be something, <laughs> yes, surprise. Uh, it's, going to be, it's going to be something really, really, um, really special in there that someone's put a lot of thought into. And I don't know if you've ever re received a present before where it's literally just been given to you and it hasn't been wrapped up or it's been put into just a carrier bag or whatever. And it's just, it kind of doesn't ruin the present, but it kind of like, you know, there's no suspense. There's no, no. kind of theater. There's no drama. No. What you've got here is all about the drama, all about the theater of opening that gift. Also, the great thing is with these is, um, I don't know if you've got any p uh, particular pieces of jewelry that you wear, maybe on special occasions, yeah. and then the rest of and then the rest of the um, the rest of the time you put them in a box and you yeah. put them away. Um, it, it gives you a lovely place to store these pieces and to put these pieces for um, for for a later date. It's your pretty woman moment, isn't it? Totally. Where it she's totally looking. is because you see the box, you think there's going to be something good in that box. So whether. Oh gosh, so I don't know which one to use. I'm gonna use, oh no, they're both so lovely. Whether you choose to go with something like, oh gosh, this is just, this fluorite is so beautiful. I'm just gonna pop you in there, my lovely. Hang on, let's put you there. So if you open the box and it's maybe had a, it's a box within a box, it's got a ribbon on it, whatever it might I be. I love that one. Isn't that lovely? Yeah. I love the way that looks around there. Isn't it gorgeous? It's quite Art Deco, isn't I it? I love the colour. Beautiful. And then you open it. Oh, look, it's just exciting, isn't it? It's gorgeous. <laughs> it's Beautiful. exciting opening the box. It just makes that strand, I don't know, it gives it the, the respect it deserves. Absolutely. If you've, if you've spent hours making a piece of jewellery and you just give it to someone. Exactly. It's one thing. Put it in a box like this. <gasps> and this is your kind of <laughs> Tiffany inspired colour, isn't it? <coughs> it's that Tiffany inspired colour. It's that duck egg blue. It's an iconic colour, isn't it? With your with your um with your companies like Cartier, their 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 kind of colour is this red. This red. And this is almost identical to some of the Cartier boxes that you can get. And it's literally identical, you know, the colour is identical to this. What you've got here, what you've got here is that is that iconic Tiffany's look. I love this gold piping here. So do it's I. It's absolutely beautiful. Look, you can literally just hold that down there, just compress that little button, open it up. 
It's just beautiful. It, it, it's got something quite vintage about it mm -hmm. because of that gorgeous gold bang yeah. going around it. It's almost like it's a gorgeous bonquette or something in a diner or something. It's just, it's so beautiful, isn't it? Look at this. Oh, I can't hear you, lovely. A Tiffany & Co. protective box, pre-owned, so it's used. Um, £55. Okay, well, it's got, the, it's got the Tiffany branding on it. Okay, well, yeah, that's fair enough, whatever. Um, ours doesn't have the Tiffany branding, obviously. You can put your own branding on there if you want to. But then again, it's not going to be £55. You can do whatever you like on the inside of that. You've got the inside, uh, kind of, you've got the insert there. And then you can put here, uh, you've got your two little slats at the back here so you can hook your earrings or maybe your necklaces over there, your beautiful bracelet. The nice thing about this and the reason why it's got such a deep lid on it is if you want to put a lovely big ring yes. inside there and it's going to be quite proud mm. maybe. Also, can I just say as well, what a lovely little box just to put things in as well, to put your rings in, to, to put look your after, in, yeah. to look after your jewellery. Not necessarily just to kind of, you know, sell your jewellery or to give your jewellery, but a lovely little box. I'd keep that on my bedside table. It's so would a I. lovely looking thing, isn't it? I mean, Beautiful. you know, I don't know about you, but do you take your wedding and engagement ring off when you go to sleep? Absolutely, yeah. yeah. So you could put it in a box like this. You know it's safe. You know, you're keeping it. And it looks nice. And it looks amazing. And yeah. also you're keeping it safe. What? $9.99. Oh, my oh, gosh. Oh, if we've got lots of these, I want one of these. Oh, not, we're going again. Oh, my gosh. Okay, can I, can I just say as well, let's say you've made that pair of earrings. You've made that pair of earrings. Sterling silver, Zhujiang pearls, you know, really mm. great quality. And let's say you're going to be selling those earrings for, I don't know, a hundred pounds. You put that pair of earrings in a box like this, how much are you going to sell that pair of earrings for now? It's going to be closer to 200, isn't it? Yeah. And I don't think I'm exaggerating there. You know, the, the, the effect of selling a piece of jewellery in a box like this can alter people's perception so much yeah, uh, of, of, you know, what they will pay yeah. for it. You know, you've put it in a box like this. You obviously care about it. You obviously love it. 9.99 is not your deal today. You can put your own labelling on the bottom or on the top. Put your own little insignia here. You can put your own insignia here. You can make this your own. You can put another ribbon on it. Use it just to stand your jewellery on, you know, for display purposes. This colour, this Tiffany's colour, will draw people in to your store just because of the colour. It's that iconic. Six ninety nine is your deal today. Congratulations. Well done. I love the fact it's got the gold as well rather than the silver. It's brighter. It's a little bit more. It's kind of more modern day classic, whereas I think the silver would be very, very contemporary with this. I just love it. For the price of this one, you could buy seven <laughs> of these. Seven. And let's face it. The only thing that's drawing me into that Tiffany's protective box there. You look at you look at that. Um, is it, was that on eBay? The only thing that's drawing me into that eBay page is the fact that it's got that colour. That's the only thing. It's the colour. It's the colour. You've got the exact same colour here. You may as well get six of these for the price of one of those. I prefer, I mean, it's just, sorry, I prefer ours. Well, so do I, because it's got the little the gold. gold on there. Looks really nice, doesn't it? You, it actually almost doesn't look like a ring box or a piece of jewellery box. No, it, it looks like a storage box. Yeah, it looks like it? a little mini travel jewellery box. Yes, it which does. Of course it could be. But because of the gold. gold. You're just going to be taken so much more seriously if you've got a stall and you're offering, you know, if you're offering Definitely. considered pieces, lovely pearls, lovely jade pieces, and you've, you know, you're displaying just a couple in these boxes and you can offer this, you're going to be taken more seriously. Absolutely. And I think as well, if you transport your pieces, not, I'm not saying necessarily all of them, but, you know, your highest kind of quality pieces to your craft stall in boxes like this, and then people see you yeah. taking your things out and literally placing them down and they're all in these gorgeous boxes and you know that that is just that is going to alter people's perception of you as, as, as Debbie's exactly said people will take you more seriously and they will expect to pay more for those pieces yes. because it's in that Tiffany colour box it's crazy how the mind works but I would expect to pay more for a piece of jewellery if it was displayed in a box than I would if it was just lying on so a on a you know on a on a table on a on a on a decorator's table at a craft store do you know what I mean it's um it's amazing what that does. Well, you'd immediately think that pearl is real. That is sterling silver. That yes, you don't gold. even need to ask, do you? You, you That's wouldn't. A great you know, if you point. chuck it on the table, they're like, "Well, is that sterling silver? Is it a pearl? You know, it does. Is it worth the hundred and ninety-nine pounds or whatever?" In a box like that, you know. Yeah. Um, 
Now, this is, so this is your iconic Tiffany's color. The next one we're going to do isn't just an iconic color. This is literally, um, I, I find it very difficult. I, I, think, I think this comes with another box, um, King Ed. Is that right? Yeah, could, could I get it please, lovely? Um, Cartier are, are literally the leading light in jewellery. These are people who started, um, you know, who've got, uh, thank you, lovely, who've got their own um, uh, uh, shop uh, outlet in, uh, well, not even an outlet, you know, shop, you know, their flagship store in Paris is in Place Vendôme, this beautiful sprawling square. And around it, you've got this beautiful kind of arcade of shops. And you've got your Louis Vuitton, you'll have your, uh, oh, goodness me, you'll have your Chanel, you'll have your Balenciaga, you'll have your high-end jewellers like your Boodles, your De Beers, and of course you've got Cartier as well. This adds to the drama even more because you've not only got that colour, you know if you get something in a box like this, that is, that is going to be amazing. Now this is a box within a box and I'll show you how cool this is. Now you open this up and you'll notice, hang on a minute, this box is a little bit too small and there's a good reason for it. And I'll show you it in a minute. Look, if you take this out, down here, you've got room for the little button. It's a lovely little addition. But oh, what's so nice, is it doesn't rattle within the box. It just sits there. So it's not going to be rattling around in the box, which is great. Okay. You get this beautiful, let me show you this. This is such care and consideration. A bit like, um, you know how... Uh, not not um, uh, notes now, as in money notes, but they used to be made from paper, mm. but it wasn't paper, it was a form of cloth. So it was a weave. You've got this, and it, it's this kind of we woven quality. It's such a lovely quality to have, isn't it? It's like a leather quality, but it's, it's like a beautiful cloth. On The work on here is so lovely. It's classic kind of Cartier inspired. So you've got this beautiful golden beaded kind of work all the way around this. And then on the top, you've got, this is classic and it's got that slightly padded top to it as well. And it's lovely actually, I don't know if you've ever seen any kind of pre-loved Cartier pieces which have been for sale in jewellers, but the, the boxes are battered, they're bruised, but they've still retained mm. that integrity and that quality. Now look at this, you push this button and the lid opens. <laughs> I just love this. The lid is again very, very deep, but it's actually, it's not actually hollow. It's actually a cushion. It's a pillow. Um, it's quite difficult to show you this without, but yeah, you can see it's a full on, it's a, it, it's a pillow inside here. That's going to polish your jewelry. It's going to keep your jewelry in place. And then inside here, you've got your little insert where you can put that necklace, I mean, a pearl necklace or anything diamond-like against this. Absolutely beautiful. You've even got this little ledge inside here. I don't know whether you can see that, Michael. If I tip it that way, yeah, like a little recess there, like a little shelf. It's so beautifully made. It's a box, but <laughs> how can something so simple be so beautifully made? It just is. Yeah. 72 pounds, genuine Carte bracelet box. Um, the postage on this is 30 pounds. So it's 102 pounds, basically. We're at 12.99. <laughs> look at the way, look at the way, look at that little lever. Look at the way that, look, I, I press the button. Chink, 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 chink. Isn't that just beautiful? I would, I would just start getting butterflies if someone gave me that box. Oh my gosh, so would I. I'd be like, so would I. <laughs> It, it's just it's just the absolute highest quality and this is the very definition of this shows that you care about your jewellery that you love your designer pieces that you are aware 9.99 by the way that you are aware of of you know the highest quality that you are paying reverence to the highest level of jewellery and it's entirely up to you, yeah. whatever you want to put in this, but I've, I'm just gonna get my Zhejiang pearls. Oh yes, here we go. Obviously, you know, if you want to do an entire necklace, you know, we may have some of the larger ones in stock. I'm not entirely sure. It's gonna be there. It might be challenging to put this in the box because it is so big, but, oh no, do you know what? You can actually put that in there. But just to display your jewelry, Look you've got that. such a one, I mean, it's way too big for this box. It's more of a bracelet or if it's on a chain, but you've got the most incredible quality there. Just angled slightly in this Cartier inspired box. Wow. 
people are going to take you very seriously, it's aren't so they? It's so wow, isn't it? It really is so wow. Now, this is, I, if, if this closes, it will. If it does, if it, well, see, it does. And that just shows you how squidgy and cushioned this is. Look, if I press this, it will ping open, just to let you know. Just have a little look at this. Here we go. Boop, like that. And, there's, <laughs> and there it is. That just shows you it's been, oh, it's just, oh, I just love it. I think it's absolutely, and even where the hinge is, look at this. It's not, it's not on show, it's hidden. Oh, <laughs> isn't that just beautiful? And it just makes you respect the jewellery more. It makes you respect what you're getting more. Again, if you just want to use it just to store your pieces in, you are, not necessarily pieces, but, you know, pieces of jewellery in, you absolutely can do. This isn't necessarily for displaying your jewellery or selling your jewellery in. A lovely box, again, just to have by your bedside table to put maybe a lovely watch in oh, yeah. or a bangle, something like that. Just absolutely gorgeous. $9.90, dollars a day. Loads in baskets. Well done, everyone. That is absolutely brilliant, isn't it? And I love those chamfered edges. I love the fact that it's not completely square, don't you? Yes. It's got these little chamfered edges on it, which just give it a softer, more, more prestige look. How can a shape give you more prestige? It just does. I suppose it looks like a gemstone from the top, doesn't it? Like the table facet of a gemstone. Yeah, it's just, I don't know. It's that iconic shape it's iconic color you look at it and you just think oh this is it this is it this is the, the piece this is the big one <laughs> this is the big one and it's in a box of its own a box in a, a box, box a box in, and look at the quality of that box isn't that just literally oh it's just beautiful i love it i love it i absolutely love that 9.99 and again a bit like with the tiffany inspired box people are going to look at that and go gosh they must know tiffany's they must love tiffany's they must be inspired by tiffany's i need to buy from them same goes with this they must love cartier you know if you make your own bangles you know the cartier love bangles um uh, um you know that you know sell for kind of thousands of pounds if you love your if you love your bangles you know if you make your bangles people are going to think oh she, she you know they know they know the tiffany love bangle so i must buy my things from them and it's a colour. It's crazy, isn't it, how much that influences yeah. the mind. Well done, everyone. They've just literally flown. OK. Oh. Oh, this. This star by is literally incredible. You are going to love this. This is multicoloured Cotan Mutton Fat Jade. But if you haven't seen this before, you will never have seen anything like this before. This is absolutely exceptional. Just look at this. This is, we're going to get a little bust for it just because that is, this one and the grey one that we've done, the black through to grey is absolutely amazing. This has been mirror image graduated. Look at those colours, Debbie. beautiful. What a, I've not seen a strand like this before. I I've mean, only seen this once before. It's just beautiful. I mean, you wouldn't want to do anything. All the work's been done for you, just re string that or not in between it's just stunning to start breaking this up would be sacrilege it, wouldn't would, it? It, would, yeah. it would have taken hours and hours and hours thank you lovely uh, to uh, to kind of ombre this and to graduate this color wise you look at the the skill <gasps> let me get it right that's it you look at the skill involved oh, that's in that so beautiful. <sighs> wow oh my gosh look at that mirror image Look at that. You've got, yeah, the kind of starts of your kind of imperial through to your, I don't know what that is, whether it's honey colored or, or uh, right the way up to these gorgeous grays. I mean, it is just so, as, 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 as Debbie says, the work has been done for you here. So impressive. Yeah, that's a very good point, actually. It is kind of, it is colour therapy, isn't it, looking at this? <clears throat> colour has a massive, oh, we've just been talking about colour, haven't we? About, you know, the Tiffany colour, the colour synonymous with uh, Cartier. 
I also think if you've got a treasured piece, I've got a gold locket from my mum oh, that darling. she left to me and it's got diamonds in it. It's beautiful. But it's like that you were saying that you get out and wear on special occasions. Yeah. Now, I didn't want it on a gold chain, but I can imagine it on this strand. So well, do there you, you go. have That's... a legacy piece of maybe a pendant oh. or a locket that you'd rather make really individual and pop on a strand like this rather than a chain? Wouldn't that be absolutely... I can see it on there. And, and I then that's a lovely idea. You know, you've made it your own, but you've still got the sentiment there. Yes. Maybe you've got a special piece of jewellery that your other half has bought you. Um, but I just think using this instead of a chain, like if you're thinking of it like that, you're keeping the colours, but you're adding something precious on the bottom. I think that would be gorgeous. See, what a lovely idea. What a lovely way to... What a lovely way to keep that piece individual, yeah. but keep that legacy piece next to you. Also, the length of this as well, it would sit kind of kind of near your clavicle, I suppose. Yeah. Kind of, uh, sorry, not your, your kind of breastbone. Yeah. So it would sit over your heart. Yeah. I mean, how beautiful would that be? I just think that's so lovely as an alternative to putting something on a chain, yeah. which anyone can do. Isn't that lovely? Also, I, I, I would suggest as well on here, if you made a knotted necklace and you put it in the middle there, might be a little bit safer than a chain as well. Yeah, absolutely. And you're, you're adding that rarity and you're also, you're designing again. You're designing, but yeah, you're designing with something. Designing. Like my mum's passed it down to me. It came on a long gold chain, which is nice. Not really my style. I love the locket and I can see it on this. Make I can it see style. it on this strand. Yes. Isn't that lovely? Just beautiful. And that speaks volumes, doesn't it, about the value of this incredible gemstone, the quality of what you're going to be getting today. You know, in a state, a piece which means more to Debbie than, you know, than, than almost anything else, it is, you know, this this is what's speaking to her. One hundred and forty nine pounds. That is an obscene price. One four nine for the physical carat weight. That's amazing. But for the work, the time, the yeah. effort, the skill, and the variety of what you are getting here, the rarity of what you are getting here, that is an absolutely tremendous price point. Individual split payments of thirty seven. 25 that's your deal maker's got two there maker in hertfordshire mary in devon well done to you you could literally take this could sell out today well done go 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 well done everybody sharon in county Durham could go to you we've got two left and we've got so gabrielle could go to you oh my gosh so many people with this in their basket jillian in tyne and weir well done to you maker in renfrewshire well done to you um hertfordshire's there well done to you um cardiff oh gosh there's so many people there Check out as soon as you can, everybody. We've got one chance remaining. Go, 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 go. What are you going to do with it, guys? I'd love to know what you're going to do with yeah. it. Yeah. It's really beautiful. I can't wait for you to see it in the flesh. It's ever so beautiful. Yeah, absolutely. Now, in the break, we're going to sh um, show you a really short clip of Britain's Next Gem. Oh, yeah. Um, I, I kind of I was made aware of it yesterday on social. And um, it's going to be it's going to be really, really exciting. So make sure that you're watching that clip over the break. Um, so what we're going to be showing you on the on the break is how to vote, uh, which is really exciting. Awesome. Right. Well done. That's that's pretty much gone. How about we do a one meter strand? How about we do a one meter strand of Larimar? Oh. Now, the last time we bought this to air, it went absolutely crazy. Oh, my gosh, that's a lovely idea. Ollie's saying he'd love carnelian sauces with this or a red jade donut. I love this strand. It's a one of my favourite gemstones. It's become one. Do you know, it's so amazing how this colour goes with nearly everything. You wouldn't think it does. You know, you put this colour with whatever you're wearing and it just seems to blend in. It just seems to work. Do you think it's because although it's a, a pastel colour, it's still really saturated and vibrant? I think so. And it goes, you know, whether it's complementing or whether it's opposite, it seems to go. I've not ever put my necklace on that I wear like this and thought, oh, no, I can't wear that. It doesn't go. Mm. And I do it wear colour. What you're wearing today, you're yeah. wearing kind of your red, uh, where it would go, it, it would yeah. go with what I'm wearing, which is like bright acidic yellow. It's, it's amazing. Yeah, the red spinel we bought you earlier on, absolutely. That would be gorgeous. A metre of Larimar. One locational gemstone. Um, only from the Dominican Republic. It's absolutely beautiful. It just, it is such a beautiful quality strand. You're getting a meter, but we're not skimping on quality at all. 299, uh, individual split payments, there you go, of 99.66. Okay, now when we bought this to air last, it flew. And I tell you what, 299 was not your price. 
Um, this is utterly ridiculous already, but we are going to be taking it even lower for you today. There's no weak links here, is there? This no. is all amazing quality. Whereas with Larimar, sometimes it can become quite dark, full of matrix. It could become a little bit grey. Um, oh, look this at is that. I want to dive into that strand. So do I. <laughs> it's like a holiday, isn't it? Oh, it's gorgeous. That's a holiday in a strand. I'm going to dive right in the middle of all those oh. beads. Oh, it's gorgeous. Oh, gorgeous. I mean, it's so <laughs> relaxing, isn't it? Yeah. So relaxing. Here we go. This, this price is ridiculous. Ridiculous. Here we go. All the way down. We're going to go under £150 and you've just got to be quick. How many do we have, Neary? Five chances available. That is it. Go, go, go. £149 on individual split payments of £49.66. Go, go, go. Well done. It's absolutely brilliant, isn't it? If ever there was a gemstone to create a, to kind of evoke a feeling of utter relaxation or, yeah, I'm just going to dive right in. You know, when you're on uh, a holiday and, you're, and everyone's so hot and mm -hmm. you're sweating, and, oh my God. And then you see the swimming pool and you just literally Fresh. dive in. Fresh and cool. That's exactly Fresh. it, isn't it? Oh, it's just it's just the most delicious feeling. With the fluorite, with the purple. Oh gosh, that's something I hadn't thought of. Oh, oh my gosh, that looks amazing. <laughs> Debbie, that looks amazing. Oh, I, I would love, never have thought of that. Oh, my goodness. I love that so Lavender. much. Lavender. Come on. I want that piece of jewellery, Carol. <laughs> that, is, that is a kit. That is a... Go oh, what, why it. does that work so well? I, it, I just love it. One left. Oh, my gosh. One chance remaining. Well done. 149. And you can get this home today, Debbie, for under £50. Oh, I love it. There's not going to be any for me left. No. No. None for me. No. One <laughs> chance remaining. <laughs> Go, go, go. Well done, everyone. That is absolutely tremendous. Absolutely gorgeous. What a treat for you today. 0800 644 Well done, everybody. Go, go, go. Absolutely brilliant. Well done. 30 seconds to close with one chance remaining. There you go. That is it. That is all we've got. Oh, my word. Utterly, utterly, utterly brilliant. Isn't that just incredible? That nice just... with pearls as well. That will give you a completely different feel. Yes. Yes. Go but on, whether goodbye. it's white or your Zhujiang pearls or your Tahitian <laughs> pearls like that. Goodbye, dear friend. <laughs> One chance remaining. It's got to go. Otherwise, Debbie's literally going to nick it after the show today. Yeah. Um, I can't yeah. run, but I'll give it a go. <laughs> she I'll can hop. hobble. Hobble. <laughs> oh, bless her. Uh, right. Okay. Um, the deal of the day coming up in uh, about this. 50 minutes time is this. All on pre-order. These are your bangle stands. We've got them in this lovely hessian. We've got them in um, black velvet as well. They really hold up these hessian ones mm. because I've got some, you know, I think we did the single ones ages and ages ago. Oh, quite ago. possibly, yeah. And, you know, I have used and used them. Every time I do a craft fair, and I usually just do like one a year now or two a year, um, I use these and they've not sort of degraded in any way. No. Um, which some of my other ones have. So I can personally recommend like these kind of hessian covered ones. Yes. Really nice background as well for all precious metals as well. Certain, certain kind of jewellery, you know, whether it's in gold or silver, it looks funny on white or funny on black. Mm. This really does fit the bill. And great that you can take those little arms off as well so you can slide the bracelets, uh, the bangles off as well, which is just great. They're coming up as your deal of the day. We've got a whole host of them coming up. Uh, don't go anywhere. We'll see you in a sec. I'm Natalie Patton and I'm from Merseyside. So I started jewellery making about two years ago. Um, I make all sorts of different types of, of jewellery um, with lots of different methods and techniques. So I might use some tiger tail or elastic, do some bead stringing, but wire is um, my passion. My inspiration comes from the gemstone itself usually. Um, so the colours and the patterns in them and the shape of them. I use a lot of uh, cabochons, so my design will tend to come from what I feel works best with that particular stone. I don't know what I was thinking when I entered Britain's Next Gem. I was having a day where I must have just been overly confident and just thought, why not? I got an email to say, you know, I've made it through. Um, I, I cried, <laughs> let's face it. <laughs> I'm quite emotional. <laughs> so yeah, I, I did a lot of uh, squealing, a lot of giddy jumping up and down, dancing, happy dances. 
so it was a very exciting day being in the studio, um, getting to meet the team, getting to see behind the scenes. You know, you watch Jewelry Maker, um, I watch on the telly mainly or on my phone, but to be actually there in the studio, I'd started off quite nervous and now when I go I just feel quite at home. You can't get rid of me now. <laughs> So I created um, the Gemstone Garden Collection. So they are a series of 12 different beautifully crafted uh, beads which are related to um, their flowers. So each month is assigned a different flower so your bead will be shaped like that flower and in the centre will also be a birthstone as well. To, to be a finalist in Britain's Next Gem is, is just I keep saying incredible, there's not many other like superlatives I can come up with really. I love making things for people and I love seeing people wear the things I've made. To be able to create a collection that other jewellery makers can make with just fills me with absolute pride. I would think you should vote for my collection because you would be able to create a whole range of different jewellery making projects with it. They're very versatile um, and they're very lovely if I do say so myself. Gemstone Garden means that you can personalise and customise your jewellery pieces so if you're making for somebody and you would like to include special months, maybe a birthday, then you can choose those particular beads that represent that month and that birthstone. Or if you've got a favourite flower or a fa favourite colour, you could choose that one too. Makers, did you know that you can purchase as many times as you like throughout the day and you'll only be charged one postage and packaging fee? No matter the size, weight or quantity of your order, how many times you check out that day, we will still only charge you that single PMP. Keep things simple on Jewelry Maker. It's easy to stay in touch with Jewelry Maker. You can like our Facebook page and join our community of over 69,000 people. You can follow us on Twitter and tweet us your messages and opinions. You can also find us on Instagram and even TikTok. Make sure you get involved and stay up to date with Jewelry Maker. Well, good morning, good morning, good morning. Okay, right, okay. Um, kits, gorgeous. How do you do this, Debbie? How do you well, make bracelets like this? Well, this is not difficult. Now, I, I tell you, what, I've channel set before on this channel, and I've got my bull vice and my pusher and all these tools, and today I'm just going to show you how to do this with a, basically some pliers because this can be done wow. but what I've done differently is you've got some little stars as well and we've put little stars in when I've stamped like a heart and an initial so that you can personalize oh. and then on the other one I've put a little pearl and one star and not stamped or anything but it's the symbolism of that so maybe someone's been a star you know they've been through a difficult time they've done their exams or they've passed their driving test or that's their birthstone and then a star so that's the kind of idea that I'm kind of wanting to put across that even though we do pre-made jewellery as in mounts How you gorgeous. can still make it your own you can still personalize oh it. it's just so such lovely lovely jewellery so simple, so clean, yeah. gorgeous, and by the sounds of it, really achievable. Very achievable. Okay. We're going to start off with this white zircon kit. Um, I think, mm. yeah, anything that can kind of build your confidence when you start making um, jewellery or, 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 or when you start doing any kind of new hobby. You know, if you can, um, I, I, th there's a particular cake recipe that I know will always turn out fine. It's the Mary Berry all-in-one Victoria sponge. 
You know you've got it. You've got. A, yeah. I can. I can recite it off the top of my head. I've made it that many times, but you just know it's always going to turn out brilliantly. And that confidence is always great to have. Yeah. Um, the components are so well. Here we go. Components are so beautiful here. They're so beautifully um, um, uh, um, uh, commissioned. Got this gorgeous sliding clasp bracelet here. So you've got your gorgeous box chain with the two little beads on the bottom. There they are. There's your sliding uh, bead there to make it shorter or longer. Gorgeous. Okay. And then you've got this little channel set tray, if you like. And into your trays, just you wait for this, everyone. This is absolutely amazing. Talk about, I feel like I'm in Hatton Gardens. I feel like I'm... It looks like a diamond bracelet, I think. Yeah, I feel, I feel like something out of, oh my gosh. Look at the quality of these white um, um, zircon. They are absolutely incredible. They are eye clean, ice white quality my gosh pretty much the oldest object in the world i'm holding here that formed just after the formation of the moon this gem can only be formed with explosions and kind of and kinetic energy of biblical biblical proportions not like the little meteorite that exploded over the english channel the other day just <laughs> yeah. a meter wide um, this is, this is earth shattering, earth creating kind of movement and kinetic energy. Now, you'll notice on the recording there that there's something even more exciting. As you can see, white light, which is all around us, is made up of component colours. And when, the, when white light is uh, passed through a prism, when it's passed through uh, something, uh, yeah, so if you imagine the uh, front cover of Dark Side of the Moon, Pink Floyd. Yeah, so it's basically when white light is interrupted, when the flow of white light is broken uh, and it changes direction, that white light splits and it splits into its component colours, which are red, orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo, violet. Thank you for that, Neri. And that's called dispersion or fire. You'll notice it more from the back of the gemstone because the light is passing from the top where it should be uh, to the bottom of the gemstone and what you're getting here is a gemstone which is more than more than uh, giving you dispersion zircon is one of the only gemstones in the world which is doubly refractive so what that means is is that the white light is split it um, um, as it enters the gemstone and then it comes back out at uh, out out of the table facet of the gemstone, but not once, but twice. It's doubly refractive. So you get more sparkle, more fire, more of that lovely dispersion from a zircon than you do from a diamond, which is why they just look so good. So why, why, why are zircons not a million times the price of a diamond? The only reason is, and it is the only reason, is that diamonds have had the best marketing campaign <laughs> Yeah. of the 20th century. Um, uh, you know, diamonds are forever. Diamonds are a girl's best friend. And Boodles and De Beers inflate, not, math, not artificially inflate, but, you know, diamonds are very, very coveted, obviously. Demand is always very, very high. But the prices are extraordinarily high as well. So because this is a lesser-known, genuine gemstone, the, we can bring you this kit for £30. It's crazy. Set into sterling silver, these are going to look absolutely beautiful. What an incredible, incredible bracelet. Now, of course, you don't have to put just the zircon in here. If you've got other gemstones, which are these sizes, are these four mils or are they three mils or four mils? Four to me. Four mils, yeah. I think they're four mils. If you've got other gemstones, which would work um, uh, kind of in this channel setting, whether it's amethyst or birthstones, you could really make it personalised, couldn't you? You could put the, but And also, if you already work with metal, you know, you can keep working on this. You could, like, I, on my bracelet with the zircons yes. in, I've actually put sort of like a rough texture on. Like, a, can you see that I've put this rough texture on rather than a high polished shine? It's because lovely. I thought that it sort of made the zircons really pop. So you can add all your um, accessories to it. Yeah, and you gorgeous. Can do different, you could add little burr finishes on the side. You know, Ooh. so if you're already a metalsmith, you can still make it your own. And the contrast between that and that shiny, bright zircon is just, it's gorgeous, yes. isn't it? 
1999. Oh, oh my gosh, there is no way on earth you would ever look at that bracelet and think, yeah, that's a 20 quid bracelet. No way, no way. Not with those incredible genuine gemstones, not with that incredible setting, not with the sterling silver gram weight. I'll just give it a quick weigh. I don't know what the gram weight is actually. Um, it's absolutely amazing. You're getting over a carrot of the Cambodian white zircon. By the way, Cambodian white zircon is basically Ratnikiri. I know it's not blue, like Ratnikiri zircon, you know, tends to be um, associated with, but it is from Cambodia. So it's almost definitely going to be your Ratnikiri. Over four grams of your sterling silver there, which is amazing. Lynn, Geraldine, Maker and Conway, Jackie, well done to you as well. 19.99 for the whole kit today. Maker, well done to you as well. If you're looking at this kit and you're thinking, if you're looking at those braces and thinking, oh gosh, that looks really challenging. I just don't know whether I can do it. Please watch the demo. Please get the kit because I, I, I can assure you this is one of the easiest ways to channel set your gemstones, isn't Absolutely. it? Absolutely. And if you, you'll know if you're a metalsmith, how much work would go into making this setting. Yes. First of all, you'd have to make a box setting. Then you'd have to make your holes so that your gemstone fitted exactly where you yeah. wanted. Yeah, then you've got to solder it. Then you'd it. have to cut your seats inside so that your gemstones will sit inside. It's a very complicated and lengthy process. Yes. Um, you could never make it for 19 99 yeah. uh, if you factor in your time. It just... For me, I wouldn't. I wouldn't bother if no. I could buy it for this. I exactly. would just buy it and then maybe add some textures, add some burr textures around the side. Lovely. Maybe like make a sort of a stardust effect um, with your sand, Gorgeous. like I did. So you can further personalise it. I added stars. I added the pearl. You can yes. add someone's birthstone and their initial. Up to you. Look at this amethyst. Oh my gosh! This month's birthstone, and I love that little detail you've got there. By the way, we've got the little star details coming up, so don't worry, we do have those coming up. I've just noticed as well, I think this is something you uh, uh, called the seat. Um, inside the setting, inside the tray, as it were, you've got these little kind of divots. Yeah, the seat of the, for the um, gemstone to Can sit. you see that there? Let me just, oh, if I tip it, yeah, if I tip it like that, can you see those little divots there? That That's to... That, that's to kind of catch the, the top of your gem, the it's crown of the gem. The seat. So you need specialised tools to make this. You would need exactly the the right colour burr for a uh, right size burr for the gemstone. Gosh. You'd have to have a rotary tool. Um, you know, so you'd need to have a lot of advanced silversmithing techniques to make this. The amount yeah. of time that it would take, if you factored in your time, I couldn't do it for nineteen ninety nine. Yes, exactly. That, that that's exactly it. So it just goes back to what Debbie was saying a few moments ago. You know why. You know, if you, when you've got it done and it's so so well, and it's been it's been done so beautifully for you, the amount of time and energy and the amount of money you'd spend on kind of investing in making something like this yourself, you may as well just get it from jewelry maker, especially as we're at nineteen pounds ninety nine pence, which is absolutely amazing. It is amazing. well done, everyone. When I first um, oh, showed channel setting, I showed you it was on my ball vice and yes, I, I had all that. my yes. metal smithing tools. Yes. No, I've. Has it gone down? Fourteen ninety nine. Oh, really Get good. it. Wow. Go go go. Oh my gosh, you've got to, Cheryl, Lynn, Susan, Michelle, Maker, Maker, Cheryl. Oh wow. Go 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 go. If you're Cat. wanting to have a well go, done. I'm just going to do it with wow. suppliers. I challenge myself to not use any of the my ball vice. posh tools, yeah, any yeah, expensive yeah. tools, and just to do it with pliers so that everybody can have a go. Absolutely. And also with this, if you get your gemstone in and you don't like it, you can open it up again and keep doing it. So you can't kind of ruin it in inverted commas. Mm. Um, so if you're thinking, do you know what? I've always wanted to try this. I don't have the confidence. This is a great one and also a great price to have a try with. And then you can further personalise it or if you like it, as it is it's lovely yes. as it is leave it as it is absolutely absolutely i just i just love what you've i love what you've done to it i think personalizing it or if you've got other uh, four mil gemstones, you know, popping those in there as well to make that really lovely kind of birthstone piece. Absolutely gorgeous. Um, and it's so, uh, thank you so much, um, um, uh, Debbie, for kind of completing these pieces without using the big elaborate tools. Because hmm. I think for people out there who've never channel set before, looking at this design, it's a very, you look at that design and think, yeah, that looks really, really nice. I, I, I just don't know whether I'd be able to do it. It's so nice to see you doing it with the most basic of tools it's because really Because I lovely. think a lot of people have interests but they don't have the confidence. Absolutely. And also You're you so don't right. want to invest hundreds of pounds and then maybe not be able yeah. to do it, do you? Yeah, yeah. Right, Demonst demonstration. Yeah, we'll bring you other pieces, okay. uh, the accents whilst we're doing the demo. 
Gorgeous. Well done, everyone. Go, go, go. This yes. My favourite, the amethyst. I think beautiful. Really beautiful. And also, if you've got initial um, charms, like a D or a oh, whatever, lovely. you could pop that on the side. You know, if you're not a stamper or you don't engrave, you could certainly do that. Now, how this comes, am I? Oh, I'm in shot. That's a lovely shot. Thank you. Um, as you can see inside, you've got these little holes, and this is where your um, gemstones are going to sit into. And you actually have to position your okay. gemstone over the hole, or it will sit wonky. So this isn't a quick thing to do. You will drop them, you'll get them in, and two will fly out. You know, it's something that you want to do when you're feeling relaxed. Just make sure that you're on a work surface, that if your little gemstones go pinging, which they do for the best of us, you can find them again, that they're just going to end, you know, you're not on a, on a cluttered desk. Yes. Um, which is why jewellers have jewellers' um, cloths underneath their benches to catch that sort of thing. Ah, yes, so, of course. What you need to do, what I did first, is put all of the gemstones in just to make sure they fit. And when you pick up your gemstone, I'm actually going to hold it in my hand. Um, if you've got a ball vise, of course, you can put it in the ball vise. But I wanted to show that you don't need all, the, all of this equipment. You'll find that when you lean your gemstone in the top, you might think, oh, well, that, that doesn't fit. That's not going in. What you've got to do is get one of the ends sort of side wonky. <laughs> And yes. then you have to manoeuvre it. Oh, will it go into that little Until it we goes into about? the little hole. Okay. Yes. And it'll move and th they will till they, till they go in. But there we go. It's gone in. Good. So yes. what, the, how you will know it's gone in is if I lift up to my eye line, I can see that it's sat underneath both lips. Yep. So I'm going to just tilt it very slightly. You see those two lips? channel setting is setting a stone underneath those lips yep. and they need you need to not have if I turn it that way any of the stone protruding over the lip and yep. so you need to have a look at it from all angles and just make sure that it's sat in there and you're going to do that with every single stone okay so that they all sit next to each other and you might find that as you add another one one moves slightly and you will get there it might take you 20 minutes but you'll get there you'll get them all in okay and what I would suggest is that you set them all at the same time because their relationship to each other is quite important mm. and if you start to squeeze one into place then you might actually be squeezing a bit of, of this as well and you might oh. not be able to get that one in yeah. so I'm going to show you the highly technical tool <laughs> that you will need that does look very highly technical it's a pair of pliers <laughs> Awesome. Now, I've chosen the sort of more of the box, the boxy kind of pliers as yep. opposed to the, the more sort of long nose. So sort of mm. a chain nose rather than the long nose. But this does work as well. Now, there's various ways that you can protect your piece from any dents from your pliers. Now, this is just um, jeweler's finger tape that you wrap around your fingers. It's also the same stuff that you put... Um, wounds on, you know like dressing it looks on. like a little um you know the stuff almost. it doesn't it only sticks to itself yes yes so it's easy to so you can put that on you can get special dip for pliers where you dip it in you can use these pliers if you've got them but to be to be oh, quite yeah, honest jaw, yeah. i found the nylon jaw i slipped more with ah yes okay you're not going to get the same so the main you. reason for putting this on is so that i'm not marking my metal you're going to mark your metal you're mm. going to mark it. I mean, you're going to mark it a little bit, um, but that's fine because that's very, very easy to get out afterwards. Yes, okay? lovely. So you can either do this at um, masking tape, anything like that. So the aim is just to cover those jaws up a little bit so yeah. that we're not going to mark our metal. Really dent it, yeah. Okay, so I'm actually going to move this because I put in... Now, watch me displace them. I put in this morning... Beautifully done, Debbie. All the five in there lovely okay so in no particular order i'm just going to start to press now again you don't want to go in this heavy handed bang whack, squash it's a very gradual so i just first of all i've checked that all of my stones are sitting underneath that lip like that one's sticking up a bit so i'm just going to and also, as you set one, another one might move. There we go. So you can kind of hear a, a yes. feel, a really satisfying click when they sit into place because that means the little bottom of the stone has gone into the hole. So you've got all of those in. You've got your pliers. Whether you want to hold it in your hand or hold it on a, a surface, you just want to start to squeeze gently. Yeah. Now, I'm really, <coughs> excuse me, squeezing very gently, and I'm just going to move upwards so this is a very ah, gradual process so as you can see there i've pinged them i told you i would That's okay and you just pop it back in 
and um, you know, start again. So you uh -huh. just pop it back in, and then you're going to just gradually. Sorry, my hand's in the way. I can't get the right position, but I'm just going to tell you. Yeah. You basically, squeeze, squeeze. That's awesome. Turn it round. Yeah. Make sure that then they've moved. Oh. Squeeze, squeeze again until you get all of these. So do stones. it kind of. So do a bit on one side, a bit on the other side. A bit on one side. So to kind of do it evenly on both sides. Let me just grab this one that's done yeah. so that. Because it's not something you can do in a 10 minute demo and keep without your head over the top of it. Mm. And what you'll find is you start to get the little divots that go and they'll become sort of a little bit um, skew whiff is the word. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then you'll find that you can tell whether they're set because they'll stop moving around inside. Like they might not come out, but they'll still keep moving. So the idea, if I just move that one out of the way, is to keep squeezing until these are snugly inside. And when you put your hand on, the actual gemstone stops moving. So what you tend to do is work down one side, or this is how I do it, turn it around, work down the other side, and then you might find that the middle is a little bit more tight than the ends because you've kind of neglected yeah, the ends. Yeah. So then you just get your pliers and squeeze the ends. And you can go up and down to sort of get those. Brilliant. And that's all there is to it. Now, when you, ha you find that you have some marks left in there, yeah. the other tools that are very useful is a burnisher. Because what you can do with your burnisher is obviously being very careful of the stones, but the benefit of this is that the stones are down under the lip, so of they're course. quite protected. If you want to be really, really careful, you can pop a, a bit of masking tape just over the stones there, or put your finger there. And then if you want to get out any little divots that you've caused with your pliers or any slipping, you can just take this and burnish it across the top and it will kind of splay out the metal. Be very, very careful. Um, that you're not hitting the stone. You can do this with an agate burnisher. Yeah. You can do this with any burnisher. It's just the one that's to hand. And just take it. And obviously, if you are a metal worker and you have a rotary tool, you can mm. actually get your sander and go over the top and over the top. Ooh. And what I did with this one was with my rotary tool, I just added that kind of I love that. I was stardust just that. effect. Such a nice finish. Because I thought it made Debbie. the... Um, Gemstones really pop. Yeah, ma yeah makes them stand really out. Really pop. Isn't it? But for what I've just done, I like it pinged out. That's what happens. It will ping out. So you have to keep putting them back in, being patient. Like I think I got to five at one point and then they fell out and then I put them back in. So don't think that's wrong because that might happen. Yeah. Um, especially if you're heavy handed like me. You just want to be very gentle. You don't have to squeeze it all at the same time. You're going to squeeze, then you're going to. Turn. Turn. And all the time you're checking that your gemstones have stayed in the same yes. place. And if you do want to remove any um, marks, if you have made some, some plier marks in it, you can take more of a heavy duty file and where the marks are, you can just use, use that file and then you can finish off with um, every metal smith's favourite little tool, which is the nail buffer, yeah, great. and then go over the top. So if you have got any marks, which is completely normal um, with a pre-made setting, you can get them out super easily, but you're just Gorgeous. basically, all you're doing is squeezing. And if you think to yourself, oh, well, this, this one's still moving a little bit, then maybe you want to squeeze a little bit more near the top rather than the whole thing, because you don't want to squeeze at the bottom because you don't want to squeeze the gemstone no, out. Yes, so you're just exactly getting this lip. And then once you're, you're nearly there, you can get that burnisher, a back of a spoon will do it as well if you've got a burnisher, and just sort of take that lip even further over like little pins yes, in a yes. pod. So it definitely can be done with just a pair of pli protected pliers um, and a burnisher or the back of a spoon. And then as for just adding the little elements onto the side, you've got some really generous size loops here yeah. on the side of this finding. So you can just add a little charm or a little wrap loop. I mean, I added yeah. a little pearl and then these, we've got these stars as upsells. So the actual gorgeous. stars are really, really good because if you have got the means to stamp or you yeah. have got the means to engrave, you can get a letter. They're big enough there to get a letter or a heart. So yeah. um, these are really good additions. And that's all there is to it, really.
So we've got the star accents on the screen. So um, silver star, solderable accents. Oh, and the half star ones. Yeah, so this is this pack. Look, here we go. So these are your three sterling silver stars. And you're also going to be getting your little half stars. But yeah, there we go. Perfect. We should like little kind of witch's hats, don't they? They're you so can solder, cute. Yeah, so yeah, if, you were, if you do solder, you can solder those on top of the stars. Oh, how lovely. Or, you know, you can solder onto the bracelet if you want to you know it's up to oh, you oh yes yeah. what a lovely idea but if you're a metal smith you'll know what you want to do 7.99 for those today well done uh, jacqueline's already through for two packs of those that's great to see well done we do have some more of the accents coming up as well slightly different kind of shapes coming up uh, but yeah they're 7.99 which is great natalie i uh, love your showing us how any uh, anyone can use these regardless of skill level so well explained and a gorgeous piece says natalie isn't that nice and also i believe in being real like you know i pinged the gemstone there that's what happened to me in my studio before i ended up with these and you know on on edited youtube videos everything goes swimmingly because they edit every mistake out and people look at that and they think i can't do that but because nobody makes jewelry in one take do they yeah precisely no, nobody does precisely. so when you ping it out you go oh, that's fine this happens you pop it back in again it's all about patience and enjoying the process and you definitely can do it gorgeous you see that it, it isn't that lovely and i, I yeah Thanks for that, Mr. Connolly. I'd love to do that. Yeah. You could. You definitely I could. could. Do that. Right. Star by coming up right now. You're going to love this. <laughs> this. Right. You know, you know, we bought you this at the end of the hour, the end of the last hour. Look what we've just found. this oh yeah there you go you've got to get this to go with this oh my gosh it's like adding yeah like adding another layer to that ombre a double ombre you could ombre the ombre <laughs> you're absolutely right is that Paul Demir's dulcet tones I can hear I think it is Paul Demir's my little ray of sunshine directing us at this moment in time hello my love how are you oh we love this don't we we love this mutton back. This is absolutely gorgeous. It's got that slight smokiness to it, hasn't it, this it quality? It really has, yeah. It's lovely. It's got, it's got a cloud in there. Yes, absolutely gorgeous. So I don't know if there's any of this ombre strand left. I don't think there is. I think it completely sold out. But we were just saying if you... Oh, it did sell out, yeah. So if you did miss out on that, then why not come through and get your light green Cotan mutton fat uh, rounds? These are absolutely beautiful, aren't they? These are six mil rounds that you're going to be getting here today. Beautiful quality. Yeah, we've seen the white mutton fat nephrite, uh, which is absolutely beautiful, starting off at kind of £1,000 and tops out at about $325,000. Oh, with these uh, necklaces on average selling for $93,250. Wow. What? That is, a, that is unbelievable. Do you know where we're going to be starting off today? Have a look at this. Enjoy. Loads of people, loads and loads and loads of people should be coming through to get this. Another one to add to the collection, if you like. This is your start price, start price, 4.99. Nowhere near where we're finishing today. So you're looking at what, like 90,000 pounds? Like, well, oh. It's not even worth it. It's not even worth mentioning those previous prices we've just mentioned. We're at 4.99, Cynthia in Wiltshire. Well done to you, lots of interest there. This is great to see. Get involved as soon as you can. Go, 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 go. Here we go. Enjoy, everyone. Totally natural. Well done. Here we go. One, nine, nine. Oh, my gosh. Absolutely brilliant. Nowhere near your price. How many do we have, Neary? Just uh, how many? What? <laughs> 13? 13? One, three? How have we got 13? I've never seen this drum before. How have we got 13 of these? I've got absolutely no idea. This is incredible. We are going to take over half the amount of this price. Can we? Mm, really? Absolutely crazy. Here we go, everyone. 0800 644 655. Go, go, go. What an opportunity. 
all the way down. This is absolutely bonkers. What a deal for you today. 30 seconds. I love its smokiness. I love its gentle tone that you're going to be getting there. I love that lovely soft kind of white grape kind of colour to it. It's absolutely gorgeous. There's nothing too overpowering about this tone. It's fresh, it's spring, it's beautiful, but it's the most beautiful, beautiful decadent quality. Um, goes beautifully, by the way, with the gorgeous lavender Mexican oh, yeah. uh, fluorite we've got coming up. I know. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. Look at that. Isn't that lovely? Here we go. Price point coming in in three, two, one. Here we go. You're going to love this. £79. Oh my gosh, that's ridiculous. Nine chances left. June in Hampshire, well done to you. Anne, we've got you, my lovely, in Suffolk. That's great to see. Well done. Loads more people coming through. Go, 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 go. 0800, 644, What a deal for you today. Single figures. Not a colour I've come across before. I bought you most different kind of qualities of jade and nephrite that we have here on Jewelry Maker, but I've never seen this quality before. This is really exciting. Absolutely mm. wonderful. Jean and Carmarth and Shield, well done to you as well. Six chances remaining. That's all we've got remaining now. What an opportunity. I'm just going to try this as well. I mean, I, I, mean, I know it's going to work. Oh, yeah. There it is, Deborah. Well done to you, my lovely in Cumbria. Go, go, go. Five opportunities remaining. Well done, everyone. Isn't that just gorgeous? Go, go, go. Well done. Check out as soon as you can. Well done. Five opportunities. Linda and Hampshire's got two. Well done to you. Let's do a minute to close. Yeah, there you go. A minute clock to close. There you go. <laughs> it is serious. It's the clock of danger. That took Alan, who does all of our kind of promos and things like that. That took Alan over five years to make that. That, that clock, it's, uh, you know, a, a real labour of love. He's up for a Nobel <laughs> Peace Prize for it. And, uh, yeah, it's uh, it's quite a thing. Uh, no, it actually took him about half an hour. Uh, but anyway, say. Deborah, Linda, well done. There's nothing he can't do. I know, he's clever. Four chances remaining. Well done, everyone. You've literally got 29 seconds. And then it's going to be it's gonna be taken away. Maker in Yorkshire, I can see you've just come through there. Well done. Check out my lovelies. What a treat. What are you going to be putting it with? Are you going to be putting it with the beautiful fluorite or with some gorgeous pearls? Do you know all shades of green go together? Tomorrow we've got a very, very special more Sitsit -sit collection. Plus we've also got um, a very, very special collection for a gemstone I have never bought you. It's actually a hybrid stone. That's going to be coming your way. It is diopside with something else. Very exciting. Can't wait to bring you that. Bristol, Lorraine. Yeah, I know. It's going to be absolutely amazing. Gorgeous. Well done. £79 for you today. Taking those details away. Well done. Right. Okay. What are we doing now, lovely? The opals. Right. These are absolutely beautiful. These opals. They are absolutely tremendous. I've got a little selectiano. Which one are we doing first, love? What? What do you mean all at the same time? It's a five strand opal Ooh. extravaganza we're going to be bringing these to you all at the same time it's a five strand opal um uh, extravaganza and we're going to be bringing this to you right now as a steal of the day go 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 <laughs> Hello, everyone. I can see we've got people joining us in the studio. They're all very excited about this. Lee Ham Dickens, good morning. <laughs> Callum Reese, good morning. Oh, lovely cat as well joining us. How gorgeous to see you, my darling. So nice to see you. We're all here. I'm just going to show something to Debbie because she's not paying attention. Sorry, I'm playing with the jade elephant. <gasps> I know. No, this one, this, this, this. This one. Look at it. But look at that. Oh. I know. I mean, there's opal and there's opal. I know. Like some opal's dead. This is opal. That is opal. There's some opal is dead. Well, you know, it's got no... You're dead to me. Yeah. It's got no magic. Oh, my gosh. This is... Huh. Is this all, all together? Together. It's a five strand... A five strand <laughs> extravaganza. Ooh. Right, I'm going to go through them. Here we go. Strand number one. Strand number one. Gorgeous. Ooh, that's beautiful. Gorgeous Ethiopian opal. 
Incredibly beautiful. Another strand, unfaceted this time in your rondelles. Gorgeous jelly-like quality. Oh my word, check out this next one. Faceted ovals. Oh my word, look at that. There's so much fire coming off of those. There really is. You're looking here at fossilized water. That's basically what you're looking wow. at. Fossilized water. That's just crazy. Water that has percolated down over millions of years through very dry, arid rock, through riverbeds. That's how a lot of your um, Australian opal is formed. But in Ethiopia, it's kind of different because it's mined on the edge of a plateau. So at altitude, serious altitude. And you've got water which solid sorry which percolates down through cracks in the ground it then comes to ironstone or something impermeable that it can't it can't penetrate and it sits there for a little while then it mixes with all the lovely silica in the ground and over a time it kind of uh, fills these cavities and it solidifies and calcifies and that's opal fossilized water it's just bonkers it's bonkers if your opal ever looks a little bit lackluster and once upon a time it looked amazing submerge it in water for about five minutes take it out and it'll look amazing it needs to be hydrated. It's made up of, um, I think it's about 40 to 50% water, Opal. It, it, it's absolutely bonkers. Um, this strand, Debbie's favourite, beautiful drops. Honestly, oh, that's legendary. Like drops of water or dew. Or, yes, it's oh. exactly it. Stunning. Suits it down to the ground, this shape, doesn't it? And then this one here, which is this bright, snowy white with the most amazing, I oh, see, oh, the Opal Essence really is not coming across there, but it should be. Yeah, there you go, it's a bit better. With the reds, my gosh, it's absolutely superb. You need to get this in the best light in the world, which of course is daylight. You know, that general that general wash of light is much better than the horrible lighting we have in these studios. Basically, the lighting in these studios is so you don't get shadows, it's to reduce shadows. Whereas obviously you can tell what time of day it is outside because of shadows, you need shadows in natural light. It's a great, best light for photography best light for all sorts of different things but with um opal opal does not like being in lighting conditions like this artificial light it wants to be in natural light 49.99 oh look at that 49.99 that's 10 pounds a strand 10 pounds a strand amazing gabrielle well done to you maker guess what we're not done we're not done we're not done today these strands each one of these oh i don't know Six months ago, would have been 29.99 a strand. We're at 10 pounds, 10 pounds a strand as it is, and we're about to go even lower. There's so many different tones in here, so many different qualities of your opal in here, whether it's floral, harlequin, whether it's uh, uh, rainbow, pinfire, whatever it might be, uh, wellow ribbon mackerel. Interesting. Harlequin, patchwork, flash, chaff, floral, honeycomb, small floral. Isn't that just gorgeous? I love I love all of these different tones. And you're getting all of it here, aren't right? you? You really genuinely are. Margaret, Beatrice, well done to you as well. More makers there, well done. 49.99. Maker in five, well done to you. Check out my lovelies, taking the price point down in five seconds. Absolutely gorgeous. Different sizes, different shapes, different qualities that would all, oh, that is insane. That would all look absolutely beautiful in so many different types of jewellery. All the way down. Let's crush it down like it's hot. Here we go. All the way down, <laughs> 39.99. I've got a strand of opal rondelles that I bought back in the day, like from here when I worked here, and I paid that for one strand. This is eight pounds a strand eight pounds a strand now you've got different sizes and shapes here which would work in different styles yeah, of jewelry. yeah, yeah, yeah. which strand is really i mean obviously you say the drops are really kind of leaping out at you what would you do with them what would be the first design you would make again i think they'd be beautiful on the bottom of earrings because oh, absolutely. you're moving and you're going to get that the flashes of light as you move also delicate pendants with delicate chains if you want to make flowers of course you've got the petal shape mm. there already yes um, i just i always gravitate to that but the strand i've got at home is rondelles and it's about this long and it was 39.99 and yes. i'm keeping it it's in my special drawer <laughs> and this is eight pounds each, each one of these strands is eight pounds it's an absolute bargain linda in in uh, in hampshire jeffrey in staffordshire lorna in scottish borders and we're not looking at rubbishy 
uh, potch opal, no, which no. is basically just host rock with a smidge of whatever. These are incredible gem quality pieces with incredible clarity. And more importantly, most importantly, that incredible display oh, that. of colour. The, the play of colour in these is insane. Colours I've never seen before. Yeah, me too. Purples. You know, you'd expect to see the greens and maybe the yellows and maybe even the blues. The reds are where the money is, as in the rarity. They're called money reds. Um, that's what Toby Cavill calls them anyway, money reds, because that's where the real value is. Um, but you're seeing purples and pinks and fuchsias in here, colours I've never seen before. Amazing quality. Amazing, amazing, amazing. Gorgeous. Love this. Right. This necklace, I don't know whether you saw this over the weekend, Debbie. Probably no. not. You were in on Saturday, weren't you? This, we bought this to wear on Sunday. This went ab... That's my birthstone. This went absolutely crazy. Is it turquoise? It's my birthstone. I love that. So good it's for layering. It's my birthstone. And, and I'll buy it if I want to. <laughs> Which, of course, she does. Um, this is... A sterling silver station necklace with Arizona turquoise oh, I in. I love it. I love that. That's so good for um, layering. That's exactly it. You've got your uh, extender chain here. So if you want to make it a little bit longer, a little bit shorter, you absolutely can do. Um, this is an opportunity <clears throat> to get a ready-made necklace. The price point we're going to, by the way, I know a lot of you are probably going to be thinking, do you know what, I'm going to take it apart, I'm going to make it into earrings, I'm going to use those individual links of chain to do this, that and the other. I'm going to use that in a ring, I'm going to use that turquoise in a, in a pendant, I'm going to use the other one in a bracelet, you know, do whatever you like with these. The price is going to be so low. I need to reiterate, this is 925 sterling silver. And these are genuine Arizona turquoises. These are two, four, five in total. This is crazy. Ready? $29.99. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Amazing. Linda, well done to you. This is as, as uh, Debbie perfectly said, great for layering. Absolutely brilliant for layering. Just on its own. We were saying at the weekend as well, this kind of design would make a wonderful first piece of jewellery for somebody, wouldn't Definitely, it? Definitely, but look at the space you've got here. Like I'm just looking at the accents on the tray. Add like into you've it. got some, the little um, like coins, but you know those little opals, the little drops? Yes. You could hang those in between. So if you wanted lovely. to have one of those lovely jingly necklaces, absolutely. you could certainly hang off other gemstones in between, couldn't you? But you see those coins there? Yeah. The little, oh, the little stars. Yeah, stars, the coins. little coins. You know, they're quite. Imagine that in between each one. So That'd designer. Be so and pretty. Have one up here. One Just down need to here. drill a hole in it. Yeah, that's it. And and it would be so bohemian, so bespoke, so yeah. and so designer yeah. inspired. So as you well, can keep it? adding on, can't you? Gorgeous. Well done. Twenty nine ninety nine. Oh, I've got the little heart um, at blanks as well. They're all available on the website if you want to add them to your order to go with the gorgeous kits that we bought you. Also, oh my gosh, I've just had a thought. If you wanted to take this section here of the bracelet yeah, take it off the bracelet the put yeah. it put it here you know put it just kind of here in between these two here if you wanted to do that you absolutely can do make your own little kind of station necklace why not it's such an amazing deal Geraldine uh, just bought three we're also kind of th um, considering the suggestion as well of connecting two or three of them together because it's like that kind of pearls by oh, the yard yeah. actually Neri, that's a good point actually if you look at the elsa peretti color by the yard and you look at the turquoise one and um, there's one elsa peretti it's a tiffany one uh color by the yard and then uh turquoise the elsa peretti color by the yard you get one of those turquoises in a sterling silver necklace and it's kind of however many hundreds of pounds. Wow. If you connected three of these together, so take the bolt ring clasp off, mm -hmm. so much like Geraldine's bolt three or Linda's bolt two, connect two or three of them together, have an over the head necklace. Oh, How lovely yes, would that please. be? That's a really good idea. Just gorgeous, um, absolutely amazing. So yeah, I mean, go on, go on to the internet, go on to Google or, or Bing or you know whatever your search engine is and look at Colour by the Yard and they do a turquoise, there, there you go, that one there, thank you Neri, it's 420 pounds oh. necklace. It's beautiful, it's there. It's gorgeous. Here we go. Colour by the art, turquoise pendant. You get it with the chain. It's in sterling silver, just like ours. £420. You get one turquoise. You get five turquoises and sterling silver, and it's 30 quid. That is a sick joke, isn't it? It's crazy. And it's Debbie's birthday. I made not a very attractive face when I saw that price. <laughs> because I thought, well, is that white gold then? For no, it's sterling silver. Sterling silver is near on identical to this, other than the fact that ours has got five. You've got five of your turquoises. 
Oh, that it. just shows you the power of colour, the power of a brand. And of course, it's that Tiffany colour. Yeah, Put yeah. that with your Tiffany colour box that you <gasps> bought earlier on. Oh, that's what I want. Someone buy me that. Yes. Hub, hubby, hubby, hubby. Put this in the box. <laughs> is he with you today or is he at home? He's with me because he's Come on. Me. What are you doing? <laughs> What are you doing? No coffees. <laughs> you need to be buying for Debbie. <laughs> right, OK. Uh, don't go anywhere. We've got a deal of the day coming up after the break. We've got the most amazing bangle um, amazing. displays. I love that green one. Different gorgeous. colours. I know, different colours. We've got the Hessian one, the black velvet. I like the green. The dark, gr dark green velvet. We'll talk all about that after the break. They are absolutely stunning. You're going to love them. Prices on these, by the way, are absolutely insane. Do not go anywhere. We'll see you in a sec. My name's Yvonne Froelich and I'm from Somerset uh, and I'm part of the competition for Britain's Next Gem. A friend introduced me to Jewellery Maker and at that time I was um, playing about with beads and well in fact I tried it all um, from polymer clay to macrame to comahimo to everything and then I said to my husband look I've seen this workshop that's come up and it was a 10 week uh, silversmithing course and that was how it started and onwards and upwards from then on so be careful it is addictive. I entered this competition simply because I saw the um, the advert and then I thought well why not so I sent in my application and I was invited along with others um, to Jewellery Maker for the first audition and that's where it all started then we were asked to come back the second time we were met by staff when we got there and everyone was so friendly they put us at ease um, we were given bits and pieces we were able to decide what we were going to make and then we went into the studio which was all very scary and we were interviewed we met uh, Hannah Osborne was uh, looking after us and asking us questions and we were working away uh, and we were with Elle that day and um, yeah so that was our, our first um, flavour of being on screen. My collection stems from a piece that I took with me to the first audition. It's where I set a stone in a bezel, then I drill a bigger stone uh, and set that inside and set the bottom stone again in another bezel. One of the other things I like to do, as well as setting stone on stone, is when I set a cabochon into a bezel, I like to cut out a pattern on the back so that um, it's interesting from the back and the front. I get my inspiration from quite a number of places. Um, mostly is because I like learning new techniques. Um, since I've started jewellery making, I've got this thirst for learning new things. It's what keeps me going, it's what keeps driving me. And every time I learn a new technique, then I get new ideas. It would be, mean the world to me if the viewers voted for me. Um, it would be a dream come true. I hope that, that I might inspire other people who have been watching Jewellery Maker and watching people doing their silversmithing, making their jewellery, even making a business out of it, but they're on the telly and I can't possibly do that. I'd like to tell you that actually you can, so please vote for me, I'd be absolutely delighted. We're excited to announce that Jewellery Maker, Hobby Maker and Sewing Street will be attending the Creative Craft and Sewing for Pleasure event at the NEC from the 16th to the 19th of March. We'll have talks and live demonstrations from some of your favourite guests and presenters, special offers on selected products and of course the popular Tombola with lots of amazing prizes to be won. You can also receive 40% off your ticket by using code 
Creative 40. We would love to see you all there, so come and say hi at stand number F01. Let's get our craft on with Creative Craft. Jewelry makers, did you know that you can purchase as many times as you like throughout the day and you'll only be charged one postage and packaging fee? No matter the size, weight or quantity of your order, how many times you check out that day, we will still only charge you that single P&P. Keep things simple on Jewelry Maker. deal of the day today. These are absolutely awesome. We've been waiting for these. We've been waiting for these to come into stock for what seems like months and months and months. We love bringing you displays. We love bringing you busts. We love bringing you the gorgeous boxes. But the one thing that so many people have been asking for, and it's off the back of things like the jade bangles that we've been selling. It's off the back of... Um, Lots of different other kind of storage solutions that we've been bringing you. Lots of people have been asking for these bangle displays. Do you know what, Debbie? I think it's a real split down the middle of people who do craft fairs, who want, to, um, who want lovely ways in which to display their jewellery. But also, if you have invested in any of the gorgeous jade bangles that we've been bringing you over the last couple of years... You don't necessarily want to keep them hidden away. You want to have them out, don't you? And also, if you're anything like me, I make a lot, I've said this before, I love jewellery. I make a lot of jewellery for myself. Yeah. So my single one, I've got full of my bracelets so I can see in the morning what one I might fancy putting on. Because I love if that. If they're hidden away, you forget about certain pieces of jewellery, don't you? You really do. It's like that It's like that top that you find at the back of your wardrobe or whatever it might be that's fallen off the exactly. hanger or whatever. And you think, oh, gosh, why didn't I think of that? And, or you're desperately searching for something. What's so nice about these is, is that they give their proper stands, their proper stands, which look, I mean, they are beautifully made. They're really solid. They're not going to kind of, you know, fall apart. Some of the, um, you know, some of the Perspex ones that we've done in the past, or I don't know if you've ever tried to put, um, if you've ever bought any of the MDF ones from elsewhere, sometimes they're a little bit wobbly and you've got to kind of glue them together. Um, these have got real... Uh, they've got real strength surrounding them. We've got three different ones to bring you. We've got black velvet, we've got green velvet, which I think is going to go absolutely nuts. And we've also got this gorgeous Hessian one. Um, I think you've got here different, different kind of stages for different styles of jewellery. For maybe things like your, your pearls, for your really kind of high-end pieces, um, you might want to use the velvet ones for your lighter, more whimsical kind of summery uh, pieces. You might want to use your gorgeous hessian. But even down to things like what colour precious metal you're using, whether it's silver, gold, platinum, or whether it's going to be macrame bracelets. You might not, excuse me, you might not want to use a velvet one. You might want to use a more kind of organic, um, 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 a more organic background. Plus as well... I think that you'll find particularly, we're going to start with this one, particularly with the Hessian one, um, it is a lovely neutral background. I know it's kind of a, a definite kind of cream colour, but it's not white. It's not black. It's that lovely neutral tone. It's kind of, it's kind of like a, a nude colour, almost like a skin tone, isn't it? But you've got that wonderful texture of the, um, you've got that wonderful texture of the, um, of the Hessian coming through, which is absolutely gorgeous. Love this. I wonder if there's different. Well, yeah, you can literally put it this way up if you want to. So that one there, if you want to make it a little bit taller. This way around, if you want to make it a little bit kind of I longer. Th I think that's really important because I've often spoken about how your display on your stall is very important. You need to get height. Totally. A lot of people just lay it all flat on the table. And I've oh. told people to even put boxes under their cloth. Absolutely. But here, you've got that height. You've got the steps. You can also make, if you buy more than one, you can make one lower than the other so that then you can oh, see. Oh, that's a great Because you've got limited space on a stall and you yeah. might have lots of bracelets. So you might pop one up on a box and then you can have three 
and people can see every single one and it's only in this much of your store does what that make great, sense yeah really great for kind of being clever with your space isn't and, it and you know it leading the eye up and down makes it look far more interesting than shoved on the on well, the interestingly block. when we were um we had photographer salmon on the show oh, last right. friday and we were talking about photographing your items photographing your pieces what's the best way to do it and then we kind of went on to talk about craft stores and selling your pieces and how creating these levels and creating height is so important. It's going to lead people in. People are going to see those pieces before they reach your store. There's so much to this because this, um, because this lifts off here, which is great. The great thing about that, obviously, is if you've got loads of bracelets or, or, or uh, watches, whatever it might be on here, people can slide them off. Also, just to let you know as well, these ends... And, and they are meant to come off. These, the, these little ends come off here as well. So if you want to put your bracelets in here to store them as you're going to your craft fair. That's genius. You know that they're all in there. Um, and, and your price tags genius. maybe or whatever it might be or, or your little labels. Put them all in there. And then when you get to the craft fair, you can take them all out, uh, which is absolutely brilliant. Um, and then they just slot back in beautifully. The whole thing is covered with this gorgeous hessian. Graphics alive, just go for it. Gosh, they've gone absolutely bonkers. The whole thing is covered in hessian. Now, I just want to draw your attention to as well. I don't know if you've ever, have you ever done this thing where you go to a craft store or you go into a shop and you take something off the stand and the whole thing falls over oh, yeah. and it's so embarrassing. Like the whole thing comes off. Things are really wobbly or whatever. It's a really wobbly stand. This is so, this is so strong. It's all covered in the Hessian. So even the supports for this are covered in the Hessian. It's just been done so beautifully. The whole thing looks absolutely great, doesn't it? Um, I love this. I love this material. What would you put on this? Would you put, I mean, I, I mean I've said kind of your, maybe your macrame pieces, your kumahimo pieces, your braided pieces. I did a lot. Or any precious metal, really. Well, yeah, and I just think to add that height to the stall, I was always looking for... Um, display that utilized the space that I had because no one wants to pay double for another table and I always found mm. it difficult to get everything that I had to sell onto my stall yeah so if I got maybe three of these as I said I'd step them so I'd put one on a block then yeah. I'd have one at the highest in front of it and then one at the lowest in front of that and then I'd probably do it in like gemstone bracelets on one precious metal maybe silver on the other gold on the other yes so that people know where they're going to look but this works they didn't have things like this when i was doing it all over the country you know i, can I had imagine, to really yeah. i even had to make some of my own this is so easy to pack also you're carrying boxes from your car mm. and if you can store all of your bracelets on the little tubes yes and then you can just have the actual frame on the top that yes. can just be carried yes so these have been so well thought out and they really have haven't they if you wanted to, i mean if you're going to be getting all of these today as well you might want to kind of switch them up and put one of the green ones or one of the black ones uh, kind of you know switch it up you know that might be a, a look you want to go for it's just so lovely, so tidy, so well thought out and professional. so professional. professional, so professional. And um, we're going to be bringing you the, the, the green one in a minute, which is like this lovely kind of moleskin finish, which is just gorgeous. But as it stands at the minute, your cream linen or kind of like a hessian finish. Um, and I think earlier on, I think it was um, director Ollie said uh, with this kind of quality as well, it might be something that you can pin onto as well if yes, you want to. You that can. might be an option. They stand the test of time. I've got the um, lighter coloured one. Yeah. And I've got one for my bracelets in my bedroom and I don't cover it. It's just on my dressing table with my bracelets. I put it on and off depending. Um, and it hasn't discoloured. It hasn't frayed. Don't, 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 don't you think as well that sometimes with the, with the leatherette ones, which are wonderful, they're really lovely. They mark easier. They do mark. That's the, the thing. These are really kind of, they just look a little bit more robust kind of material wise as in as in, I doubt they're going to mark as much and if they do it doesn't matter because it's this lovely kind of neutral tone just gorgeous okay there's like a billion of you with these in baskets this is absolutely flying this is very very popular indeed from this we're probably going to move on to the black one and then on to the dark green which I think is going to absolutely well they're both going to fly 29.99 wow. absolutely incredible also just just I mean I've got two bracelets on here just remind yourself as well, let's not forget that when you have bracelets on here, you're not going to see all of this kind of wide expanse of material. You're going to see lots and lots of bracelets. You're only going to get like little kind of peaks of the Hessian there. Um, but being able to so easily create that very professional space. And again, this could be your theme. 
This could be your collection theme. You could have all of your macrame pieces on here or all of your summer or springtime pieces on here or all of your floral inspired pieces on here. Um, you know, and the other ones you can uh, reserve for other pieces. $29.99. People literally coming through to get so many of these. Also, they look great as well. Let, let me just stand this one up. They look great as well, kind of all standing against each other yeah. like this. I do have a price comparison for you. It's a little bit unfair of me to show you this price comparison, to be honest. And the reason why I'm saying that is because it's so wildly different to where we are today for what you're getting. So have a look at this. Um, oh gosh, we, we've got stands like this and I love this stand. But look at this, it's got that gold kind of bottom. It's got one arm, it's like half an arm. It's probably like a third of what you're getting on one of these bars. And here you're getting three times as much on a proper stand. And that's £35.51, yeah? And by the way, we're not done. We are not messing around. Now we started off, what quantity uh, did we start off with, Neary? Started, we only started off with 150 of these. As it stands at the minute, Emma's got two, Dorothy's got two, Pamela's got two, Maker on the Isle of Wight's got three. I've got people with twos and threes in their baskets. These will last and last and last. They do last, I've had mine for over 15 years. They do. That's fantastic. So whether you're gonna be using it for your craft stores or whether you just want to put your jewelry on it. Julianne's just bought three. Well done to you, almost everyone is multi-buying. Dorothy's got two, well done to you. There's more people coming through. This is great to see, well done. We're gonna make it so easy for you to get this. And by the way, not that they're particularly heavy, but they're quite large, aren't they? Um, you're covered by that one PMP of just three ninety-five for the whole day. So even though the, your parcel, the parcel that these are going to come in is going to be quite big, it's not going to be heavy, but it's going to be quite big. Um, and we were saying this morning as well, well, I we was saying just a few moments ago, take the end off. It's meant to come off. There we go. Take the end off. Pop all your jewellery in there. Lovely way to store your jewellery on the way to your craft stall. And then all you need to do is just literally take it out, pop it on, done. So simple. All the way down, this is your deal of the day price. This is your final price. Absolutely brilliant. Go, go, go. All the way down, 19 99 That's an incredible price. Absolutely brilliant, That's incredible. Isn't it? I mean, when you think about the aesthetic of your stall, it's whether you're going to sell it, depending. You need to know who your audience is. Yes. But if you look at this, it elevates your stature, your, your aesthetic on your stall. So maybe you're going for like a more vintage feel or maybe you're going for more. Maybe you've got more precious metal things nice. to sell. So you might go for the green or the black. Maybe, you know, if you think if you do school fairs, Christmas fairs, which most people do, like local fates, think about the amount of stretches you will make. For yes. That. Yes. You know, and throwing them all on the table, it just doesn't show them off to their best advantage. Yeah. And you can get loads of bracelets on these. You absolutely can, can't you? I'm so I'm, impressed with this. Uh, yeah, it is. It is great, isn't it? I'm, I'm, I'm just impressed with the physical structure of it. Yeah. All of it here. This is a really. This is. This takes time. You've got pure hessian there. You've got that lovely hessian here all the way down the front on the little supports as well look here you can have it this way around or you can have it taller it's entirely up to you you can choose as well if you want to you can choose as well if you want to um to um to not have all of these uh, little stands on if you want to just have the top one up here then you absolutely can do and just have kind of necklaces hanging down or whatever you want to do it's well you can stand a bust you. you could put the lowest one on and stand a bust behind it inside the oh. setting because I'm always thinking about how to utilize Great space. Idea. So maybe you've got a suite of jewelry. So you want to have the necklace. Yes. And then you want to have different pearl bracelets to go with the necklace. So you yes. will sit your bust in the middle there. Yes. That's what I love. The versatility of these, incredible. That's great, isn't it? Yeah, put your bust in the middle there. It's so lovely. So oh, we've got a minute to close. I just want to show you as well. I don't know whether, um, is that Paul on uh, uh, directing? Um, I don't know whether you can do, uh, whether we can show uh, baskets or anybody, or, or everybody is coming through with that, with that little camera there. Uh, but anybody, but anybody who's got this in the baskets, you are running a really, really dangerous game because it is going to sell out within the next few moments. We only had 150 of these. They're absolutely flying. Well done, everyone coming through. That's so good. Look at those baskets. Absolutely crackers. Loads in baskets. Check out as soon as you can. Um, well done, everybody. I just love it. So gorgeous. Really solid. You know, you're not kind of, you know, if somebody says to you, oh, can I try that on? Of course you can. You know, you can take this, take each one of these off two, three, four, five, six times, you know, an hour. And it's, you know, it, it's not going to alter the integrity and the strength and the stability of these. Uh, the worst thing and the most embarrassing thing is a customer is going to a stall, picking something up off a stand and the stand falls apart. That's so embarrassing. 
And chances are you're probably not going to buy something. Um, and also do, it makes it, it kind of it, it makes you look as a jewelry maker like you haven't invested in proper kind of stands and proper displays for your things. Goes back to that thing we were talking about in the eight o'clock hour, myself and Debbie, we were talking about when you've got a lovely box that you've put your jewellery in, people take you more seriously. Absolutely. And it's all about the aesthetic of your store. Think about what you're trying to say. And, you know, storage notoriously and display can be very, very expensive. So this is not, not for three whole stands of bracelet that you can basically change the height of. I'm just thinking as well, if you've got... You've got, I'm just thinking how this would work. You know those strip LED sticky lights that you can get yes. as well? A lot of people use them on their craft stores because they come on a roll, don't they? And you can literally not cut them down to size, but, they, but they're very, very good. My kids have got them on their bunk beds and they love them. Um, I'm, I'm pretty sure you could, because it's MDF under here, you could probably decorate this with maybe fairy lights. Fairy you could lights. wind them round. Yeah. It's entirely up to you. But anyway, are we going to do the black one? Yeah, this is, okay, so this is, this is your kind of rustic, this. This is, oh gosh, this is really good quality. That's I was not your, expecting it to feel like that. Your jeweler's shop window, that is, isn't it? This is proper velvet. Um, this is absolutely gorgeous. Oh, wow, I was not expecting it to feel like, I was expecting it to feel a little bit, I don't know, looser maybe. That has been, that has been covered with the most beautiful velvet and done so, so consistently that is absolutely gorgeous again with this you'll find that the ends will come off so if you do want to store your jewelry in here in transit that's wonderful one of the one of the great things about having a black velvet insert in a jewelry box in a in a in a display box or on a bust or so, or anything like this is is it's not it, it, it doesn't have any luster, has no luster whatsoever. So it's not like a shine. <clears throat> it's not like a UPVC or anything with a shine or a leatherette that's got a shine on it. So wonderful for, to, uh, for photography, absolutely brilliant for putting jewellery on because it's not going to overtake, it's not going to, it's not going to overpower anything that you put with it. And anything that you put with it, which is bright, like your gorgeous jade bangles or you know, whatever it might be, is really gonna pop against it. This has got the feel of luxury. It genuinely has. It's absolutely gorgeous. And I love it in this finish. When you get this home, this feels so, this feels so, so, so nice. It's not, um, it's not like some of our busts, which are kind of quite, the pile on them is quite long. It's really short. It's really, it's just, it's just, it feels really expensive. It's beautiful. Um, message coming through. Hi, lovely folks. Are you getting any display bus? Uh, are you getting any display bus in? I uh, need to get these two, says Janice and Canada. Yeah, we're working on it. We are working on it. These, honestly, we have been working so hard over the last few months trying to get these in stock. We've been trying to get these particular bangle displays in um, for, for months and months and months. We've only recently started to get the boxes in again. We want to get the busts in. We've been waiting for about four months to get these in stock. It's taken so long to get them. And yours today, enjoy. This is going to fly $29.99. What does the black velvet say to you, um, Debbie? Well, I think if you have sort of more uh, precious metal pieces, yeah. so if you're a metal smith, um, is they're going to pop against this. Also, it, you know, sometimes if you've only got precious metal pieces on your stall, you sometimes don't have as many. So I think this black one, you could happily put sort of four bracelets or three bracelets on each arm and it yeah. wouldn't look lost. People could see the quality. So yes. I think this is would be very, very good for your silversmiths, your metalsmiths, for your pearl pieces with precious metal. It just looks very high end. It's it looks classic, like isn't a it? shop window, jeweler's shop window. It doesn't it just, it's classic. It'll isn't go it? with your black, black busts as well if you've got black busts. Yeah, most definitely. And I think that I think that it really is the jewellery is the showcase. It's a real it's gonna pop against it. Um, the ends come off as well, so great if you want to put any of your jewellery in there and then you just literally pop the ends in. Just fantastic. $29.99. Really, honestly, <clears throat> that's where we should be staying. But we're not. For the black velvet bangle display, I can't believe I'm about to say this. We're taking the price down again. There's so many of you there. 
Well done to everyone coming through, literally from far and wide. If you've just joined us for the deal of the day, where have you been? Uh, these are, uh, you, you, you can take these um, uh, bangle display arms off if you want to, no problem whatsoever. The quality of these stands is absolutely brilliant. So you've got this incredible, these two kind of arms, which look like kind of funky antlers, don't they? Just like this, um, which are all covered in black velvet. Look at this, you've got your black velvet, we haven't just stopped putting it on the supports, black velvet there, black velvet on the inside support as well, all the way down the arms here. We didn't have to do that, that's exactly what we've done. And then you've got that lovely plain white back as well. You can have it this way around so it sits nice and tall like that, or you can have it this way around so it's a little bit shorter, depending on you know what, what look you want to go for. Whether you want to put something down here and have busts behind it, that was a lovely idea from Debbie earlier on. Okay, here we go, everyone. Lots of people coming through. I can't believe we're going to match the price point, but we are. We should really shouldn't be. You know, this is velvet, for goodness sake. This is a really premier uh, kind of, you know, high prestige quality material you're going to be getting here. Also, as well, can I just say, uh, it's 19.99. Well done. Um, not that it necessarily will do as much as if you put it in a box, but I think a lot of people... Also, um, we forget the fact that also velvet is great for polishing your jewellery. Yes. So it's going to get certain fingerprints or a bit of greasiness, you know, from your skin off, off, the, uh, off the piece of jewellery. I'm not saying if you put your bangle on here, you're going to take it off and it's going to be perfectly clean. But it does sometimes get little kind of marks off it as well, which is absolutely brilliant. I love this. It's a... It's nice to have a plain, really matte, dead finish, isn't it? Definitely. And I think if you're getting one of these three, it might mm. make you rethink your whole stall aesthetic. So oh, if yeah. you get the green or you get the, the first one, the lighter one, and you think, well, it doesn't go with my bus, think outside the box. I get books, open them, and then display a necklace on the open book. That's a lovely idea. And it Debbie. looks really vintage. It looks different from what anybody else who's got jewellery has, has got. So if you're thinking, okay, well, I've got the green. Yeah. It doesn't go. Think outside the box. Get slices of wood and hang your necklaces off of that. But the open book idea is very good. Do you think that with this, because it's such a neutral background, you could experiment with light? You could Most put light definitely. against and it or mirrors. Put it on a lovely mirror, maybe. I've or put got a mirror some behind it. Mirror mats that you, I put on as well. Lovely um, idea. So anything like that to make the, the flat parts look more interesting. Yes. And also, you look at it and it looks like a mini shop. And yes. you'll get such a dab hand at it that you'll just set it up so quickly because you'll know what goes where. Well, that's it. And so easy to set up, so easy to kind of take down as well. And especially with the added extra bonus of being able to take the ends off as well and put your jewellery inside the ends. Um, it's absolutely brilliant. 19.99. These have flown out the door. <laughs> There's so many people joining us this morning. You're loving these. Whether you're going to be using it to, to um, sell your jewellery, display your jewellery, or at home. Let's say you've bought loads of loads of the gorgeous jade bangles and you, you don't want to put them away in a box all the time. You want to have them on display. They're lovely, lovely, lovely pieces. Thank you so much. Uh, got one of these and we'll be eager and we'll eagerly await the display uh, bus. I know, Janet. Yeah, so are we. Honestly, these have we've we've really, really struggled over the last few months to get things like this in stock. We can tell they're very popular. We will be ordering more. And um, and for the display bus and things, I want to get the green display bus for sure, because we've never had those before. And I don't think we've ever bought you the Hessian ones either. So it would be lovely to have those together. Um, but you've got something here, very, very classic, absolutely gorgeous. I can't wait to bring you the green one. It's so, it's so beautiful. One minute to close, loads of people coming through. Well done, everyone. You're right in there, Neri. Yeah, loads of people coming through. Look at all the multi bidders as well. Honestly, there's so many people there. Do you want to see all those names? Honestly, there's, it's, it's just crazy. 45 seconds, we're taking the details away. Well done, everyone. Andrea, Margaret, Carol's got two. Well done to Julia, Rosalind. Debbie's got two. Maker in Lancashire. Christine, Maker on the Isle of Wight's got two. Diane, Jane's got two. Look at all these multi bidders. It's absolutely crazy. Uh, well done to you. If you're going to be getting them for your stands, for your stalls, let us know. If you're going to be getting these to display your jewellery on, to photograph your jewellery on, don't forget, you know, do make sure you watch that. Do make sure you watch that show back we did last Friday which featured produ um, producer Sam, photographer Sam, um, and he was giving us great tips on how to photograph your jewellery um, and how any of us can create that really lovely... I, mean, I wonder what this... This might not work. Um, but, yeah, photographic... Oh, I don't know whether I should... No, I probably won't, actually. Uh, look at these baskets. They're absolutely random. But literally, just photograph... Do you use these for photographing your jewellery on and just see... 
just see how it comes out. And if you're happy, brilliant. If not, you can just retake it. Love Debbie's idea about taking about displaying things on a book. Well, I think if you've got a display of this quality, yeah. then work around it, especially if you've got three you know, or four, and you, you're doing my idea of having one high and then one middle, then one low. So you've got all your bracelets there. So all of your bracelets, it could be 100 bracelets, are only taking up that, that width of your stall. Yeah. You know, it's important that you utilise the space, but it doesn't look cluttered. Absolutely. That's why you need the height. So I think if you are thinking, oh, well, I love the green, but nothing goes with the green. As I said, think outside the book. You, outside use the um, sheet music and display it on sheet music. Lovely you know, make idea. it look vintage, make it look unique, make it very you. Yeah, absolutely. See, this is, this is just lovely, isn't it? And also, if you want to... If you want to customise these as well, I mean, I've said using lights with them. If you want to use different fabrics with them as well, you absolutely can do. If you want to cover one of them, you absolutely can do. Include these with them, um, you know, uh, put lights around them. Uh, then you absolutely can do. Once they're yours, they're yours. You do whatever you like with them. This one, I think, is going to go absolutely crazy. I love this one. So do I. It's beautiful. Gosh, it looks expensive. This is, yeah, the colour of Grand Diddy, right? The colour of Olmec. This is crazy. This is absolutely amazing. I love this. Hey. Look at gold on there. Look at precious metal on there. It looks incredible. Gold, silver, rose gold. Just stunning. It's going back to what we were saying the other day about Olmec Jade, the colour of it looking educated looking expensive there's a certain perception you have when something is this color um there's a very famous kind of um uh, aston martin color which is basically yeah. this and it's that british racing, racing green. green yeah and you look at it and you think that's the color of a, a really classic aston martin that's the color of a really beautiful racing car that's the color of 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 opulence of kind of the upper echelons of jewelry that you would spend x amount on and it's a color it's crazy but it 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 gives your it gives your it gives you a certain feel a certain impression it's like with the larimar earlier on gosh that was relaxing it was so refreshing yeah. it's like having a lovely swig of tea or coffee or you know glass of water when you're absolutely parched it's beautiful this is going to go nuts. Now, unfortunately, the sheer volume of people who've just come through on the website and the phone lines, you've crashed our system. <laughs> oh. oh, no. So I know it, it's a real it's a real shame because this one, I think, is going to probably be the most popular one of all of them, um, which is uh, which is uh, which is just one of those things. Um, I'll show you, I'll show you this. Um, we'll come back to this in a couple of moments. What we're going to do, we're going to show you tomorrow what we've got coming up with um, Dave. Oh my gosh, look at this. This is diopside with feldspar. Now what's feldspar? Um, feldspar uh, gemstones, like the feldspar family contains, oh, labradorites, moonstone, aventurine, I think possibly. Um, lots of gems, lots of those gemstones, which give you uh, phenomena, are members of the feldspar family. Oh, thank you, lovely Kinga. And it's with diopside. The colour is so intense and beautiful. Oh, wow. Look at this. Oh, my gosh, I love that. Look at this, Debbie. Isn't that beautiful? That is so unusual. It's like a painting. It's like someone's painted a landscape in there. Yeah. Isn't it lovely? Oh, that is really, really beautiful. Yeah, the shapes are wonderful. These aren't just kind of your bars. Can you see that we've taken the time to chamfer each one of the edges as well? Gosh, look at that. And chamfer, chamfer the ends. Oh, my gosh. These are absolutely gorgeous. Look at that. Fabulous for wire wrapping because of that. It's yeah. much easier to get it around the wire. So all of this coming up tomorrow in our 10 o'clock hour. We've also got a more sit-sit um, showcase coming up tomorrow, which is going to be absolutely fantastic. That's going to be brill. Coming up, we have got... Oh, it's just over there. Sorry. Um, that's all right. Um, thank you, Michael. 
the purple, purple floor. Thank you, Miguel. Uh, the most beautiful Mexican lavender fluorite. Oh, oh gosh, look at that strand. Oh, oh my gosh. Beautiful, beautiful lavender fluorite coming up in the next hour. We are so excited about this. Such an amazing location, such an amazing color. I think just the right time of year as well. I don't know if you've seen the crocuses, if you've seen the crocuses um, uh, poking through the grass over the last few days, but I, I saw some yesterday. They're just beautiful. And this is definitely your crocus color, isn't it? It is, and it's, it's so distinctive. Look, you can tell it isn't amethyst. Yes, you can. It's more blue than amethyst, I think, isn't and it? And it's or... got lilac tones, and it's gentle. Yes. Um, lo I absolutely love it. I'm definitely get getting a strand of this if there's any left, obviously. Yeah, and well, also... we've got some brand new strands coming up. Oh, we've have also you? got kind of some last in stock strands. Gosh, that is lovely. It's like the colour of Liz Taylor's eyes, isn't it? It's that yeah, proper lavender like yeah, lilac. Violet yes, yeah, Yes, violet. That's it, isn't Crown it? chakra. Abs well, exactly. That's exactly it. Crown chakra. And actually, the PowerPoint I'm going to be showing you when we bring this to air talks about fluorite and the fact that the, the purple is attributed with the crown chakra. That's really fascinating. Um, right, okay. Are we back online? Oh my gosh, we hope we are. Okay, I know a lot of you have been waiting for these gr uh, this green, mm, this green uh, bangle display. Uh, Olmec, Olmec display, grandidiorite display. Now, what material is this? Okay, get involved as soon as you can. If you can get involved on our website, please do. We're going to do a minute of graphics to give you all um, to give you all the same opportunity to give you all enough time to get involved, and then we're going to be bringing graphics live. This colour is so beautiful. I love this. Um, this has gone completely uh, nuts up until now, and I'm really glad that we're back online. So this is great, giving everyone the opportunity. I think out of all three of these, for me, this is my absolute favourite. I love this colour. I think, as Debbie says, you know, you don't want to go for if you don't want to go for black and you don't want to go for white. Um, think outside the box. It's amazing what will go with this colour. As the first thing you mentioned, um, uh, Debbie, was look at the yellow gold against it. Look at the precious metal. Any precious metal against this is going to look incredible. It's a good point, actually. The most popular fine line colour that we bring you here on Jewelry Maker is, is a green. And the reason being is that it kind of, it does tend to disappear. It becomes almost invisible. Yeah, it does. Whether you put this with rose gold, yellow gold, silver, platinum, antique bronze, whatever, it's going to look amazing. Right, this is going to go nuts. Just to warn you, it's going to go absolutely nuts. Now, it's described as velvet. It's not. It's a moleskin. So this really beautiful. Yeah, do you know what I mean by moleskin? It's like a really soft, not quite suede, not quite chamois leather, but like a really, really super soft, um, like almost a suede feel. Yeah, I know, you know what, what you I mean, mean yeah, by that. I do. It's, just, it's gone nuts. It's gone completely crazy. Just get involved. I love it. Again, it's not like completely devoid of luster like the velvet. It does have a bit of luster. You can see the line literally just going across there. That's, that, that, that's the light, but it's not, it's not shiny at all. I just love this deep, dark color. It's beautiful. It's like a forest green. It's just, it just, it's gonna work with anything you put this with. It's beautiful. It's, it's just, it's, yeah, not quite a bottle green, is it? Like a race, it, oh, it, oh, it's, just, it's just absolutely gorgeous. So many people coming through. Again, if you've just joined us and you're kind of, um, and you're, uh, this is the first one that you've seen, we just bought you, we bought you the Hessian one and the black velvet one. The ends of these do come off. So if you want to, whilst you're transporting this to your craft stall, you want to put your bracelets, necklaces in here, keep it nice and safe. And then when you get to your crafts uh, fair, open it up. There you go. Put them on here, and then and then they're ready to go. Absolutely wonderful. Also, if you want to put put anything in here, which is going to make it slightly heavier as well, then you can do as well. If you're going to be putting certain uh, pieces of jewellery in there, it's just it's just it's just great. Absolutely wonderful. They all they're all removable. You just simply clip them back into the little cradle that holds them. They just look great. So professional. You can either have it this way up, which is quite nice and tall. Or you can have it this way up so it's a little bit shorter. Whatever angle you like. I suppose if you wanted to as well, 
you could even you might even be able to kind of have it this way around if you wanted to i mean i don't, I don't think i necessarily want it that way around but uh, entirely up to you whether you put it this way or this way so it's a little bit taller absolutely fantastic though well done everyone coming through gorgeous uh why not exchange the holders and leave one of it yeah one of each color absolutely yeah great idea love that really nice idea so yeah let's get one of the black one of the black kind of tubes off oh come here there we go oh gosh i'm, I'm hooked there we go one of the black ones there there you go that looks really that looks really nice doesn't it that looks really good and if you wanted to do the same with one of the hessian ones then you absolutely can do you know, it's just going to give you a different look again. A different look again. By the way, if you want to cover these in a different colour of fabric, you know, if you want to go for, I don't know, red or, you know, whatever, you know, you know, you go for it. Well done. The very first bangle hole that I ever made um, was literally made out of an old wrapping, uh, wrapping paper tube uh, covered in a pair of tights. It looks absolutely awful. <laughs> and um, and uh, nobody bought anything from it. <laughs> I'll be honest with you. Um, but it is, you know, great if you uh, sell anything from watches to charms. I reckon with some of these, particularly the Hessian one, if you wanted to pin anything onto this, you probably could do with this one. I'd probably say not with the velvet or the or the uh, the moleskin one, but you know, with the with the with the Hessian one. Yeah, if you wanted to kind of pin something on here, you absolutely can do. But right the way but right the way through, look, right the way through this, so on the outside, on the inside, this kind of back plate here as well, it's all been thought about and it's all been covered. It's abs, yeah, do you know what? I was looking at this earlier and I was thinking you could if you wanted to, if you wanted, oh, look, it's completely collapsible. I hadn't, I haven't even realized that. Oh my gosh, you can literally take it. That's so well thought I even, th I hadn't even noticed that. Someone who does craft fairs design this because they thought of everything. So you can get all of oh your my gosh. and your storage in one box. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I was so excited about the kind of the material and the colours. That's absolutely amazing. So you've got your plate here. You could put your jewellery and you could literally slide that across with your jewellery. Oh gosh, that's going to look lovely rather than just kind of handing someone the jewellery. Oh wow. That's amazing. Antlers. I mean, that's just incredible, isn't it? I can't believe I just did that. Anyway, um, they are just, they are so, oh, see, look, and it just slots together. That is so cool. I didn't even realise I did that. That is absolutely amazing. Well done, everybody. Um, uh, what's Miss Janet saying? Same PMP too. I know, I know. Isn't that great? It's absolutely fantastic. Well done. That's just awesome, awesome, awesome. Go, go, go. Well done. Okay, so. I can't believe I didn't even notice that they t that they come apart like that. Oh, what a wally. Anyway, well done, everyone. They are just flying out the door still. Well done. Yours today. Um, 19.99. Amazing. Well done. Right. There's a little bit of quantity left of each one of those. Uh, well done. Less than 20 of each one. But, yeah, just, just get them. Add them to your order. Well done. Okay. Right. We are going to be bringing you a star by now. It's a bangle. It's the As One Wishes bangle. This is beautiful. It's one of our uh, most popular bangles. And it's one of the only carved bangles that we have ever commissioned. It's coming up right now. It's your star by. Just take a second. This is absolutely amazing. As one wishes. This is all to do with that visualization. I don't know whether you've ever kind of done a guided meditation or anything like that. And, and, and you get these kind of, um, whoever is taking the meditation, it might be, you know, a, a meditation teacher will be suggesting things, you know, you're sitting in a forest. What does it sound like? What does it, you know, what does it look like? And you're sitting there and you're visualizing all of these things. And the reason is, is, you, you know, it, it's kind of trying to bring you down and kind of uh, bring you to a grounded, um, a grounded kind of state where you can, where you can work from a safe place, if you like. As One Wishes is a wonderful visualization of where you strive to be where you want to be. So if you want to, I don't know, if you want to 
get that job promotion or if you want to win that race or if you want to eventually have a family or if you want to be healthy or whatever it might be. It's about, all about visualising that. And that's exactly what this bangle is about. It's as one wishes. It's visualising that end goal. And by visualising it and by putting yourself there in your mind, there's a lot of people believe, and I, and I believe as well, that it's more likely to happen to you because you're in the right mind. You're in the right mindset. Around the edge of this bangle, it's one of the only carved pieces we've done. It is such a difficult thing to do, this is. To carve a piece of jade, which will be, or, you know, a, a, a nephrite piece, which is harder than steel, is almost impossible in itself. But to then carve into something which is so precious, your Kotan mutton fat nephrite, which is described as many as the original jade, carving onto a round surface, not a flat surface. It's something which, and you know, Dave, um, Dave Troth, one of our gem experts last week said, it's just not happening anymore. People aren't just aren't doing it anymore because the risk is too high. There's next to no material coming out of Burma anymore. Um, and although this isn't from Burma, this is all the same kind of umbrella. This is your jade, your jade, your jadeite, wherever it's from, whether it's China, whether it's from um, Guatemala, whether it's from, whether it's from Burma to start carving this, which is already so rare, so beautiful, is the stakes couldn't be higher. You can see that beautiful lotus flower there. And the whole ethos and, and, and symbolism of the lotus flower is that from whatever beginnings you have, from the murkiest of depths, wherever your roots are laid, if you strive for that enlightenment, if you strive for that end goal, that's where the lotus flower comes up from the murkiest depths and kind of flowers and blossoms on the top of the water. <clears throat> but its roots stay firmly remained in the depths, in the, in the depths of the mud. And it's about can that strong connection with where you begin, but also that anything is achievable. And that's what the story is around this, that gorgeous lotus flower, which has been carved all the way around this bangle. I love this. And it's such a lovely sentiment, isn't it, Debbie? It's absolutely beautiful. A lotus is a symbol that I've always identified with because oh. they have their roots in the mud. And yes. I feel like through your dark times, you come to the light or you blossom and it's yes. how we, we go through life. So to be able to have that in a piece of jewellery, let alone a jadeite piece of yes, jewellery, exactly. um, that has that symbolism <clears throat> on it that you can wear all the time is amazing. So yeah. I think as a gift, even to, a gift to yourself to remind you that during dark times that things do get better. keep going there's keep always going. another day there's you know i think it's a very positive affirmation to actually have next to your skin well, we, absolutely we always it's so easy to forget that the sun will come up tomorrow tomorrow is a new day this this will not last you know if it is a particularly dark time and you know same goes for the good times as well you know it's all it, it's all a series of events it's a series of learn learnt um kind of um um, um situations we are going to be bringing you the final few we have in stock. Where do you even start to value something like this? Not only are you looking at the premium, one of the oldest qualities of jadeite in the world, but it's been carved. The amount of carved bangles out there, you try and look for carved bangles anywhere. You'd be very lucky to find any anywhere. And if you can, what are the prices going to be? Well, look at this one. We are at £3,999. Nephrite mutton fat jade bangle. Is it carved? Nope. And what price did it sell for? £4,289. That's sold in the UK or it's sold in, in UK money. Okay. So we're talking about not something that's sold in Hong Kong dollars, not something that's sold at Sotheby's, not something that's sold in the Far East. It could have gone to a Far East vendor, obviously, but it was sold on a UK website. That is what is happening to Jadeite here in the West at the minute. We're not done. Large nephrite jade bangles, certified and treated, very nice, a little bit grey if I'm being honest, but, that, but that's okay. Um, that's okay, it's beautiful, but the price is going up and it is carved. Well, it's etched more than carved, I would say. Five thousand eight hundred and eight pounds forty pence. White nephrite mutton fat jade bangle, 
intricately carved, which it absolutely is, £8,042. Would you say that this is etched? No. Would you say it's smooth? No. Would you say it's intricately carved? Absolutely. It's incredible. I love the recording that we've got there. It's beautiful. I love the recording with the light underneath it. It really shows you the intricacy, the depth, the relief, the physical relief of the carving, as in the depth. We're not talking about something which is just on the surface. This is fully carved. They've gone in deep with that carving. That's incredible. There's moments where you can see the light through it, and moments where you can't see the light through it. And it's not to do with the quality of the jade. It's to do with how deep that carving has gone. Hi, ladies. I, uh, hi, lovely ladies. I have this bangle and it's beautiful. The inside of the bangle is also carved. Is it RuPaul? Let's have a look. Oh my gosh, it's bamboo. Oh, yes, of course I remember. So, oh, I completely forgot about this. Thank you so much. This has got a bamboo carving on the inside. I don't, it's going to be very tricky for me to show you. Can you see? Can you see how it's going up like that? This is carved like bamboo on the inside. The whole thing with bamboo is, can, can you see the bamboo lying across there? Up, going up there like that and across here like that and up here like that. The whole thing with bamboo is it grows very, very quickly and it's all to do with growth. It's all to do with, again, that growth upwards, enlightenment. Um, and to have that next to your skin as well. How wonderful is that? And that could be a secret because no one really knows that but you. Yeah. You know, unless you take off and show somebody. Yeah. Growing, learning evolving how wonderful this is this is just incredible this is like a this is a this is such a learning curve isn't it in a bangle absolutely beautiful now we're at three thousand nine hundred ninety nine pounds it's a great deal and it's kind of you know a full kind of what five four five thousand pounds lower than where we were sitting um uh with those price comparisons 56 to 58 millimeters in diameter so it's one of the larger bangles that we do which is great to know we're under a thousand pounds. We're nowhere near done. Nowhere near. Maker in Swansea, well done to you. I've got loads of you there, well done. Check out as soon as you can. Now, bangle-wise, what, what, what are we being offered as it stands at the minute? Not a lot. So when we went to, uh, when Dave went over to uh, Bangkok, went to Thailand a few months ago, all he was offered was type B, type C, so i.e. dyed, polymer filled or, or acid treated, basically treated. This is type A, white jade, completely 100% natural. The quality you are getting here is the absolute finest. You can see here, gorgeous, gorgeous. Oh no, hang on, clarity treated. Ah, well I don't want that. Bearing in mind, but over the next 12 months, we probably will bring you type B, type C. Yeah, we probably will do. The deal we managed to get on this, the deal we managed to source this for is literally off the scale. The quality, amazing. How many have we got available, Neri? Three available. One's gone. Four, nine, nine. Oh, sorry, we had four. One's gone. Three chances remaining. 499 on individual split payments of 124 pounds and 75 pence. Absolutely gorgeous. It's got that secret. It's got that carving. It's got that kind of story and that feeling behind it. Every time you look at this, I, I really would love you to feel that. Don't worry, keep going. Don't worry, keep going. Maybe you suffer with anxiety. Maybe you suffer with kind of low self-esteem and you need that kind of constant kind of like, Come on, don't worry, keep going. It's okay, don't worry, I believe in you. This is what this bangle is, isn't it? It's that little it's that little kind of team kind of cheering you on every time you look at it. Keep going. 499. We are looking at what less than uh, what 5% there or thereabouts of 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 what we're looking at that bangle. You get 16 of ours. I'm not sure we even commissioned 16. 16 of ours for that one bangle there. That's absolutely crazy. Well done. 499 pence and it's genuine white jadeite not nephrite white jadeite carved into this incredible bangle what as one wishes what a wonderful thing to be able to bring you now um we've got tons and tons and tons still coming do not go anywhere coming up after the break we've got beautiful mexican lavender fluorite we've also got 
literally a couple of chances for Zarite. I can't remember the last time I bought you Zarite. That's all going to be coming up. I've got two of these left. Don't go anywhere. We'll see you in a sec. Jewelry Maker has its own dedicated call centre with highly trained staff waiting to help you with your orders or any queries. Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. Hello, crafters and makers. We're excited to announce that Jewelry Maker, Hobby Maker, and Sewing Street will be attending the Creative Craft and Sewing for Pleasure event at the NEC from the 16th to the 19th of March. We'll have talks and live demonstrations from some of your favorite guests and presenters, special offers on selected products, and of course, the popular Tombola with lots of amazing prizes to be won. You can also receive 40% off your ticket by using code CREATIVE40. We would love to see you all there. So come and say hi at stand number F01. Let's get our craft on with Creative Craft. Did you know that when you purchase with Jewelry Maker, you have a 30 day money back guarantee? Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. Want to know what's going on in the next show? Then head over to our website, click on the TV guide. This will tell you who's presenting, which guest we have joining us, along with what's going on in each hour. If you ever miss a show, you can catch up by clicking on the day you missed and then click watch this show. You can also view what product was on and if it's still available to buy. Catch up on Jewelry Maker. Our friendly and knowledgeable help team are available 24 hours a day, 365 days a year. If you have a question or query, contact us on 0800 644 655 and press option 2. Alternatively, you can email or drop us a direct message on our Facebook page. Jewelry Maker, happy to help. Buying with Jewelry Maker couldn't be easier. Here's a quick overview of how to get involved. When you see a product you like and you want to purchase, you will see the graphics appear on the screen. You'll see the item code and a starting price. As time goes on, you'll see the price drop. And as viewers call in and customers add it to their baskets online, you'll also see the quantity decrease too. No matter at what point you order, everybody pays the final low price. And there's only one PMP charge on everything you purchase throughout the day. We offer you a 30 day money back guarantee. So there's no risk whether you're purchasing for the first time or any time. Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. Makers, did you know that you can purchase as many times as you like throughout the day and you'll only be charged one postage and packaging fee? No matter the size, weight or quantity of your order, how many times you check out that day, we will still only charge you that single PMP. Keep things simple on Jewelry Maker. Now, one bangle available. We just had to say that because there's so many in baskets. One bangle available. Mm -hmm. 60 second clock to close. Oh, it's amazing close up. Oh, do you, sorry, have you, have you not seen it before? Do you want to hold it? Can I? Thank you. Please do. <gasps> See the bamboo carving in the, in the, on, on the inside? How do they even no do idea. that? No idea. 
That's, that's a really good point, actually. Carving the outside is ridiculous. I drilled a hole through Jade Ring and nearly had a nervous breakdown. <laughs> I mean, this So funny, isn't is it? Stunning. But on the inside. And it's inside. There's... Oh, wow, that's beautiful. Emma, Donna, Tracy, Bitter in Swansea, Manchester, Wales, Lancashire. You all want this. I've got one chance remaining and you've got literally, what, 10 seconds. Oh, and a Bitter in Cumbria. Oh, my word. Check out my lovelies. I've got one chance available. If you want to add it onto your order, please, please, please do. Oh, please check out. Well done. One chance remaining. Wow. I think that's the only carved bangle we've done. Still one left if you want to get it, go. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Okay. We've got a really exciting little collection for you here. Um, we've got Mexican lavender fluorite, which is in incredible stuff I mean it's absolutely beautiful the color and it, uh, Debbie you were absolutely right when you said you can tell it's not amethyst you can it's just because of the color it's more subtle this. it's a bit more lilac I can see different colors like there's some blue in there as well isn't there? absolutely yeah oh it's lovely it's very delicate it's very calming I just it's just beautiful like, I always beautiful. think you can't describe the colour of indigo really because it's lots of different colours yeah it's, it's got like red a, in there it's got everything in there yeah kind of indigo almost it's hard to describe yeah it's no quite I think magical you're right. isn't it yeah definitely really draws you in um so we've got the fluorite coming up before we do this right oh gosh we we Neary has, has had to go to Scott to get this signed off. This is, this is very, 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 very naughty. We really should not have this. This is um, The Lure of Gems. Don't get too close to this. It's got coffee all over it. The Lure of Gems by Steve Bennett, the, um, the man who started Gemporia all those years ago. There is a, um, wow, there is a huge portion of this book um, dedicated to this gemstone more than any other gem here we go if I show you from pages 372 all the way up to 405 in the book is dedicated to this gemstone it is one of the most significant gem discoveries not even of not even of the 20th century of all time it is so unbelievably rare we have had a few dedicated teams who've gone over to um bodrum where this gemstone is mined in turkey um the um our uh, one of Gemporia's friends murat uh is uh, was the first gentleman to be uh, to be given a gemstone mining license in Turkey. So that in itself is pretty amazing. There's Morat with, um, with our the lovely Ray, uh, presenter Ray um, and, um, and Drew. And we actually took some of our Gemporia viewers over. We took some of our viewers over to the mines in Turkey, flew them all out and went round. And what they're just showing you there, what Ray's showing you there is really exciting. They'd, um, you basically walked into the mine, into the mining tunnels, and you've got the face of the host rock. And there were little bits of diet, uh, little bits of zarite you could pluck from the host rock. That's not the really good stuff, though. The good stuff is behind the host rock. It's kind of inside the host rock. And so what, uh, what Ray was just showing you there, they basically got about six, seven kilograms of dynamite in these, in these little, in these little um, kind of rods carved little holes, put the rods into the wall and they did a controlled explosion and, um, and, and brought down some of the host rock and everyone was in the mine and it was all really exciting. And it was, it, I mean, this is, you're seeing gemstones and you're seeing rocks that have never been seen by human wow. eyes before. That is just mind blowing. 
So here's Steve. That's Steve Bennett with a rather jaunty hat. This is one of our viewers. We took them all out um, uh, to Turkey. I'd love to. I'd love the chance to do it again. Um, the thing about Zarite is its ridiculous rarity. When I say this is this is one of our viewers. Look at this. They're plucking it literally from the hotel. This is amazing. It's just incredible. Um, the rarity of this gemstone is you cannot even imagine how rare this gemstone is. Um, there aren't many things in the world that are rarer than, yeah, you know, your grand Didierites. This is rarer. Oh, my gosh. That's so beautiful. Gee willikers. This gemstone is, this kite cut is coming up, by the way. That, that should be sitting in a Lurique piece of jewellery, shouldn't yeah, it? Yeah. It, is, it is off the scale. This gemstone is one of the world's most pleochroic gemstones. You don't necessarily need to get a, a different colour, uh, sorry, a different lighting to kind of see that pleochroism. You can do, and between, oh, there's lovely Drew, and between incandescent and candescent lighting, you do, de you do get different colours. But even down to your skin tone will bring out different colours. The time of day will bring out different colours, depending on what the light is. It is that susceptible to pleochrism and colour. I don't want to say colour change because it's not a colour change gemstone. But depending on whether you look at this gemstone at nine o'clock in the morning or midday or four o'clock in the afternoon, the colours will be different. That's what's so exciting about this gem. But that isn't even the best bit about this gemstone. This gemstone has got one of the lowest yields of any gemstone in the world. What you are looking at there, it's representative of such a minuscule fragment of what is actually mined. It is one of, oh, just literally, just check your baskets out as soon as you can. If you know, you know. This is the ultimate collectible gemstone. We've had to get this signed off from Scott, who's had to get this showcase signed off from Colin, who's had to get this showcase signed off from the Gemporia board so we could bring this to you today. This is so, this is such a special showcase. Now, can I show you my... I've only literally got one slide about this gemstone. It, you don't need, you don't really need anything else. Have a look at the first slide. Have a, have a look at this slide. Um, it is such a wonderful stone. There aren't many things in the world rarer or more stunning than a piece of zarite, one of Mother Nature's most exquisite treasures. The planet's surface, so the, the, the kind of the square mileage of planet Earth is about 197 million square miles. That's quite a lot. <laughs> There's just one zarite mine in the world. Wow. Get to know this rare and enchanting beauty with, uh, a little better with this guide. Now, this is obviously from, from our website. You can go to our website, go to our learning library and learn about it. You can read chapters about this gemstone. We're one of the only people who bring this incredible gem uh, to the marketplace. Listen to this. For every 10,000 diamonds discovered, one piece of zarite is unearthed. And you add to that... Of that piece found, oh, sorry, of that piece that is found, just 2% will eventually make its way to a piece of jewellery. That's very rare. So if you have a two carat piece of Zarite, 98 carats will have been lost in the cutting wow. process. It's a very brittle gemstone. It is th probably the world's most difficult gemstone to cut. We're at 999. We're not done. So you're looking here, our first kite shaped piece is this. This is a 1.4 carat. Isn't that just the most magnificent stone you've ever seen? It is not enhanced, it's completely natural. It's from Turkey, one of the only gemstones we actually source from Turkey. Um, it is a, it, it, it won't be calibrated. There won't be any semi-mounts uh, made for this. When you're cutting Zarite, every point counts. You're not gonna get, this is unique. This is custom cut, it's bespoke. OK, this is a 1.4 carat Zarite. So for, for if, if you have a two carat piece, 98 carats will have been lost during the cutting process. This is 1.4 carat. So you're looking here at a gemstone which would have been maybe about 40 
to 50 carats in size. I've got to show you it actually on my hand oh because my to goodness. see the size of this piece, it is electrifyingly oh beautiful. Goodness me. It is amazing. We've had to get this signed off by three separate by three separate management teams to bring you this showcase today. It is incredible. We are at 299. I, I, I can't even, and that's before we even mention the cut, Debbie. I mean, what is this cut? It's a kite shape. It's a fancy shape. It is, it is literally electrifying, isn't it? That's going to make a piece of jewellery that nobody else has got. No. You know, if you take that to a jeweller's and say, make me a ring or set that, you know, you, you're going to end up with a truly bespoke and incredibly beautiful piece of jewellery. I don't even know how they've begun to cut. I don't know what no. even to call that cut. It's, I've never seen anything it's like a, it. It's like a kite. It's not, uh, it is absolutely, I, I, I can't, the colours you are getting here, the pleochrism you are getting here, we have two available. Oh, oh my gosh. I, I mean, I don't want to say earrings because, you know, for, for, to own one of these is a dream. To own two is literally... I, I, I literally, I, I, I don't even know where to start with this gemstone. It is beyond beautiful. Oh, my gosh. I love this cut. Look at it. It's just like something from a movie. Yeah. It's like a vial of the elixir of life, isn't it? It's like, it's, so in baskets, not that it matters. Jeanette, Jacqueline, Maker in Devon, Maker in London, Maker in Cheshire, Maker in Dorset. You can see, look, there's all these, all these people with this in baskets. Um, yeah, of you know, the people uh, who like our Facebook page, you know, we've got close to 70,000 likes. How many of those people do you think, how, how, many, how many of those people do you think own Zarite? How many of these were ever commissioned? This stone, eight. Oh, wow. Which is probably, which is probably the equivalent of about a year's worth of mining. You literally are one in a billion if you own this. Yeah. We're at 299. Individual split payments of 99.66. We're giving you a 60 second clock to close. That is absolutely your price point today. Uh, that cut is something I, I can't even, we do have some more regular cuts coming up, but this for me is like a, it, it's a miracle. It's a miracle of a stone. It's a collector's piece, isn't it? Oh my goodness. Imagine what the likes of, I don't know, Claire McDonald would do with this oh, or amazing. Alison Tarry would do with this. Totally 100% natural. One left, Jeanette in Hertfordshire. Well done to you, my lovely. I think I would claw set that. I would do a basket setting because you, do, you don't want to cover very much of it up and you want to let the light through it. Most so definitely. A claw setting uh, that you've Or made. tension setting, maybe. Yeah, just, <coughs> just let, on the shoulders. Let the light come through. and Imagine that round your neck coming. Oof. One chance left. Tina, Jacqueline, Maker in Devon, Maker in London, Maker in Cheshire, Maker in Dorset. Up to you. Um, What, what shape do you reckon we could possibly be bringing you now that is, that is anything <laughs> like as exciting as this? A heart. I am, I am not kidding you. This is... Oh, that's a ring right there. Oh, I love that ring. <laughs> right, so you've got a gemstone here. Sorry, can I just remind everybody of the slide we just bought to air? For every, there we go, thank you. For every 10,000 diamonds discovered, one piece of zarite is unearthed. Added to that piece, that piece that is found, just 2% will eventually make its way to a piece of jewellery. So we're talking about 98% of the zarite that is mined is lost through the cutting process. You're left with 2% of a gemstone which is millions of times rarer than a diamond, okay? And it's very brittle. It's very difficult to cut. Why, <clears throat> when we sometimes say, and we've done this before, and it annoys me a little bit, why when we bring you a strand of gemstones, we say, oh, it's a strand of hearts, and it's a strand of triangles. Why do we say it's hearts? Hearts are really difficult to cut. The most difficult part to cut is the cleavage, because here 
in the cleavage, in that V between the two symmetrical kind of sides, that's where all the pressure goes through the gemstone and it could just crack, split, chip. And if that happens, you've lost your gem. We're talking about a 98% figure that is lost through the cutting process. This is representative of the 2% and we have still applied a heart cut. Oh, heavens above, that is absolutely beautiful. Oh, imagine that. Oh, it's beautiful. I can't describe that colour. There's too many colours. I can't describe it. It's not one colour, is it? No. Green, Purple. yellow, orange, red. What is that? Peaches, purples, yeah. Depending on what time of day it is, depending on what you're wearing, depending on what your skin tone, you will see different colours. <laughs> oh, it's so stunning. Oh my gosh. Look at that. How many do we have, Neri? Three. Three chances. We've got a minute clock. Three chances. We're at 499. Yeah, look at the difference in colour. On my hand, it looks kind of almost kind of uh, peach. Yeah, peachy, reddy, pinky. Could be a Morganite. Yeah, you're absolutely right. And on the, on the right hand side, it's kind of, it could be a Peridot or a Canary Diamond. It's crazy. Absolutely bonkers. One place in the world near Bodrum in Turkey. The only place in the world this has ever been discovered, obviously ever been mined. And we have the most beautiful selection here. 20 seconds. This has been signed off by Wayne, our sales manager, and then signed off by Scott, and then signed off by Colin. This is, <laughs> this is like, we should not have this, but you know, why not? Why shouldn't we bring you this? There is, a, there is definitely a market for it. It is the collector's market. It's the people who are serious gem collectors who will be coming through to get this today. Three chances available. Well done. All the way down. Enjoy. Here we go. Love that. Yeah, first one's gone straight away. Collector in Greater Manchester. Well done to you. Two chances left. Well done to you. 199. Ooh, that's good. As a ring, as you say, Debbie, that is amazing as a ring. Look at that. It's a gorgeous engagement ring. That yeah. is just, oh, my gosh, no, absolutely look beautiful. At any uh, gemstone that's a diamond shape, often you'll have three or four gemstones set in a diamond shape, but an actual gemstone that yes. is properly, like you said, faceted and cut as a diamond, very expensive in jewellery. Yes, absolutely. Really expensive. I just love it. It's just incredible. We've got uh, Jeanette in Hertfordshire. Well done to you, my lovely. £199. The most romantic cut. That gorgeous heart. It's yours today. Well done. One opportunity remaining. Oh, my word. Go, 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 go. That's just, uh, uh, that, that's incredible. The split payments, by the way, 66.33, which is absolutely amazing. So amazing split payments there. One chance remaining. Well done. Oh, wow, 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 wow. Okay. This is one. This is the one I think a lot of people have been waiting for. This is the round. <clears throat> they all come with their authenticity certificate, by the way. Look at this. Oh, Maker and Devon's already got two. I, I suggest maybe you're going to be making earrings. Six mil calibrated round. Very unusual to get a calibrated stone with your Zarites. Really exciting. Totally natural all the way from Turkey. Are you ready to see this stone? It's beautiful. This is, this is an absolute belter. It's beautiful. Oh, wow, that's gorgeous. More greens in this one, I think, anyway. What do you think? Oh, yeah. Are you seeing more greens yeah, in this one? definitely. Yeah. Oh, it's beautiful. It it's really is. size, isn't it? I don't, I can't, I can't, I'm finding it very difficult to describe this colour to say it is one colour, because it's simply not, is it? Looks kind of whiskey, kind of cognac colours, peridots, yellows, smoky quartz tones, all of the above. 
Yeah, it's a, it, it is a little bit like this slide. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. It's got all of it in there at once, isn't it? Beautiful. Well done. Show us that you're interested. We had a few more of these available. This is so special, so rare, infinitely beautiful. And a gemstone, depending on what time of day it is, what you are wearing, what your skin tone is, it will, it will show you different colours. Different colours will jump out of the stone. It's just, it, it is so unbelievably beautiful. Yours today, well done. Okay, 20 odd seconds and we're taking the price point. Oh, sorry, then we're going to be bringing the price point in. Absolutely amazing. Oh, 0800, 644, 655. Gorgeous, well done. I think we've still got maybe one of the first one left, that gorgeous kind of kite shape, if you want to add that onto your order. One of the gorgeous heart shapes, 129 pounds. Individual split payments of 43 pounds, there you go. One of the world's rarest genuine gemstones, mined in one location in the world. This is yours today, well done. Can't even imagine how hard um, this gemstone is to get hold of, and you know, and, uh, you know, and you know, a gemstone which is literally from one place in the world, and it's due to where Turkey is geographically. I mean, we obviously know about the terrible earthquake yes. which um, rocked Turkey and and and, and northern Syria, um, and it's to do with those fault lines. It's to do with where you know this country is geographically. But that is what an amazing stone. Well done, everyone who's come through to get that beautiful, absolutely superb. Well done. Okay. Now, fluorite time. This is, <clears throat> this is amazing. I want to take a, little, a few minutes, uh, a few kind of secs, just to talk about this stone, talk about this gorgeous colour, all of the above, because it is absolutely amazing. Right, so I just literally put this slide together about the colour you're going to be getting here. This is such a beautiful tone you're going to be getting, lavender. Lavender, the colour is all to do with femininity, gentleness, tranquility, elegance. You can re read that slide there in the middle if you want to. Um, the right-hand side, you've got your gorgeous crocuses, which are coming out just about now. The thing I love about crocuses, they don't really need to kind of grow in obvious kind of flower beds and soil. They just seem to erupt from the grass, they don't do. they? They're they so do. beautiful. And I, I, I saw a load of them yesterday. I thought, that's what it reminds me of. That's what this gorgeous fluorite reminds me of. And just on the left-hand side, beautiful colour schemes for weddings, which feature physical lavender and kind of the lavender tone, the lavender palette as well. It's a really lovely palette to go for, I think, for, for weddings, don't you think? Yeah, it really is. And it's going to complement any skin tone. And I noticed on that slide, it's got the word tender. And that is how That's I a would lovely. describe it. That's a lovely word, isn't it's it? It's a tender gemstone. It's calming. It's nurturing nurturing it's beautiful yeah um, I feel very calm when I look at it I'm sure when I when I touch it I will and I just think wearing this color it has got all of the beauty of spring of what we think of upcoming all the flowers popping their heads up and all the colors and the magic of of beginning again really and the world I just, waking back up waking up after yeah. a long pretty harsh winter yeah, yeah, yeah and I just think that this <clears throat> color well it's one of my favorite colors anyway but this tone, this tender, soft tone is what makes it really beautiful. This will suit anyone, anyone. And it's quite, it's quite, it's quite funny. You know, we're starting off with the faceted drops. It's quite funny, really. Oh, I love these. Look at this. 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 Oh, my gosh. Ollie's saying he can't wait to put this with Olmec. Oh, my gosh. That yes. Incredible. Classic. It is so beautiful. This carrot weight is enormous, by the way. And it's interesting, you know, obviously, I'll say obviously, over um, since the COVID-19 pandemic, um, when we all had a lot more time on our hands um, and we had uh, lots more time to kind of focus on ourselves, maybe on mental health as well, mental well-being. Lots of people, young and old, are, are more into gemstones. And even The Sun, you know, does an entire article about, you know, fluorite, the cleansing stone. What does the crystal do and, and how do you cleanse it? And about different colours of fluorite and what they're supposed to be uh, for. Uh, purple, purple fluorite is said to be connected to the third eye chakra to help you connect with the divine. It's also known as a protective stone. And that's so interesting, what you were saying earlier on um, uh, about this being connected to the third eye chakra, mm. this kind of gateway almost. It's just, it, just it, it makes complete sense, doesn't it? 
It definitely does. And it's, see, it's seen as a spiritual colour. Like you were talking about creative visualisation. Often they'll get you to visualise this colour because it's known as um, a conscious raising colour, a, a, a relaxing colour, even if you're not into any of that. This colour, and I did a colour therapy course. Is, did you really? Yeah, got oh, years wow. ago. Oh, wow, fascinating. It's seen as a calming colour yes. and a relaxing colour. And it's ha it tends to make people feel like that. And it's just, I don't know, this particular, like if these drops, they've almost got like um, a cloudiness inside. Yes. Which hazy. is so, which is why it looks so different to amethyst. Yes, that's it. And you can really I see it. I think that's it what it is. Here. It's... It's so purple. And you imagine, you, you appreciate how many different colours of fluorite there are. Clear, green, yeah. blue, purple, yellow, rainbow, striped. And this is that solid purple. Look at it with some Olmec. Oh my gosh, that looks epic. Green and purple, absolute classic combination. Isn't that just gorgeous? Because it's a bluey green, isn't it? And there's definitely blues in this gorgeous lavender as well. But this isn't from Argentina, which is where some of our fluorite from. This isn't from China. This isn't from any of those locations. This incredible gem is all the way from Mexico. We'll delve a bit deeper into where this gem is from and why it's so special coming from this incredible location. Maker on the Isle of Wight, June in Hampshire, maker in Staffordshire, maker in Dorset. Well done to you. Brand new strand, never, never been bought to air before. This is crazy. And I'll show you the images of where this gemstone is from in a couple of moments as well, because it's absolutely fascinating. Oh, that's $14.99. Isn't that brilliant? $14. 99. I didn't know what to expect really because I've not really seen one or a strand of all this colour so I wasn't sure but that is affordable. This um, is unbelievably affordable and when you consider this gemstone is all the way from Mexico from oh, Nika Mountain the mountain that holds a secret. Oh my gosh how wonderful. Uh, known to the locals as the mountain that holds a, uh, uh, a secret. <laughs> Inside the mountain itself uh, you, you, uh, you, can, uh, you can find lots of different minerals <laughs> Look at <gasps> this. I want to go there. You mainly find things like selenite uh, inside this inside this mountain. Uh, but you've got here. So this is your um, so the selenite. Here we go. So inside in, inside this mountain, you've got your selenite, which is your um, which is uh, which is a gypsum uh, mineral, which actually you had yesterday. This would go really well with selenite, actually. Um, but where this incredible thing is from, uh, Nike Mountain uh, in Chihuahua, which is actually where really famous forms of agate are from, like your crazy lace agate, your Mexican agate, your Laguna lace agate, is a working mine that's known for its extraordinary selenite crystals. Um, it leads to a zinc and silver mine, which uh, large voids have been found containing crystals of selenite. Isn't it interesting? So you can find zinc, silver, selenite, but also buried... Oh, in the cave oh. of crystals, you have got 300 meters below the surface in the limestone host rock, you have got your fluorite. Oh my gosh. Look at that place. There's your fluorite. Oh my gosh. So it's quite often, isn't it, that, you know, next to silver and next to copper, you'll find turquoise. Next to this, you'll find this, you know, one element leads to another element. You have got the most incredible Aladdin's cave of minerals, including your fluorite in this incredible mountain, the mountain that holds a secret. Fourteen ninety nine. Maker on the Isle of Wight's bought three. Well done. That's three pounds a pendant. I know. Incredible. Yeah, you've got five of them on the strand. That's just brilliant, isn't it? Next strand. Let's do. Which one, lovely? No. Cubes. Rounded cubes or, or, or cubic cubes? Look at that. In fact, you know, you, you have a look at that. You have a hold of that and see what. Yeah, definitely. Here we go. So smooth cubes. Here we go. Wow, wow, wow. Just take a look at this. 110 carats of your lavender fluorite. Oh, that is absolutely beautiful. Absolutely extraordinary, isn't it? The most wonderful. Oh, wow. Juicy, gorgeous cubes you've got here. 29.99, 30 second clock, 
nowhere near your price today. Does it have a slight, a slight note of kind of ultraviolet? Yeah. You know, ultraviolet. It does. I was just holding it up and it really... Light blue, violet, purple kind of... It's that ultraviolet kind of tone going through. It's just so... It's, it's so beautiful. It is magical. I know I keep saying that, but the, it, gemstones are, I think, like real magic. Oh, gosh, yeah. Like well, they have a vibration, them, don't they? They absolutely do. They just, and the inside and just, just resonate with you. Like a cloud has been trapped in there. Yes. It's so lovely. Totally different crystal structure to your, uh, to your amethyst. You can tell that. You can tell it's not amethyst, can't you? It's absolutely bonkers, but it's, just, it's so true. Isla White's bought three. Eileen, Maker and Ken, Andrea, well done to you. 19 99 uh, for you today. Absolutely amazing. On the strand, you've got so many of them whatever you're going to be making whether it's rings earrings cufflinks um i think whatever you do make please make sure that you make at least one piece of jewelry where the gems are going to hang and the light's going to get to them because they are just gonna they are going to love that light uh you know they're going to love the light passing through them victoria well on to you as well more bidders coming through um maker and kemp well on to you as well 19.99 absolutely gorgeous well done faceted cubes now now i think I, i'm a big believer in bringing a smooth shape and bringing the same shape but faceted yeah. and putting them together i yeah. think it always works this is just going to look great oh my god yeah the clarity is amazing and that's another big difference between this and your um and your amethyst members of the quartz family rose quartz amethyst citrine smoky quartz <clears throat> clear quartz not known for their clarity really are they particularly your rose quartz maybe your amethyst as well this has got that eye clean clarity mm. it really has hasn't it yeah it really really does gosh look at that faceted quality next to the next to the smooth cubes it really works beautifully doesn't it i love those together mm. because of the different surfaces like you said but it is that lilac kind of liz taylor's eyes kind of that lilac -y, lavender kind of tone it's it, Violet, just love it. 19.99 again, absolutely gorgeous. Not your deal today. All the way down here we go, everyone. Beautiful, beautiful quality. Fourteen pounds and ninety-nine pence. Well done. That is just so, so, so lovely. I think it's more blue than your than your yeah. amethyst. Yeah. It's There's more blue. Blue tones in there. And then that beautiful cloudiness in the middle there, like mist. It's got like mist trapped inside. Yes, that's exactly what it is. That's what makes this so different to things like your amethyst. Thank you. Uh, to things like your amethyst. And it's all the same kind of quality. It's all the same calibre that you're looking at here. It's absolutely beautiful. These, I think, with the Olmex would look amazing. Gosh, that looks so good. It would go lovely with the Masterclass kit. Oh, gosh. Like, yes, with the elephant. That little guy there. Look at the elephant we've got coming up. Oh, hello. It'd be lovely, wouldn't he? Just amongst the is. little rounds. I think that would be beautiful. Isn't he beautiful? Oh, look at his little toes. Look at his ears. Everything. His <laughs> little creases on his tummy. That's coming up in about half an hour's time. Gosh, that's beautiful. My gosh. Wow. Rice beads. Right, these are Love this strand. Oh, my gosh. Oh, yes, please, with pearls in between. Oh, my gosh, we've done this exact shape in ruby. Oh, wow. Do you remember that? Like, in really beautiful natural ruby. I would love to see those together. Red and this. Yes. Look at the way, yeah, the light pools near the bottom of the gem because it's cause that, that lovely domed kind of um, spherical kind of roundness, that bulbous shape, the light is going to pull. That is beautiful. Blooming lovely. Oh, wow. Look at that. That is gorgeous, Debbie. There's no edges. It's all smooth, all, even though, do you know what I mean? There's, it's all smooth. It's like the shape goes with the aesthetic of the gemstone. It's smooth and calming. I bet like, to hold them and fiddle with them would be really relaxing because they're very smooth. I would love a pair of earrings made with these. Oh, can you imagine on the end of a, a bit of chain and just hanging just to catch the light but but i think going back to what you were saying just then i think on the bottom of a necklace as a tassel you could you'd be able to fiddle with, fiddle them, with it yeah you you oh so tactile so tactile 49.99 i love i i think he's absolutely gorgeous these are so beautiful 
that a little bit of an inclusion in that one there. They're, they're just, they're, they're gorgeous. Look at that, look at the light. Oh, wow. Andrea, Eileen, well done to you, my lovely, in Bristol. This is just incredible quality. Uh, you're going to be getting here today. Well done. Yeah, you're getting tons on here. You're getting uh, two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 13 on here, which is just brill. 13 in total, absolutely gorgeous. All the way down, taking the price point so, so, so low for you today. Gosh, that must be a really difficult cut to achieve. And also, let's not forget, <clears throat> For fluorite, for fluorite, that's a really big carrot weight, big individual carrot weights you're getting there. That really is a big, big old carrot weight you're getting in each stone there. Well done to you, Suzanne, Jacqueline, Maker on the Isle of Wight, Andrea, Eileen, well done to you, my lovelies. Check out $29.99 for you today. Well done. So different. Oh, now, yeah, floral design. That would be nice. Yeah, it really would, because you've got that petal shape, haven't you? The light is gonna is gonna really flow beautifully over these. Well done, multi bidders coming through buying threes of these. That's great to see. Well done to you. Oh, itchy nose. Well done, everybody. Go go go. Um, Twenty nine ninety nine for you today. That is your deal. Uh, it's such an a unique gem with a unique colour with a unique quality. Yours today for thirty pounds. That's amazing. Well done. Okay, we're gonna bring you. <clears throat> oh, star by still of the day. <laughs> I can't decide which one. Let's do it. Was actually going to do that, but that's thank you very much. I like that steel of the day. Star by, oh, it's nice, isn't it? Yeah, serious steel of the day, man. Yeah, <laughs> oh my gosh, this strand. <laughs> this strand is harder than steel. There you go. Oh, look at those together. Oh, that's war. That's like, um, what's his name, Bradley Cooper and Lady Gaga. Oh, yeah. The way they look at each other in that, they, are, they love each other. That is, this is so, they are meant for each other. And I would, it, it, it's, it, it, I would have thought that the Olmec would be too saturated, too powerful. It doesn't have the clarity of the gorgeous, of the fluorite. I, I would have thought they'd be too contrasting. But actually, it's in that contrast that they really work. Yeah, they do work. Oh, look at them. They're amazing. Gosh, they are. That is oh. proper quality. Um, one of my favourite. No, I'm going to say not one of my. I don't need to do that. I can say my favourite, can't I? My favourite piece of jewellery that I think we have ever bought to wear, as in ready-made piece of jewellery, mm. is the Olmec round bead necklace with the single gold bead. Oh, yes. Have you seen that? Yes. That is just, that is, you get that. You've made it. You've made it. <laughs> you get that. You've made it in life. That is, you know, <laughs> we're never going to be able to bring you anything better than that. <laughs> no, but on it. But seriously, that is such a beautiful piece. That is that is that is collection defining jewellery. Yes. And you could make that exact necklace using using this strand here. I would I would personally, if I was going to do that, I'd, I'd want to get two strands of this just because I'm greedy. Um, and I'd want to invest in some really beautiful yellow gold plated silver spacer beads, but like really big ones. Or you could do the, um, we bought you some gorgeous uh, yellow gold plated sterling silver magnetic class the other day, you know, the lovely round ones that mm -hmm. we do. If you can't find one of those lovely big beads in the meantime, until we do get them in stock, you could use a magnetic clasp or, or something like that. It's a kind of, it's a kind of strand that you won't be able to, I, I, I wouldn't be able to contain my excitement getting this home. Have you ever ordered something online and every day you check the post and you literally count yes. down the days? Yes. yes, it's been dispatched. Yes. Stalking the post. Yes, yeah. you're like, where is it? Where is it? And um, when it arrives, you, it, it's a real moment, isn't it? Trust me on this. Graphics Alive, go. When you get this home, Oh, 
Um, she's made it then, says Samantha. Yeah, absolutely. You've made it. You've made it. You've made it. It's like winning the Oscars. Um, when you get this home, if it's your first Olmec, I'm going to promise you it's not going to be your last Olmec. If this is your second or third strand of Olmec, you will know, you will know what quality to expect. But can I say with this particular strand you are getting here, you are getting a particular quality, which is honestly, that's some of the finest I've ever seen. What is it about the Olmec that people go crazy about and go nuts about so much? What is it about the Olmec jade that people love so much? Is it the providence? Yes. Is it the story? Yes. Is it the heritage? Yes. But let's, let's talk about this particular strand. It's the color. Yeah. Translucency. The gem jelly quality, the, the water content, the wet look, that gloss. This is insurpassable quality you are getting with this particular strand. Oh my gosh, that's lovely. We asked a couple of weeks ago for people to send in photographs of their Olmec jewelry that they'd made. Look. Oh, what a just beautiful That's photographed scene. on black. That's photographed on black. You would literally look at that and think, well, no, you can't photograph a gemstone this kind of dark in colour on black because it's so powerful. Cynthia, that's a beautiful photograph, by the way. Really beautiful photograph. And I was all mesmerised by that. I'm mesmerised by that jewellery. I mean, look, you've just added some Love precious it. metal in there and it just goes to show that gold and silver works. Oh, for sure. And for it's sure. so elegant and so expensive and boutique looking. It really is. If I saw that in a jeweller, it's like that suite of jewellery, I'd be like, wow, I can't afford that. Mo oh, most definitely. It's Olmec jade. The jade that was lost for over 500 years. The jade that was found again by the same man who inspired Indiana Jones. The Indiana Jones character was, only exists because of the uh, Rödingers. Absolutely amazing. Good morning. I'm a novice jewellery maker and I found JM after having emergency surgery in March 2022. I fell in love with Olmec Jade and have made this suite as one of my first attempts working with silver and setting rings. Oh, oh my gosh. Who was that what? from? Cynthia. You absolute legend. I was just going to say that's a word I'd use. Yeah. It is our mission to give you access but I mean, even for us having access to this stone, even for me and, you know, Debbie, we've been working with gems for, for decades now. Even for us, this is a special moment. Yeah. But for you, you found us last March and a new customer using this stone. So and yeah, that fills my heart with joy. That's wonderful. Making beautiful photo jewelry. Photograph. And I said this, I think, on Saturday that you couldn't afford to buy. Yes. Oh, my gosh. That's a brilliant. So point. I couldn't afford to buy that if it was in a jewelry, but yeah. I can make it for myself. Yes. And that's, oh my gosh, that's why I started point, getting into jewellery, because I wanted to make things that I couldn't find what I liked or I couldn't afford. You could do that with this strand. So who can afford Zarite? I can't afford, you know, a piece of Zarite jewellery, but I can afford to make it. Gosh, that is such a different way of looking at it, looking at it in a completely different way. Because I love jewellery. Making jewellery that you couldn't afford to buy, basically. Yeah. <laughs> that's so cool. Maybe you can't afford Parade but We can bring it to you. And you can make your own. We might have some at 12 o'clock. Oh my gosh, this is so cool. This is so cool. Enjoy. I don't even care how much this is. I just want it. <laughs> anyone, else, anyone else just not give us stuff? 499. Get it. Go. Can you imagine how much this would be? We're not done. Imagine how much this would be in a beaded necklace. Imagine how, imagine how much this would be valued at. In fact, do you know what? When you get this home, if you're going to be going down to London anytime soon, or if you know anyone who deals in J, don't take it to H Samuels. They, they, they won't be able to, they won't offer you any, any, any kind of decent valuation at all. Take it to somebody who knows J, take it to someone in Hatton Gardens, take it to someone who's an accredited J dealer and say to them, don't even make anything with it. Don't tell them, for goodness sake, don't tell them how much you paid on jewelry maker, but just say, what would you sell this for? With the authenticity certificate, what would you sell this for? How much would you value this for? Give me a rough indication. 
And I bet you they say higher than 299. My gosh, that's so good. Individual split payments of 99.66, well done. How many do we have, Neary? Yeah, we've got a dozen available. 299 is brilliant, it's not your deal. This is what makes jewelry makers so special. This is what makes us so, so special here at the wider Gemporia group. We've been in, jewelry makers has been going for almost 13 years. The wider Gemporia group has been going for almost 20. Started off by Steve Bennett, who, uh, who literally uh, traveled the world searching for gemstones and making relationships, forging relationships, visiting the mines, doing what other people couldn't be bothered to do, making those relationships, forging those. He upset the industry because he actually put the, he actually, he actually, he actually went to those mines. He met with those people. It wasn't done, it wasn't done by, by phone call or by awful spreadsheets. He went there and he learnt his trade. And that is why we have access to deals like this, because of the groundwork and the footwork that we put in. Debbie is so right. I wore a Larimar necklace I made for dinner on a cruise ship. The ultimate place to wear Larimar, yeah, yeah. by the way. Uh, one passenger asked which shop I got it from and it must be expensive. Exactly. Were you feeling real good at that point? And especially when you look in the case on the cruise ship and you think, if I bought this, it would be like three grand. That's where you buy your Larimar from. Where do, where do a lot of cruise liners go? They go to the Caribbean. They go to the Dominican Republic. What gemstones are they going to sell on that cruise liner? They're not going to sell blooming ruby zoocyte from Tanzania. They're going to be selling all the gemstones that you can get in the Caribbean. Yeah. Captive audience. Brilliant message. Thank you so much. Okay, you ready? Oh, is that not your price? Nope. Okay. Ready, steady. Here we go. I'd have been happy with that. Me too. <laughs> Me too. Cutting in half, £149. There you go. That, that's just awesome. Is that on split payments? That's oh, just yeah. awesome. On split payments of 49 66 Oh, yes, because you've got a piece of jewellery then that would cost you thousands. Absolutely. And you can wear so, it with pride. So what Debbie's just said <laughs> Sorry, then, making jewellery that you wouldn't be able to afford to buy. Yeah, that's why I make jewellery because I know that should people, be our slogan. I love jewellery. I love it. I wear it. I, I just love it. And, it, you know, you buy me a piece of jewellery mm. and I just, you know, if I don't get a little box at Christmas, I'm not happy because, <laughs> you know, people are like, well, you, surely you don't want jewellery. No, I do. I love it. I love it. And just to make something like this yeah. and with our pearls as well. But I couldn't afford to make pearl jewellery with, with Zhujiang pearls. Hello. Yeah. Zhujiang pearls. What are you talking about? Especially, I mean, look at this strand. What is this? Oh gosh, this is a lovely photograph. Prospectors in Guatemala uncovered this field of alluvial weathered tectonic block, jadeite on the northwest side of Quero Colorado, near the town of La Palmila. Uh, <laughs> to the north uh, can be seen Sierra de la Minas, photograph courtesy of George Harlow. I don't know what any of those places are, but that is amazing. You've literally got that, it does look like its location. Oh, my gosh, especially the background. So lush. Oh. Lush teals. I love teal. Something so oh. special about it. There, there really is, isn't mm. there? Such a wonderful mix of colour. What a beautiful. This stream polished boulder of white jade was found in uh, one of the small rivers uh, in, the in, in the department of Zacapo, Z Zacapa. Um, that, that's a, wow, that just down, down the river from where the Olmecs found. I mean, what's going on? That's proper Indiana Jones stuff. Isn't it is, it? isn't it? <laughs> it really is, isn't it? Short of being, you know, uh, followed by a massive kind of uh, stone ball racing down the hill after you, you know, yeah, it's <laughs> just amazing. I hope you wore the hat. I mean, it's just, it, it, it's incredible. The quality you're getting here. One, four, nine. Look at these earrings. Now, this is against ourselves. This is available on Gemporia. Beautiful pair of earrings. Olmec jade earrings with zircon in rose gold. Absolutely beautiful. Those earrings are 194 pounds. You could make that pair of earrings, oh gosh, on here, two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 22, 24, 28, 30, 32, 34, 36, 38, 40, 42, 44, 46, 48, 50, 52, 54, 56, 58, 59. So you can make that pair of earrings about 20, 28 <laughs> times, 29 and times And with that over. mount that we brought this morning with the um, zircon in it. Oh, with uh, the earring mount. Yeah, the earring yeah. mount. Love the idea, love that. 
Oh, what does that say? So true, Debbie. And making jewellery on, pe on people, but putting your own spin on yeah. it. Yeah. So, you know, you don't directly copy because that's not ethical. You don't copy somebody else's design. Mm. But you can certainly be inspired and put your own... Like, often I'll look at the red carpet and I think, oh, wow, look at that person's... I always look at people's jewellery before I look at anything else. And I think, oh, I love that. How could I make that? How could I put my own spin on it? Yeah. Or inspired by the way something is finished or a central bead or a colour combination. Or the shape, combination. or maybe the you shape, haven't thought yeah. um, of doing something like that and you couldn't ever find it because it's so unusual. Make yeah. it. Nice. One, four, nine. There you go, everyone. Uh, details being taken off in five seconds. Absolutely fantastic. Well done. Um, just brilliant. We've got... Yeah, red spinel in between these would be absolutely gorgeous, wouldn't it? Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. Right, what are we doing now? Right, we've got, oh, oh, I don't think I've got that one here. Okay, star by coming up now, multicolour jade in four mils, did you say? Oh, that's Which a that good size, good. yeah. Star by. <laughs> I've got about, <clears throat> normally in my head, I've got, you know, the test card, you know, the boop, yeah. the girl with the easel yeah. and the noughts and crosses with the clown. The headband. It's not a huge amount going on inside this brain of mine, <laughs> but I've just had, I've just had a couple of ideas uh, where no, I'm looking at this, I'm thinking, right, rosary linking spectacle chain, gemstone tassel. Oh, yeah, that's what these lend themselves to. Do you think? Gemstone think so. tassel every I think so. day of the week. Stretchy bracelets. Yes. Look at all the colours in one strand. What is it about a four mil size that all of a sudden goes, it's like you've just literally opened a window and all these ideas, this fresh air, all these ideas just go, shoo, just literally come flooding to you. I don't know why I'm so surprised. Whenever we do a showcase of gemstones, and let's say it's all one stone, let's say it's, I don't know, chalcedony or whatever, we'll do 10 mils, you know, 12 mil, 10 mil, 8 mil, 6 mil, 4 mil. As soon as we start to do the 6 mil and the 4 mil, the popularity of those strands <laughs> just goes like that. And the reason being is, well, I, I, I assume the reason is the versatility of those sizes, Debbie, it's would you say? It's versatility, it's intricacy. You can do weaves and things that you can do with seed beads and bicones <laughs> that if you did with eight 10 mil rounds would be too bulky in your jewellery. Yeah. So you can include these in your right angle weave designs, your beady bead designs, all of those sorts of things. But you can also do tassels. And I think the gemstone tassels were so massive, weren't they, in the last couple of years? Yeah. So I equate this to sort of like seed pearls. You can always find things to do with seed pearls because they're smaller and they don't bulk out a design. Um, Neary, sorry, I've just, I've just remembered the piece of jewellery this reminds me of when Debbie said seed pearls. That pe you probably won't be able to find it. When, on Friday with photographer Sam, we showed a photograph of a gorgeous pearl tassel necklace yeah. photographed on a blue background. That's the piece of jewellery I'm thinking of. I think it was literally just chain with a pearl tassel on the bottom and you could do exactly that but with these as seed pearls, because they're almost exactly the same size as That's seed pearls, I mean. aren't they? And do you know those tassel yeah. um, tops? Tops. Got? I've never seen those before Saturday. And then they've got the little bit inside you can just the sew cross. through. The cross, yes. But I really want to get one of those because I love the beaded tassels. Now, something like this would lend itself Play to with them. Yeah. They go, oh, Neary, I love you. Yes, look at that. Imagine look, that. That, th this, in, this in that design. There you go. Isn't that lovely? And it's beauty is in its simplicity. Don't be afraid of making stuff simple. It's like elegant boho. Oh, gosh, yes. There's my next collection. Elegant, elegant boho. Elegant boho. Yes. I love that idea. Uh, thank you so much. I've recently lost my jewellery mojo this morning with your enthusiasm. It's come back. Oh, Eileen. Oh, Come on, Eileen. That makes my job <laughs> worthwhile. I've lost my mojo so many times. My, my advice is just start. Just start making something. Just sit down, get your tools out and start. I think that's a great thing to that's do. That's not just always make... good when you've got, you know, magazine deadlines and you've got to make things to inspire people and oh, you lose darling. your mojo. It happens to all of us. <clears throat> Don't be put like off. writer's block, isn't it? Get a beautiful strand and you'll, it'll tell you what to do with it. Isn't that awesome?
99.99. Linen shop. Sh oh, hello. That's not your deal. That's not your deal. Get on those phone lines. Gosh. How much lower can we go? How much lower can we go? How much? A long way. A long. You're going to go where? Oh, my gosh. Um, right. Uh, right. Okay. Uh, anybody out there, everyone out there, just uh, put it in your baskets. Put it in your baskets. I'm going to show you another price, which is not your price. 29.99 is not your price. Get it. Put it in your baskets. Well done, everyone. Put it in your baskets. Just trust us here. Trust us. This is going low. Believe you and I, the four mil, the humble four mil round in whatever gemstone it is, is one of the most versatile gems, gem sizes you will, bead yeah. sizes, I should Spaces. say, you will ever use. Beaded beads, um, uh, bubble style pieces, yeah. uh, rosary linking, stretchies, kiss cross, lovely idea. Honestly, it's absolutely incredible. And if it's made out of jadeite, well, there you go. You, you know, you've literally hit the jackpot. Well done. Gorgeous, loads of you there. Well done at 29.99. That's amazing. Go lovely with the masterclass. Because oh my gosh. Size yes. S spaces. With this, with them, with this, with them. Yes, yes, yes. Masterclass. There's your masterclass. Look at different you, sizes of the same gemstone. Yeah, there you go. There How you go, everyone. Absolutely yeah, gorgeous. Isn't that wonderful? I know, isn't it lovely? Okay, here we go. Price point coming in in five, four, three, two, one. Go, 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 Neary. Here we go. Lynn in Shropshire's got two. Samantha's got two. Loads of you there. 20 quid. 20 quid? Oh, my gosh. I love this price. It's so good. Ow, I hurt my knee. Don't get any oh, excited. Oh, no, <laughs> 19.99. How is that a thing? Naughty Neary strikes again. Yeah, love Neary. That's very good. I know. Good. We love Neary too. Jane, well done to you. Diane, Carol, Barry. Well done to you. Carolyn, Maker, Ivy, Gail, Angela. Well done to you, Jackie, Margaret, Moira, Janice, Ivy, Brenda. Oh, gosh. Well done, everyone. Brenda in Buckinghamshire. Cynthia in Middlesex. Well done to you. Loads of you coming through. Whatever you do with this, you know, you're never going to regret getting a strand of four mil Burmese jade for 20 pounds, are you? <laughs> like, no. never. No. Just crazy. Even if it's, even if you just make little stretchy bracelets. And put a charm on. Oh, you've got to put a charm on. Mm. Got to put a little charmy little army charm on there. On. Absolutely gorgeous. You could even graduate these colours. Ombre, these got some really gemmy Ooh, ones there. You know, if you've got um, Claire McDonald's charms. Oh, oh gosh, you know yes, Claire McDonald's charms. Love and kisses. You could put the one of the charms on here instead of on cord. Do you know the aperture on some of them? It might actually just slide um, which would around, be amazing, which would yeah. be lovely. Wouldn't that be gorgeous? We're so busy. That's crazy. Well done. Fourteen chances left. All these are in baskets. Joanne, Christine, Zena. Margaret, Margaret, Donna, Lynn, Brenda, Carolyn, Maker, Angela, loads of you there. Check out your baskets. Well done, everyone. Beautiful. Oh, Mr. Neary isn't always naughty. He's created with prices <laughs> instead. Is that what we call it? Yeah. I like it. I like being creative with prices. Trashing. Well done, everyone. Eight opportunities remaining. Wanda, Ala, Carola, Joanne. Well done to you. Go, go, go. Absolutely amazing. What an opportunity. Gorgeous. Donna's taken two back to Wrexham. Well done to you, my darling. Maker in Kent. Well done to you. Merseyside's got two. Well done to you. Amazing. We're going to leave the last few with you. Well done, everyone. Right. That was epic. Bye bye. Right. This is ridiculous. These are the pearls we should never have had. These are the pearls which never leave. Um, they never leave China, ever. Uh, these are the pearls which, which are just... To have these is, is, is utterly ridiculous. Um, 
Shall I use the clicker, Neary? No. Here we go. So, here we go. So, I'm going to show you a slide here. These are Zhujiang pearls all the way from a place called the Pearl River. Oh, wow. And you can see on the bottom left-hand corner there, this is kind of, um, we're looking at kind of uh, wealth per capita. And uh, we're looking at some kind of crazy price. You don't, you, don't need to, you don't need to focus too much on the actual physical numbers, but just look at the, just look at the slide, yeah? Just look at the uh, kind of what the, what the bars are showing you. So you've got, um, you've got um, uh, Guangzhou, which is like a huge industrial city in China. You've then got uh, Shenzhen, you've then got Dangwon, you've then got um, Hong Kong, uh, which is kind of near the bottom. Can you see that there? The bottom kind of, um, kind of uh, portion of that. And then you've got Macau. Basically, Hong Kong and Macau are, are, are the two left-hand columns. So they are some of the most affluent areas of China. Where are these pearls from? They are from the Pearl River, which is literally, which is literally the same area as Hong Kong and Macau. You are looking here at a place where money isn't an object. And I know, I know we kind of throw that around quite a lot and say, oh, you know, over in the East, money isn't an object, but it's not, it, it, it really isn't. And it's, yes, it's because there are some unspeakably wealthy people who, who, who live in that area of the world, but also their view on spending money on things is very different to us here in, 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 in the West. If you get something for a great price, it's a bargain and you tell everyone about it. Whereas over in the East with, I'm not saying with everybody, I would hate to make that generalisation, but over in the East with a lot of people, the more you spend the more proud you are, oh, okay. the more kind of, uh, the more you will tell people about it. Oh, I got you. And I spent this amount on it. Um, which is why there are such incredible record breaking phenomenal, uh, phenomenal figures reached at auction with Christie's, Bonham, Sotheby's over in, over in um, the East. These pearls are literally the finest freshwater culture pearls that money can buy. And I mean that in lots of different ways. The quality you are getting here with the colour, the quality of the nacre, the quality of the orient, the whole parcel is the absolute best that you can get. Um, because of the COVID-19 pandemic, lots of people, uh, lots of uh, gem buyers, gem sellers, lots of uh, people couldn't, couldn't do business. Um, where they would normally do business, which is at places like the Hong Kong Gem Show, the JCK Show, the Tucson Show, wherever else, okay? And because of that, they really had to fill the coffers somehow. They had to kind of keep people in, keep people in, in their jobs, maybe pay, um, um, you know, pay uh, for furlough or whatever it was, you know, looking after their employees. And to do that and to keep the money rolling and to keep that kind of uh, the cash flow going, we stepped in and uh, we were able to approach gem dealers and, um, and uh, pearl farmers we would, we've never approached before and say, look, we are still very much in the business of buying gemstones. We're still very much operational. We operate in a completely different way to other people. And um, if you give us a closeout deal, we'll buy the lot from you. And that's exactly what happened with these pearls. These are the kind of pearls that would have gone to the Hong Kong gem show. They wouldn't have even left the country they would have been bought by undoubtedly pearl buyers in Hong Kong or Macau and uh, wouldn't have left the East at all. They, they're not, these, these pearls aren't cultured with a view to sell to the worldwide market. They're cultured with a view of selling them into the industry at the highest possible price point. And that, where are you gonna pay that? You're gonna pay that in the East because money is no object. Now we've got Linda in Hampshire. We've got we've got a load of you interested. Um, quantity wise, Neri, I'm I'm interested. How many how many does it look like we've got? Single figures available. Single figures available. The quality you are getting here 
999. Amazing. Now, don't take my word for it. Go and look on the GIA website. <clears throat> now, it says the only difference between the two, and the two means cultured pearls and natural pearls, is the external irritant. Um, so it's either put in there by a human, in which case it's a cultured pearl, or it's a piece of sand which the mollusk takes on board and, and, and you get a natural pearl. Natural pearls are potentially more valuable than cultured pearls. Well, these are cultured pearls. Potentially more valuable. Potentially. Because when it comes to pearls, the real difference, the real, the real difference is in the size, the shape, the colour, the luster, the nacre. That's the big difference. Potentially. If you've got a natural pearl, but it's chalky and small and bobbly and looks a bit rubbish, what's going to be worth more? Is it going to be a cultured pearl of this quality or a little tiny insignificant piece of chalk, which is, you know, which is a natural pearl? It's going to be this, obviously. And this strand of pearls here, this quality literally trumps every single one of those factors, size, shape, colour, luster, nacre. £499, individual split payments of £124.75. Now, you'd think, right, that's it, we're done, yeah? Now, when we talk about the value of pearls here at Jewelry Maker, if there was ever a gemstone that somebody, you know, if, if somebody said to me, Carol, what is the one gemstone that you would say to people to use as an example of the quality we can bring to the marketplace, which is better than anybody else, I would say pearls. And we've had price comparisons, as, uh, sorry, not price comparisons. We've had valuations from people. Um, this is an interesting one. Uh, we're talking about a different caliber of pearls. She's talking about kind of um, uh, different calibers of pearls here. We're talking about in incredible Zhujiang pearls here. These are two strands I've had valued. The peach pearls are from a kit I got several years ago. It contained three strands. It was, it, it was under 20 quid. Just the strand was valued at 100 pounds alone. The whole kit was under 20, by mm -hmm. the way. Yeah. And uh, when it was knotted, it was valued at 190 to 200 pounds. That's for one strand. We're bringing you this today, which is not that kind of level. I mean, freshwater pearls are absolutely beautiful. These are freshwater pearls. These are the absolute top, literally, the top, the top minutia of freshwater pearls. And we're not done. Imagine today you get these pearls at this price here. What price are they going to be valued at? Oh, my gosh. Your price today, this is amazing, Two nine. Nine, two hundred and ninety-nine pounds on four split payments of seventy-four seventy-five. Caroline in Greater Manchester, Caroline in Wiltshire, Linda in Hampshire. I've got you all there. You can take us down to the final. Literally, if everybody checks out, we will literally have about three, four chances remaining. Samantha, I've got you there as well, my lovely. They're eight to ten mil in size. They've got that magic number. They've got that magic kind of quality as far as kind of pearl sizes are concerned it's yours today well done look at them at the neckline as well i'm wearing completely the wrong dress for this today but you need to be wearing your wedding dress for this oh, look at that wow. isn't that gorgeous the luster is amazing isn't it it's really beautiful i would say over and above anything over and above size everything i would say luster is the most important thing with the pearl because if you get great luster what does that mean it means the nacre of the pearl is really thick if you get a pearl that has got like a, no luster at all uh, it's chalky, like, like a piece of paper. Then it's got, it's got no, it, it, the, the nacre will be wafer thin and it will just, it would just look awful. You have got here, I've got four chances left, gee whiz. Four opportunities remaining. We're going to have to put a minute to close. A minute to close, we've got the masterclass which we've got to get to. So that is your final price point today with four chances remaining. Aren't they gorgeous? Absolutely stunning. And the colours. The yeah, colours yeah, the, and that naturally coloured. Again, making stuff you can't afford to buy. Oh my gosh, that, that is the absolute, that is so right. Absolutely right. Making the jewellery you couldn't afford to buy. You buy this for 299 today. Let's say at the very lowest, that's going to be valued at what? £2,000, maybe £3,000. I don't know about you, Debbie. I haven't got a spare three grand no, to be spending on a to be spending on a, a on a gorgeous um, uh, pearl necklace like this. But do you know what? At two nine nine with those split payments, yeah, yes, it, it is. <laughs> it, it, it you know it can be accessible. It can be affordable. And also, if you wanted to split that strand in half, by the way, 
2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 22, 24, 26, 28, 30, 32, 34, 36, 38. There's about 40 odd pearls on there. I am racing through that. If you split that strand in half, you've got 20, your friend's got 20. Split that price point in half, it's an even better deal. Maker in Devon, well done, check out. Absolutely superb, isn't it? Just brilliant. Um, Taking those details away. OMG, they're absolutely stunning. Thank you, says Samantha. Oh, they are. Pleasure, darling. Absolute pleasure, Libby. Enjoy those. They're beautiful. Right. Um, don't go anywhere. Masterclass coming up next. And just to let you know, voting has now opened whoa, to vote for Britain's next gem. It's between the lovely Natalie and the lovely Yvonne. They're both absolutely gorgeous people. I don't know how on earth we're going to decide this, but... Your vote definitely counts. Head to our website, jewellerymaker.com. Your vote counts. Voting is now open. Two absolutely gorgeous ladies. Amazing ladies. Very yeah. talented. Stupendously talented. They are amazing. Good luck, ladies. Very, very best of luck to you both. Lovely, lovely ladies. You can watch all the VTs on the website. Don't go anywhere. We'll be back in a couple of moments with today's Masterclass. Jewelry Maker has its own dedicated call centre with highly trained staff waiting to help you with your orders or any queries. Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. Hello crafters and makers. We're excited to announce that Jewelry Maker, Hobby Maker and Sewing Street will be attending the Creative Craft and Sewing for Pleasure event at the NEC from the 16th to the 19th of March. We'll have talks and live demonstrations from some of your favourite guests and presenters, special offers on selected products and of course the popular Tombola with lots of amazing prizes to be won. You can also receive 40% off your ticket by using code CREATIVE40. We would love to see you all there, so come and say hi at stand number F01. Let's get our craft on with Creative Craft. Did you know that when you purchase with Jewelry Maker, you have a 30 day money back guarantee? Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. Our friendly and knowledgeable help team are available 24 hours a day, 365 days a year. If you have a question or query, contact us on 0800 644 655 and press option 2. Alternatively, you can email or drop us a direct message on our Facebook page. Jewelry Maker, happy to help. Buying with Jewelry Maker couldn't be easier. Here's a quick overview of how to get involved. When you see a product you like and you want to purchase, you will see the graphics appear on the screen. You'll see the item code and a starting price. As time goes on, you'll see the price drop. And as viewers call in and customers add it to their baskets online, you'll also see the quantity decrease too. No matter at what point you order, everybody pays the final low price. And there's only one PMP charge on everything you purchase throughout the day. We offer you a 30 day money back guarantee. So there's no risk whether you're purchasing for the first time or any time. Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. Makers, did you know that you can purchase as many times as you like throughout the day and you'll only be charged one postage and packaging fee? No matter the size, weight or quantity of your order, how many times you check out that day, we will still only charge you that single PMP. Keep things simple on Jewelry Maker.
here we go, masterclass. I just said something very rude, and then I realised that we've got a hobby maker <laughs> setting up. Sorry, oh. blue language. Right. <laughs> I tell you what. Oh, there he is. Hello. <laughs> I love this elephant. Hello. He is so. Oh, look at him. Literally so beautiful. Look at his little tail. Look at, look at the crinkles on his trunk. This is so cute. Um, we've done lots of elephant carvings before. Not like this, we haven't. No, he's very detailed. Very detailed. Oh, so cute. Very detailed. I love him. Look, he's got a little wrinkly <laughs> trunk. And little toes. You can see his toes. I know. And his tail. Oh, wrinkled by his tusks, his ears, his tail. I don't know why I'm doing this for ears. I mean, we all know where ears are, don't we? I'm going, ears. Um, oh, he's lovely. Oh. The IGS, I love the IGS website. They've got loads of cool stuff on there. What gemstone's that? POA. Probably, maybe Malachite. Yeah, good call. Or maybe a Nephra, I don't know. It's lovely. Elephants are awesome, aren't they? It's not cute, though. Ours no, cute. ours is cute. He looks kind of quite... He looks a bit serious. Mm. Stern, yeah. He looks ours is really cute. Ours is happy. Yeah, look at the little end of the trunk as well, the way it kind of fans out like a little hand. They're and a protection a symbol, aren't they? Elephant? Well, I've got... <coughs> I do have a slide. It's just a very quick slide. Um, I don't want him protecting me, that little one. Yeah. Have you got the slide about the... Just, just an elephant slide. It's, it's very simple. <laughs> Here it is. Here it is. Here we go. Here he is. The elephant. Patience, spirituality, leadership, strength, intelligence, loyalty, good luck, prosperity... Family, sensitivity, protection, fertility. Basically, everything. Everything. Yeah, so from a feng shui point of view, every home is meant to have an elephant. I don't know whether the elephants are meant to be going into the room or coming out of the room, but you are meant to have them in a certain direction, aren't you? I've got elephants because my mum collected them. She absolutely loved them. So I've got some really cool... I've got my nan's elephant as well, so... I've got elephants, and there's something about elephants. They're very family, aren't they? I mean, I'd like a real elephant, but I've got four. Ah, okay, cats. yeah. It's I'm just something slightly. about elephants and their their memory and their wisdom and their sense of family um, in the wild. Even if you just think they of do the have animal. that wonderful sense of family, don't they? Mm. Baby, is there anything cuter than a baby elephant? No, oh, I love them. Not, not really. Maybe a baby panda, but that's about it. <laughs> um, this is three-dimensional. Uh, you might think that it's kind of flat on the back. It's no. not. He is totally three-dimensional. Look at him. There he is. Oh, gosh, look at his little tail. <laughs> I love his tail. Love his little tail. I can't cope with his tail. And I love this bit on the top as well. It almost looks like when they um, decorate the animal, uh, decorate, yeah. the animal de uh, decorate the elephants for kind of Indian festivals. Um, and, um, and they de decorate them beautifully because they're very holy animals, aren't they, in Indian culture? Yeah. Because uh, of the, uh, the the elephant um, god Ganesh, um, who's a very kind of a positive um, positive. Is that Sikhism or Hinduism? I think it's Hinduism, isn't it, uh, Ganesh? I think anyway. Um, and you've got this beautiful little kind of almost seat on top, which makes a wonderful bale. Yeah. He's such a different looking elephant to ones we've had in the past. It's mm. much more detailed. He's much friendlier. He's much more of an Elma, isn't he, than a, <laughs> than a, than a um, than than kind of like a a, a big fit because they are enormous animals. Um, I think it's a he. Do you I think th it's a she? I think it's a I he. don't know. I'll be honest with you, oh, yeah. it is a lovely detailed carving. It's not that detailed. I will look, but I'm not going to say... OK, it's not that detailed, so I don't know well. whether it's a he or a she. <laughs> I don't know. Beautiful eye. I know. Oh, well, I don't know. It's not that detailed. If it was that detailed, I'd show you. I don't know what gender this elephant is. Sorry. Just he's like, yeah, his there. face is so... Peaceful. He's not stern. Like, you know, if I buy an ornament, I always look at the face. Like, I've got angel ornaments everywhere. And I, sometimes I like them to not have a face because sometimes I don't like the face, but like the rest of it. Yeah. But this guy is, like, serene, isn't he? Yeah, it is, isn't it? And, and actually, Ollie said a lovely point, actually. It almost looks like um, his eyes are closed. Yeah, it does. Like, he's serene. They I are beautiful. It's a beautiful depiction. I think the ears are so... Beautiful and flappy, aren't they? They're just, they're just really... Yeah, the trunk is gorgeous, isn't it? It really is super cool. 
And, and I have to keep reminding myself, that's a piece of jade. I know. <laughs> that's a piece of jade. Here he is, hello. Have we ever done a jade elephant before? Have we? We've, do, we've done carved elephants. We've done carved elephants, yeah. I don't know whether we've done one in jade before. I don't know. Gosh, I really should have researched that. I, I, I don't think we have. But you think a gemstone connected with serenity, enlightenment, inner peace, and we carve an elephant out of it. That's pretty symbolic, isn't it? That's pretty, you know, yeah. we're ticking a lot of boxes there. And this is new, new in, isn't it? Yeah, brand new. 43 carats of green jade in, in your elephant carving there. Isn't that beautiful? Such character. That's interesting, actually. I, I, think, I think it's the character, it's the personality this carving has. Yeah, agree. Sometimes it's, you know, you know, a carving of an animal, like the cats we had earlier on today. They were really cute. I wouldn't say they necessarily had personality. No, though. no. This has got real charisma. We've made a, 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 lot, a lot of assumptions about this elephant's personality, haven't we, just by the way it's been carved. And, and that's, that, that, I think that's really interesting. Beautiful. Yeah, we've done them in sodalite. I'm just thinking of the mineral man pieces that we've done. We've done them in sodalite, rose quartz, obsidian, red jasper. I don't think, I can't recall ever doing a jade elephant. He is serene. Like, Tom just made a really good point. He is. He is serene, and if you're thinking about spirituality, patience, loyalty, patience. good luck, sensitivity, protection, strength, serenity. I want stoicism, to be being stoic. I want to be calm. Being an island of calm. Look at him. He's he's lovely. He's absolutely lovely. What a lovely charm to carry with you. Yes. Lovely thing to have. Do you know, not, I mean, slightly too, I mean, I, kind of the right, uh, maybe a little bit too small to be like, I mean, I'm, I'm just thinking about my kids. They, they've got just the right size little palms to kind of have that in their hands. And they've got lots of, you know, um, you know that, that, would be, that would be a lovely thing for them to own. Um, you get with this, sorry, I know, I know we've been going on about this gorgeous elephant, but look, you get this as well. That is Jemmy. Gorgeous. That is j j j j Jemmy. Who's this message from, Debbie? Can you see? It's from Liz from Kent. It says, I'm imagining a red tassel hanging from the loop under its mouth. Yes. I was thinking that. Or a personalised tag with a name what a lovely or idea. a date. My daughter washed elephants in Malaysia and she just loves them as I do. We have elephant ornaments oh. a lot of people are very very oh. drawn to elephants aren't they well because they're so unlike any other animal but kind of a little bit like a rhino or a hippo i suppose but you know size wise they are just it's the largest animal in the world aren't they that well, well, well one of the largest mammals in the world love that piece that's been made you see how that one's slightly different i think that one's got a slightly bigger bottom <laughs> I'm being honest, a slightly bigger bottom. I suppose they're all going to be unique, aren't they? Of course they, they are, we're all unique. They've been hand carved. Absolutely. Um, after all, no, no, it's a lovely looking elephant carving. The trunk you could also use to have it looking up at you, you could. Oh, so because like this. there's more than one anchor point. So you've got an anchor point at the top, and then you've got an anchor point, well, actually two, at his trunk. So if I get my hand out of the way. There you go. Yeah, so... Oh, um, which one? <laughs> it doesn't matter. Here we go. So you've got the anchor point there. Yeah. And then you've also got an anchor point traditionally at the top. Yeah. You could also make a little... Um, what are they called? They like put a mat on top of them, don't they, when they ride them? You could make a sterling yes. silver little um, embellishment for him if How you wanted lovely. to, didn't you? Just beautiful. Look at his tusks and the wrinkles behind where his tusks are. Just beautiful. You then get with this, um, and I love the fact that this is grey because it's the colour of an elephant, isn't it? It's a lovely elephant, an elephant grey. Um, beautiful um, silver coloured silk, uh, which is absolutely beautiful. It's, it's a really, really lovely, lovely kit. Totally, Jade never forgets. I like the name of this kit. Um, it, it, it's, it's an absolute beauty. Um, a lot of people are going to come through and get this just for the carving. I know that. And we're going to reflect that in the price. The price is amazing. Are you thinking of doing the price point that we spoke about before the show, Neary? Yeah, 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 absolutely. Honestly, yeah, that, hmm. there's already a lot of you there. 
Afternoon all. It's lovely looking at the elephant carving, the trunk you could use as well. Oh yes, yeah, so looking up to you. Yes, Francis. An elephant statue in the foyer, so in the hallway, facing away from the door, brings luck into the home. An elephant facing towards the door protects the house. It guards your home against all sorts of negative energy. There you go. Cool. <clears throat> Fascinating though. My grandma and grandpa used to have little, a little troop of, a herd of elephants, little, little kind of statues going into the room, I think it was. Beautiful. Here we go, everybody. Absol oh gosh, look at everyone in baskets. Absolutely amazing. Here we go, everyone. Now look at this for a price. 149 pounds for a jade carved elephant. And you've got your strand and you've got your silk. And it's not your price. Oh yeah, it's not your <laughs> price today. How many of this kit did we, uh, did we commission, Neary? Half the stock's gone. We commissioned just over 80 of this kit. Okay, loads of you there. Susan's got two at in-house designer, Anne, who I believe made that gorgeous necklace has come through to get to. How lovely. And also, if you... It's quite nice, isn't it? If, if uh, my mum and dad collect um, little pig statues oh, yeah. and you know uh, it's, it's the kind of thing which is passed down through families yeah. like I love little pig statues as well it's quite interesting you know things passed down through families and mm. little animals that people collect it, it's you know it, it's just it, it's it's so lovely so maybe it's your family that loves um that loves elephants lovely thing to be able to make for anyone who loves who loves elephants or you know it you know it means something to them the symbolism of this is absolutely gorgeous he's beautiful so rounded so he beautiful is. isn't he he's a little chubby he's a little chubby he's elephant. like elephants are they've got like little wrinkles haven't they makes them beautiful so i think this might be a baby elephant actually oh i, I want it to be 99.99 go for it check your baskets out it's crazy Less than fifty pounds on split payments, very which is amazing. Good. That's very good. Very, very, very good, good, isn't it? Oh, well brilliant. done. Devon's got two. Julie, Teresa, Susan, Heather, Valerie, Maker, Maker, and Cheshire, Lorna, Susan. Maker's got three in the basket. Ross has got two in the basket. Oh my gosh! Check out as soon as you can. Well done. Loads of you coming through. Devon's just taken two. Susan in Essex has just taken two. Well done to you. Kim, Elizabeth Kim in Midlothian. Check out my lovely Bromsgrove quality of that carving look isn't it just gorgeous look at his little tail <laughs> where it's flipping round to the side this i know it's you know a stationary carving but there's almost movement in the flick of the tail it totally is very clever how they've done yes it. i know i don't like need to do that you know what no is. we are no but it's lovely to see <laughs> lovely to, and also and, and the ears as well look like they're yeah it's yes the, the movement almost. i think that's why you were saying he's got a personality yeah it's just gorgeous. You know, when you see them kind of giving themselves dust baths and kind of throwing yeah. dust and sand over them. It's almost like their tails flicking away the flight. It's beautiful. I have my grandpa's bookend elephants. Oh, amazing. Plus I even have an elephant teapot. Oh, oh, amazing. Is the spout the trunk? Please tell me it is, Samantha. <laughs> if it's not, then I'm, I'll be very disappointed. Neil and Linda's got two. Heather's got two. Why don't you, Pauline's got two. <laughs> oh. Michael Wolf, lovely reaction there. Michael, is that your price? Ninety nine ninety nine. No. Oh. We're going lower. <laughs> We're taking the price point even lower for you today. This is crazy. Eileen Aller, maker. There's more than enough of you in baskets for this to completely and utterly sell out. We're at two thirds of the stock already gone. Ninety nine ninety nine individual split payments of forty nine ninety nine. This is, and that we, we keep forgetting the strand is so good, isn't it? Oh yeah, you've got the strand, you've got the silk. Even if you're not going to use it together, but I think you know I, I would use it together because it's such an affordable. You've got way, to you know to get a strand of of jade eye and to get this carving, this unique. Even each one will be unique because they will hang. Of on. course they are. And, you know, pop a couple of red jades in there or maybe your Olmec or your Ooh, pearls. Yeah. Whatever your favourite gemstones are. It doesn't matter. It doesn't need to be, it doesn't need to be jade. Whatever your deals are. Sorry, whatever your favourite gemstones are. Here's your deal. Valerie's got two. Susan's got three. Well done. 79 <laughs> Oh, that's amazing. Amazing. <clears throat> Absolutely. <brilliant. coughs> Not on your Nelly. There you go. Well done, everyone. Sharon in Caffilly, Lorraine Audrey. Someone's got five. Who? Ha oh, gosh. Maker, you've got five in your basket, my love. If you want five, darling, you're going to need to check out right now. Well done, everybody. Go, go, go. What a deal for you today. Absolutely amazing. Not being funny. You'd pay $79.90 just for that. That's an absolutely amazing deal. I, I'd pay I'd pay £100. Look at his trunk. <laughs> oh, he's so lovely. 
Look at that, the little wrinkles behind the tusks. Oh, just beautiful. He's got cheeks. It, yes, he's, he's got, got cheeks. cheeks. It's so a very well-fed elephant. And I love the little toes as well. Just so cute, absolutely beautiful. $79.99, Donna, Christine, Gabrielle, Lynn, Lorraine, loads of you coming through, well done. Less than, 30, less than 30 chances remaining now. Well done, everyone. Look at those split payments of 39 99 That's so affordable for yeah. people to be able to get at home. You know, if they, so you've been is. wanting a piece of jade for a while and you, um, and then you can get an elephant. Exactly. And, and a strand and some silk. Exactly. Win -win. Uh, so we've still got 20 chances left. We're going to get into the demo because um, I want to give, there, there's so many people there. Keep coming through. There's genuine chances still left. 17 chances left. If you want it, get it. Go, 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 go. Demo. What are you going to show us, lovely Debbie? Well, let, I'll, I can't take credit for this wonderful um, necklace. His tail's the spout. The trunk is the handle. Really? Okay. I bet That's wrong. Send me a photo of that, please, Samantha. <laughs> Someone's put the hole in the wrong, the wrong, the wrong end there. That's wrong. I should be a teapot designer. <laughs> it's the trunk. Anyway, oh. here we go. Who made this necklace? Anne. Oh, Anne. Anne or Sue. Anne or Sue made Sue Anne. So what they've done is they've used everything that's in the kit. So they've used the lovely strand of jade. They've done a very, very neat and wonderful knots in between. And then they've strung that string through the little hole at the top of the elephant. I like and seeing that cord. That's nice. Popped on <clears throat> a lovely uh, clasp on there. So, of course, you could do that. But rather than show you a knotting demo or something that we've seen before, I thought what we could do, <coughs> excuse me, is um, talk about design and talk about how awesome. you would put a design together, how you would make it your own, and maybe different things that you could do. Lovely. Um, of course, you can do, just as Anne or Sue have done here. I mean, that's Stunning. beautiful. But I were, I'm going to sort of talk about some things that I might do. Oh, my gosh. What is that? OK, so I've got lots of elements on my mat here. And I've started off with the strand. You know, that's what I was doing earlier when I wasn't paying attention. Lots of elements and an elephant. <laughs> I've got my little Sorry. elephant Sorry. here. So what I've done is I've done some um, wrap loops and some rosary linking. And I've actually nice. rosary linked pearls in between every three oh, gosh, so of these lovely. because I love the pearl and jade. Now, I was looking at the um, fluorite that we had earlier, and I think that fluorite would be beautiful as accents instead of For pearls. Sure. Um, red jade, the red jade that I had in my kit, if you got the kits yes. from Saturday, um, you could certainly put those red jades in here. That would be beautiful. But mm. you don't have to put jade. You can put your favourite gemstone mm. in here. Now, talking about the elephant, I've had a good look at him. And the, the classic anchor point is at the top there. And I'm going to show you how you would do that. But you do have another couple of anchor points here. So we can talk maybe about designs that you could do um, with this little guy. So I've got a couple of bits out that I just had um, in my stash. So I've got a connector ring. I've got a little lotus flower that I actually, again, had in my kits on Saturday. So maybe you've got some of those. And then I just got out some different shaped pearls. So oh we my can see some different looks that we could potentially do with this little guy. So let's imagine we've done our rosary linking and we've got our rosary link chain to our desired length. And that's the beauty about jewelry making is that you can make your chain to the desired length. So have a little think about where you want this guy to sit. Do you want him to sit up on the decolletage, um, in which case you'd make your rosary link chain a lot shorter? Mm. Are you going to go for long line necklace? Again, that's the beauty of jewelry making. You can make it exactly bespoke to fit you or whoever you're making the jewelry for. So my first thought was, I thought it would look really pretty if you added your rosary links to a sterling silver large connector. Now you could hammer this for a different look and then you could add your elephant to the bottom there if you wanted to. And I'll go through the techniques of doing this in a minute. You could also add a pearl above him. And thinking of design wise, because the last gemstone that I've got after the connector is the jade, I put a pearl between the two jade components and it makes the elephant pop. If I'd have put um, a piece of jade between the elephant and the jade, can you see how it's all 
kind of melds together. It's just what's pleasing to the eye. Now, you could also put a pearl that sort of comes down to a point. So it's almost like you're leading your eye down to that elephant. Now, I did think about putting a larger, maybe I fireball. Like that. Yeah, that's really nice. And then he Ooh, could sit there. Gosh, so you can do so many things with, with this design and you can add in elements, but have a think about the last gemstone that is before your focal point. So if the last gemstone that was before my focal point was a pearl, then I'd probably put a pearl and a jade here. Okay. So just have a look and see what's pleasing to your eye, because what's pleasing to your, your eye might not be pleasing to mine, but you can usually tell, you designers usually have sort of an inner sixth sense as to what works. <laughs> yes. So let's go with this connector, because I quite like this, and I think it, it looks really nice. So what I'm going to do is add another couple of rosary links on and then connect this connector. So what I've got is some 0.6 wire. <clears throat> you could use 0.4 if you wanted to, that's up to you. Um, it goes through the pearls that I'm using and the jade that I'm using perfectly well. Now, if you get your wire off of the spool and you think to yourself, well, it feels a, a little bit tough to work with and not malleable, then if you run it through your fingers and heat it up, a bit like when we anneal metal, you put the warmth into the wire and it becomes much more malleable for you to use. So that's just a tip that I do with my wire, especially mm. if it's cold in the winter. So what I'm going to do is just start off with a wrap loop. So I'm going to decide on my pliers what size loop I want. Now, if I'm doing a rosary linked necklace or bracelet, it's quite nice to have the loops all the same size. And the yes, way you can achieve this is to get a permanent marker and just bob a little mark on. You can always take it off later with a bit of nail varnish remover. Um, or just, I usually do it by eye because I'm very used to doing it. But if you want them to be exactly the same, then you can just pop a little permanent marker there so that you know that all your loops are going to be the same. And I'm just going to take my wire across the top so that I've made an almost loop. Turn that size so you can see. And then important thing when you're making a rosary link chain is to not finish off the wrap loop before you connect it to the component before. So I'm going to just pop this on to my component that I've already made before. And then I'm just going to wrap loop that closed. So the way I like to do it is hold it with smaller pliers. So the round nose pliers are quite good for getting hold and still seeing what you're doing. And then you can use another pair of pliers or your finger to take that wire down. Now, this tail wire is pointing sort of a, an angle there, and I want it to be straight, like a question mark. So I just do a little bit of maneuvering at this point to make sure that I get the shape that I want from my loop. And then usually I'll get another pair of pliers and just very gently take that wire around. Now, in this instance, I don't want to see a lot of the metal, so I've just done it once. And then you need to make sure that you trim off any excess wire. So just let me get my pliers in there. And then if you've got any left, I usually take my finger around just to make sure that nothing's sticking out. You can always squeeze and the um, crimping pliers are good for that. I often use crimping pliers in uh, wrap loops because you can put them in the little hole and it makes a nice even shape, especially if you're doing lots of these, it can take ages. So my little um, pattern is mm. three of the jade, one of the pearl, three of the jade, one of the pearl. So I'm gonna put three of my jade on. And what I was pleasantly surprised with in this strand was I got lots of different colors of jade. So let me just, I don't need all this. I'm just gonna cut the end off here. And then I'm gonna pop on three of my jade beads. So that's one, two, and three, and then I'll pop that down so that you can see what I'm doing. Okay, so that's been on the end of my chain. Now I want to connect my connector. Now you have to think about how it's going to hang or how you want it to hang. And you could have your connector that way, it just depends what you prefer, and your Ellie could be on the end there, but I quite liked it there. And I think if you were gonna wear a necklace that was a yeah. shorter necklace, I think this would be quite flattering actually just sitting on the decolletage. So I'm going to leave it like that. So what I'm gonna do is directly mm. wrap loop this rosary link chain onto the connector because that is um, such a secure connection. It's as secure when you wrap loop rather than do a basic loop as a soldered connection as you can do without heat. So I tend to go for that. If you're a beginner and you're not confident with your wrap loops, don't worry, just, just do a basic loop, that's fine. 
So I'm going to, again, and I'll just go do this quickly, I'm going to do my wrap loop. But before I finish my wrap loop this time, I'm going to pop on the connector. Okay. So my connector's going into that loop. You need to make sure, because your connector might be a bit thicker or thinner than the beads, that you have actually got enough room in that mm. little loop that you've made to fit it in there so that it can move as well. You want a bit of movement. You don't want this to be a stiff, uncomfortable piece of jewellery. And then I'm just going to finish wrapping this loop. Let me grab my round nose. So this is where the really tiny pliers come into their own or to use some round nose because you can get those tips into those little spaces. Okay, so then I'm going to Gorgeous. nip off the end there. <clears throat> okay, so that I've now got one end connected to my connector. And so then you would just do the same with the other side. I'm not going to show you, but you know what I mean. Mm -hmm. So now you've got the main part of your um, necklace there. So now you need to decide how you want your elephant to sit. Would you like him? And I think he works like that. He really does. He could sit just there because you've got the silver between him and the jade above yeah. him. And the jade above him is a lighter colour. So that does work. Is that a message? I always wanted some jade and just couldn't resist the elephant. No. Oh, well done, Sarah. Well I think done, you're going to love him when you get him home. Really He's absolutely will. beautiful. I sponsored a baby elephant oh. from the Sheldrake Rescue in Kenya. I meet, uh, I meet mine. Uh, I had daily updates from keepers and monthly watercolours. Not expensive. Oh, my gosh. That's what an amazing way to oh, get Carolyn, involved with lovely. the conservation and how lovely. Oh, that's amazing. I've, that's distracted me now. I want to sponsor a baby elephant. I want to sponsor a baby elephant too. <laughs> so let's talk about his anchor points. So he's got this little anchor point, and it's, it's a really decent size um, hole here, just under his his uh, his back there, if you can Lovely. see. Lovely. Right, so I'm going to take another piece of wire. I think I want a longer piece. I'm going to take this piece. Now, you, of course, you can run your cord underneath and do sort of a lark's head knot. And I think that's what Anne or Sue that have done really, here. Really so nice. they've taken the cord under there and a lark's head knot. And then, you, you know, the guru bead you could put there mm. if you want to do a mala and, and carry on. But I'm <laughs> going to use wire, just, just as an alternative. So what I'm going to do, again, this is 0 0.6, is take my wire through my hole there. And then I'm just very gently, and I'm being very careful because I'm going to wrap that wire. I'm just going to find a way to show you around so that I'm hugging him Lovely. but it's not super tight okay so it's sort of making I suppose a triangle you're making your own bale like that gorgeous yeah so then I'm going to once again wrap loop him on because I do not want to lose this guy no once he's on my neck I want to lose you know so I'm gonna hold on there my my, my eldest daughter we got her a um <clears throat> She adopted a, uh, a giraffe for her ninth oh. birthday. The only problem was she thought she'd actually adopted it. Oh, no. It was actually hers. It's like, no, Hassie. She thought it was going to come in the Lots kitchen. Lots of other people who've adopted animals, that same animal as well, yeah. You literally paint to feed it, aren't you, I think? It's so worthwhile, though. Oh, it is. It's gorgeous, yeah. So I've wrap-looped this little guy on, and I've actually done mm -hmm. two wraps because I want him to be super secure. I do not want him going anywhere when he's on my necklace because I will be absolutely gutted if I lost him. So there he is. So that you can see now, you've got loads of design options because you've got your anchor point. Now, I think it was one of our viewers who suggested that you could add a little charm or something from his trunk. Should we do that and see what it looks yes. like? Yes. Last Lovely it. idea. Okay, so I'm going to... I haven't got an eye pin, so I'm just going to make one. So I've just <laughs> taken a little loop here, just for quickness. Oh, gosh, look. And then I'm going to pop, I'm going to hope this goes through the pearl that I've picked. Oh. Yeah, it does. Yes. Okay, so then, oh no, that's too cute. I can't cope with that. <laughs> <laughs> Look at it. It's and I'm going adorable. to do, you've got to bear in mind, you've got to get this wire sort of through the anchor point and you need to see how thick this is. So it's going to need to be quite a large loop because you don't want this to sit there and be stiff. You want no. it to be able to, you know, to move. So I'm going to do quite a large loop and then I'm going to manoeuvre once the little pearl is in there. Okay, so I can see that's not big enough. So I'm just going to use my fingers to manoeuvre that around. So I am literally doing this super quick so that we can get to the next bit. I get the sense though, you are gonna take it home and redo it though. I am. And he's literally gonna 
You're going to love that, aren't you? I am. So, oh, look. There you oh, go. Gosh, so, he's so, got. Oh, my gosh, that's adorable. He's got his little um, water droplet, it could be, coming out of his trunk, couldn't yes. it? Yes. Um, bearing in mind, if you're going to do that, he's quite. He's quite heavy, so that doesn't really drop him forward if you want to do that. Mm. So that's one look. Okay. So sweet. I'm going to take that off because we're going to try different things. Mm -hmm. So we'll take that off. Goodbye. Sorry, I left that. Oh. And then what I think I would do is, oh, it's exciting, <laughs> is get a pearl and I'm going to pop the pearl above the elephant. Sorry. Okay. Yeah. Where is he? Where's the drill hole? There it is. Going to get the pearl, pop it on here because I like the look of that. Okay. Nice. And I may controversially put a lotus flower on there. Oh, cute. Because I'm in love with these lotus flowers. Totally. Those are lovely, lovely. I bought these charms. before I had them in a kit. Look at that. Oh, that looks amazing, now, Debbie. I love that. I've got two components and viewer's choice. Do I need to put another bead? Yes, for this an a another pearl. Another pearl? Yeah. Okay, but do I have a teeny one that's fine? Oh, I do, but I don't know if I can get it on. It's a seed or pearl. Or a jade. Do you know what I love about our seed pearls? Look at that seed pearl and it Gosh, goes that's on. that's amazing. That goes on. Look at yeah, that. Yeah, that, that looks wicked. Do you like that? Yeah, I love that. Okay, so I'm going to wrap loop this on again because I do not want to, to lose my little Ellie. And what's wonderful about him is, look, it doesn't matter if he turns around. He's not flat on the other side. So it no. really doesn't matter which way he decides to go. So again, I'm going to do another wrap loop at the top and I'm going to attach him to my connector so I'll pop him on cute I'm wrap looping him very different to the piece that Anne made so yeah it doesn't this show sure. how different designers can interpret um, and also I'm sure Anne was told to just make with the kit so yeah, that of course you can um, you see what you can do without adding anything which is yeah. beautiful I love her necklace so I'm going to just quickly I love that Debbie. I'm going to cut this and then I'm going to lay it out and we can see what we've got. Okay. So obviously I've only attached one side, one side because it's just repetitive. That's fine. So there he is. Oh my gosh, that's so cute. I love that. And then that we're going so well. to attach the other side. So mm. I'll wrap loop. Oh no, that's wrong. Wrap loop him on like that. Mm -hmm. And there, oh, let's straighten him out. There we go. That's so sweet. And you could even hang a little jadeite in the middle or whatever. Oh, gosh. Or a little yes, pearl in the middle. Um, so you can see how you can get so many different looks out of a kit by just putting components in, taking them away. Just a couple of extra components, that's it. Um, and Or you can do it just beautifully Classic. and just knot it like an um, oh. also did. Oh, sorry, I don't know whether it was an also. A lark's head knot um, and just beautiful knotting that's in between gorgeous. the gemstones, giving you a classic... <clears throat> beautiful feel so I think both work but it shows you how you can do different things with one kit so nice so nice if you want the lotus beads that, you, that Debbie used in the design here are the lotus beads these always fly by the way they're so good you get three of them they are gorgeous and they give you such lovely oxidization what's nice about these lotus uh, flowers is they're not fully open so it hasn't fully yeah. come to the end of its journey which is just so poignant it's beautiful i think it adds to the story of the piece as well to totally add in that and i think imagine if you've got some red jade i know a lot of you have got the different color just maybe having a red jade there and yes um, well you imagine the elephant is all about grounding and the lotus flower is all about enlightenment it's it's beautiful. perfect it's that synergy it's wonderful and it's not difficult techniques it's, it's basically it's lovely loops. But just kind of planning the design before you before you kind of adding taking setting away. it out yeah. yeah how lovely thank you so much you're Jean. welcome gorgeous right we have got a very special star buy coming up right now. Um, we didn't know whether we were going to be able to get these for today's show. We've actually got them. They're coming up now. Your chance to get genuine Brazilian Paraiba tourmaline. Right. I'm not going to show you that yet. This gem is amazing. It is, um, it is the, the very first rare, rare, rare gem set I ever learned about before tanzanite, before um, any other rare gemstone. Paraba tourmaline, look at this slide. 
<sighs> Paraiba tourmaline, pronounced Paraiba, is a region in Brazil, located along the historic fault lines and sitting atop of billions of years of geological activity. Brazil's been long known for its incredible reserves of amethyst, aquamarine, quartz, topaz, and tourmaline. <clears throat> the 1980s, a Brazilian gem prospector named Heitor Dimas Barbosa set on a quest to find um, something totally new in an abandoned old mine in the state of Paraiba. Now, he didn't know what he was going to find. He just knew. He had a gut instinct that there was going to be something. And his obsession resulted in absolutely nothing over the next six years until one day he, he was ill. He was in bed. And members of his mining team who were busy mining away, they were about to give up rushed to his bedside and said, we found something. We have found something really, truly exciting. <clears throat> and that was the discover of Paraba tourmaline. What emerged was an electric blue stone that seemed to glow in its rough form. So this gemstone in, its, in the host rock had this, what is, we've come to know as Windex blue um, color. Unlike traditional tourmaline, which is compounded with iron and sodium, this glowing crystal formed um, in heavy concentration of copper and manganese. So it's the manganese that gives this incredible gemstone its color. And the copper, copper bearing gemstones have a neon glow. And this is full of copper inclusions. And the copper and the manganese together give you a glow, give you a neon quality like nothing else. Now, Paraba tourmaline pretty much came to the market and disappeared within a decade. Gone. Nobody could find it. Nobody could mine it. That was it. Subsequently, it has been rediscovered in, uh, I believe it's Nigeria. Can't really call it Paraba tourmaline. It's tourmaline. It, it's from Nigeria. It's beautiful. And it looks very much like Paraba. This is genuine Brazilian Paraba tourmaline. I've worked with gemstones now for about 15, 16 years. And I think this is only about the second time I have ever bought you genuine Paraba tourmaline. Certified genuine Paraba tourmaline from Paraba in Brazil. You are getting here a carrot in size and you are getting multi shapes and sizes. On the recording, you can see there five gemstones in the little box I've got here I've got five gemstones uh, ranging in size and shape I'll show you I'll show you a couple of them if you like we've got come here mate we've got here oh oh wow the most exquisite this is amazing which way around is it it's that way around here we go the most exquisite Wow, I clean quality. That is amazing. A beautiful baguette. Beautiful baguette. You've got beautiful. Look at that. Amazing. Amazing, amazing, amazing. Marquise. Which is beautiful. This is just this particular parcel. The one that you will be getting will maybe slightly different. This incredible oval, which I have to say is absolutely beautiful this one this oval here with this gorgeous minty green like a spearmint color gosh that color's amazing that's your copper coming out of it i've got another one here slightly smaller which is a mar another marquise again beautiful really tiny little gem this one lovely in your melee shakers if you've got those by the way and then this one here which i think is probably the finest one in the bunch this oval here. Oh, that's beautiful. Isn't that just exquisite? Yeah. Oh, imagine that in a ring. Or you could put them all in a pendant. Yeah. You know, sort of like a flat pendant and then set them all. Um, it, they'd be beautiful. Or um, stacking rings, they'd be beautiful. Yes, they because would. Because they could that's all a sit great together. Idea. Yeah, that's a gr yeah, one of Claire McDonald's yeah. stacker rings. That would be lovely. And they'd all kind of sit, kind yep. of juxtaposed, wouldn't they? That would be amazing. Couldn't resist Paraba. Bought two last time. Thanks, JM. Now, this is one of the world's rarest gems, one of the world's most legendary gems. You could write a movie about the way this gemstone was found, discovered. It's a real, it's a real kind of 
story of uh, you know having no luck at all and then finding it when you least expect it. Maker in Greater London, we've got you there. Well done to you. I've got a parcel here, particularly of five. I believe you're probably going to be getting five of these in your pack. Guaranteed a carrot. To own this is like owning, uh, I mean, I, 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 I don't know. This is, I, 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 <clears throat> I can't even put into words what this is like owning. This is so special. This is like or owning original Golconda diamonds. This is like owning original Argyle pink diamonds. This is like owning original cashmere sapphire. This is like owning original uh, uh, Paparasha uh, sapphire. You know, this is unbelievably rare. This is incredibly unique. This is like owning Jedi Red. Your price point coming in, this is way too low. Enjoy. £79 is your deal today. Absolutely terrific price point for you today. For just one of these, for a tiny little insignificant speck of these, even to get, you know, not even with that Brazilian um, uh, providence, just tourmaline of its own with this paraba like colour, amazing. But to be able to get it certified all the way from Brazil uh, is absolutely amazing. Well done. I've got a bunch of you there with this in your baskets. Check out as soon as you can. If you're into your pearl drilling and you do get some which um, you would want to drill into a pearl, you know, maybe you've got a round, maybe you've got a lovely oval. If you're good at your pearl drilling, this would look absolutely exquisite. I love Debbie's idea about putting it all in one piece, though. I think with all the different shapes together, that would look epic. Yeah, lovely pendant. A bit yeah. like if you think of um, what we did with the sand casting, I wouldn't sand cast with these, but that kind of look. Yes, yes, exactly that look. Yeah. That organic look, but with a very structured cut to the gemstone yes. and with the incredible rarity, almost unparalleled rarity that you're going to be getting. Amazing. We bought you Sarite today. We bought you Paraba Tourmaline today. We bought you, of course, the Jade today. We bought you the Pearls today. We bought you the um, um, uh, Mexican Fluorite today. If there's anything, go to our website, jewelrymaker.com. Please do add things onto your baskets. Another bit up there in Patricia in Hampshire coming through for this. Well done to you as well, my lovely. Check out your baskets as soon as you can. £79 for a carrot of Paraba Tourmaline. This is a gemstone which per... Oh! 20 seconds. Gee whiz, I wasn't even listening there. Thank you so much, Debbie. <laughs> I was about to go into price for carrot and everything. Sorry. You've been amazing today. Thank you so much. Oh, thank darling. you for having me. Hope your knee gets better soon. Thank sweetie. you. Join Dave and the team the other side of this for an amazing afternoon on Hobby Maker. I could have gone all afternoon with that. Sorry. See you in a second. Have a great time on Hobby Maker this afternoon. Uh, yeah, see you in a second. Jewelry Maker has its own dedicated call centre with highly trained staff waiting to help you with your orders or any queries. Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. Hello crafters and makers. We're excited to announce that Jewelry Maker, Hobby Maker and Sewing Street will be attending the Creative Craft.